Heads up! Fuck, I was so late on that one. God damn it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, what? Someone do it. I know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm propositioning them. I come well, on. I, I'm confused because my opening music is still playing. What the fuck I, do you mean, roll twenty? Come on, roll. Uh, let me just. <sighs> I'll all the music now. You still hear it? I restarted my roll 20. Cool. I don't hear anything. Thank you. Yeah, because I, I stopped the music. Uh, we don't know if Ben's is broken. Don't even be a dick. Come on. <sighs> now I hear recap music. Good. I see them now playing, but it hasn't started yet. Oh. Oh. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Like just rapidly restarting it. That'll fix it. Oh, whatever. <sighs> now, last time on the adventure of the New Dawn Pirates, uh, the crew made it back to our home base with the remains of the Crusader Pirates well in tow. Uh, someone went off and got himself injured after our encounter with Raph by going to have another encounter with Raph. That, that was a bad move, man. Ah. <clears throat> so Carrie did an emergency burglary drill when we get back. And Lee went to the medical ward to conduct the final invasion of the psyche of the rest of the Crusader Pirates that saved them from the mind control of the Whisper Whisper Fruit given to them by Father Amos. That was a fun adventure. Wasn't it fun? Getting to see yeah. all, of, all of the bullshit they went through, and also the Whisper Whisper Fruit let a version of Father Amos' psyche talk to Lee in there. That was weird. Well, it turns out we're gonna have to mess up that guy at some point. But meanwhile, a mysterious new person was waiting for Ivy in the meeting room. Uh, would uh, someone like to introduce who that is? Yeah, go for it now. What? What? <laughs> what? 
Excuse me? No! Fuck you! <laughs> How dare you! Oh my god, this is a shit show. What the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hurry up, go! Go! Are we raided again? Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. My character, Sierra Dismas, showed up. And joined the New Dawn Pirates. Uh, then she went around and was introducing herself to everybody. Didn't get to everybody, though. Still missing out on a couple people. Yes, and she has a wondrous uh, zipper zipper fruit. She's a zipper woman. Uh, Carrie found some new animals. Some other animals just showed up. She and Ivy tried to put Lee on probation. They found a cave on top of the island. Nephany has finished uh, work on Zarin's new robot arm. Lee needs to help with that when Ivy's uh, done with the last things. Yada, yada, yada. Some other stuff happened. Yeah, basically, there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot, of, a lot of nice stuff. Go watch it. There uh, you Carrie go. and Rex went bowling. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right, all right. <sighs> well, next. All right, bros, let's go. I'm going to do a scene before we do the title. Never mind, bros, let's not go. <laughs> So, if you'll indulge me for a moment. LET'S GO! So, uh, around the present time, uh, a marine warship will be arriving at the underwater prison of Impel Down. And a large man is going to step off the warship with a extremely large sack uh, thrown over one of his shoulders. Admiral Ulysses Fullers will look around and just take a breath of, uh, the kind of foggy, uh, cold air that trenches the outside of the underwater prison. Standing at the gate to the prison will be a large man standing about 12 foot with a very well-trimmed attire, uh, very prim and proper facial hair, and a very pristine prison warden's uniform. As Ulysses will start to approach him. Hmm. Warden Liv. As the warden will uh, salute him. Admiral Fullis, it is a pleasure to have you to have you joining us once again. I assume your visit is about him, as Ulysses will nod, uh, uh, and Liv will open the main door, so they'll start walking through the halls uh, as some guards will salute as Fullers walks past. Mm. I'm. My condolences, Admiral Fullers, for I've heard about her about her becoming a pirate, and it is a great loss for all of us. As Ulysses will kind of just keep looking forward as they're walking. You don't need to worry about it, Liv. She made her choice, and we're all just going to have to live with it. As they will get on the elevator, uh, it will start to go down and down and down, eventually stopping at, at floor 6, which is the secret floor of Impel Down, where they keep the most wanted prisoners. As they will start to walk off. And they step into floor six, Ulysses will look around. Hmm. The place is as gloomy as ever. As he can hear the screams and like cries from like the most wanted prisoners as they're just basically yelling just random profanities, uh, asking to be let free. As the warden will look around and kind of stomp his foot, everything will go quiet. Apologies, Admiral. They get rowdy quite often. As Warden Liv and Ulysses will start walking uh, to a wall 
uh, on the other end of the room. Uh, the warden will open up a uh, brick in the wall by pressing a button. That will lead. They'll have a staircase leading down, and they'll start descending further and further for about fifteen minutes, until they reach a large set of sea sound doors. Uh, and Warden Lee will start to unlock the five separate locks for the doors. Hmm. This should be our last stop, Admiral. As Ulysses will just look on, like, more seriously and nod. As the Warden will open the large doors. And his knees will immediately buckle a bit, but he'll be able to remain steady. As he'll look to Ulysses. I... I'm afraid I won't be joining you from here on out. As the oasis will nod and walk through the doors, as the warden will close them behind him. Ulysses will walk through the dark and mysterious uh, seventh floor of Impel Down, and there are no cells or prisoners as he's walking around. And eventually, on the on the far end of the floor, he'll come upon a single cell that will contain a man just sitting down on the floor, uh, kind of smiling as he's wrapped in a uh, sea stone hand and foot cuff. Uh, as the old looking man with many many different scars littering his body looks up at Ulysses and smiles as he stands up <laughs> is that you Ulysses oh it's been a long time you know I was thinking of coming to see you that last visit well <sighs> I thought you agreed to come see me at least every six months. It's real boring locked up in here. As Ulysses will just walk over, open the cell, and throw the sack in there. And as Darius kind of tears into it, the sack will be filled with just different meats and foods and drinks. As he'll just start devouring some of the meat. Ah, this is some of the good stuff. You wouldn't believe the slop they feed me here. So. What, what fun stories do you have to tell me, Ulysses? As Ulysses will look on, he'll start to open his mouth and Darius will speak up. Wait! Yeah, my condolences, Ulysses. Heard your... Uh, well, her new successor ended up going pirate. Eh, quite the disappointment for you, I figure. Why was it again? As, as Darius will start to stroke his beard. Right, right. That happened just after that kid tore apart Mary Schwa two years ago, right? Eh, <sighs> what, she finally get a look at the sheep she was serving? As uh, Darius will kind of smile over at Ulysses. Mm. Sheep. Huh. Yeah. Isn't that what you'd think of them? I mean, this fat good for nothing is sitting in their ivory tower. Just getting sick on all the food and people they indulge in. I mean, it's only a matter of time to another wolf comes around like that like that kid to tear them apart as Darius sort of stand up and start walking over to look at Ulysses through the bars hmm say your apprent your successor Erica seems to know, know the right place for a wolf what are you fullers Serve those sheep. 
as Ulysses will kind of just like narrow his eyes at him. So you think we're wolves, do you? Uh, as Darius will kind of look at him like seriously and then start to smile and laugh. <clears throat> Not exactly, Fullers. You're a wolf. But I'm not like you, or your successor, or, well, anyone else. You see, Fullers, if you're a wolf, that make me the hunter. It's by my discretion that people like you can live on to, well, exert the little power they have. As, like, he'll, like, stop smiling and stare directly at Ulysses. Make sure to remember that. As they're kind of staring back and forth as a large tension fills the room, Darius' stomach will start to, uh, growl loudly. <sighs> as he'll smile and just turn around and go back to sit by the sack while he starts to devour more meat. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, so did you need something? As he'll just look back, and Ulysses will stare at him uh, very seriously. I have an important matter I need to discuss with you, Darius. As Darius will smile, we will fade out. See my good friends. Sweet. This is your fault, Six. <laughs> to bear in the book. <laughs> really? I, I love people who talk in repetitive metaphors. It's my favorite, unironically. Hey, Noah? It's really endearing to me. Oh. Enough. Oh, I can't breathe! Ah. I can't even breathe! Words. words! The word of power, Lonesome Road. The word of power. Hey, you know, someone's probably a problem if they just have a god god fruit. Oh. Okay. I kneel, sir. <sighs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Many people can have the same first name. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> I just wanted to headshot okay, out there, okay, work okay, him out. Okay, I mean, yeah. so no one thinks we're yeah, clever. just kind of makes you look, you know. I mean, not yeah, we've I met. <laughs> we've met our our actors. I'm sure some of them shared our name. Was that guy's name just Jesse? Also, I mean, come on. <laughs> It's not like he looked like him. I think they just went off the name. <sighs> okay. Now All we right, can bro. Let's go! Episode, Episode 59! 59. Con, Con of the of old, the old world. world! It's good to have you back, man. Like the great cons? Fallout? <laughs> road? Bear bull. Oh, oh, frontier. God oh, fucking damn it. We have to avoid the taxes. <laughs> oh my god. Don't, don't mention Lonesome Oliver Road. is here to take our taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm my shaking. fucking tactics. I, I'm just shaking because he said Lonesome Road. Fuck. <laughs> My lungs collapsing. <laughs> Filling with blood. Lots of road. Uh, okay. So, uh, besides that, we, we come back in on the Sunset Isle. Cool. As people are going about their business once again. Uh, I think the last thing that happened was last night, Forrest and Lee talked to uh, Seferin about Chuck. I think was the last thing that happened. Yeah. Uh, and that was pretty late, so it'd probably be the next day by now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we will come in on the standard base area. Oh, jeez. How did Ace get in the fucking fish tank? <laughs> well, Kinexo's that. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that's cool. Oh. No. There's a lot of things going on. <laughs> <laughs> I got paused by looking at Speedy and Foji playing a game. Oh god. 
An egg. Oh, what's run. going on over here? Where? Sanders and Thompson guarding. Yeah, you're gonna have to be I'm a little more specific. Where? Oh. That, that. <laughs> oh, I see. Are we being invaded by rascals? Fujin's <laughs> <laughs> arriving the car. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh no, there they go. Cassie, why are you just watching? Oh no, Leon is in again in a fight. <laughs> Leon, no. Let me bring your attention over here. Uh, Bowser, hey, is, Bowser is in fact hunting. Uh, he, yeah, yes, he does have his legs spread out, so his belly is touching the floor, and he's like kind of vibrating along it. <laughs> he's, trying, it up on. he's trying to do. He's trying to do the fucking kitchen skip to get to the next level. <laughs> Incredible. I like peyote. He's my favorite friend. Yeah, Nephany, do you know what's going on inside your workshop right now? Oh, she has no idea. Swirl Walker. Desert Eater. Look at this guy's face. I love this guy. <laughs> I got a lot of this! He is incredible. Glad all the gym men are there. Oh, they even found a new gym friend. Cerulean Fighter. And a very fucking funny. <laughs> Funny! I get yeah, it, it's like a One Piece reference. <laughs> Liam would laugh, the seal of approval. If <laughs> 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 you that on anything, Liam would laugh. <laughs> Just a chuckling Liam. It's, true, it's the, I showed true, you my what? dick, answer me Liam face. True, is what is Dusher trying to do here? I do. I think we all know. Where the fuck is go Oh my god, Dusher sees the challenge. <laughs> Uh, Speedy, are you playing chess with Foji? Yes. <laughs> this is what the Liam seal. This is what the Liam seal of approval looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. God! damn it! No, <laughs> no please! <laughs> damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, that's funny. It's really good. God damn it. Oh. I, know this, I know this is one of me too. <laughs> yeah, there is. I don't know. I, I'll have to look for it later. I got two versions of Liam. I like this one more. <laughs> it's a much more low effort, and I think that adds to it. Oh, but then, of course, we have this variant, which someone put more effort into. <laughs> I like I'm gonna fuck your girlfriend more. <laughs> Alright. What a what a what a lovely spread we have here. Okay, I think I've I think I've surveyed the playing field for now. <laughs> yes, and as always feel free to do things that don't just interact with people I place down on the map. Yeah. Oh boy. Of course. So, is there anything burning on the agenda that we can that we should get to? I'll go over mine. You guys can step up to the plate first. I'm going to Forrest's wor workshop. All right. Place her right there. There we are. Alright. Uh, let me just go do this now then. Please go right ahead. You can go to the workshop, Carrie. Alright, good. Bang. You'll bang through the ferret hole in the door. Uh, yes. And Forrest will look over. As you also see Angelina uh, uh, talking to Opal and Belle. As Angelina kind of looks at, looks at them, she'll give uh, them both some candy. And Opal will smile and hug her leg. Uh, but Forrest will look over. Oh, hey, Carrie. 
Hey, Forrest. Uh, I need a wood saw. Uh, four? Oh, I need to collect some samples. Okay. Uh, we got some suspicious tweeze on the mountain. Poor. Poor so we'll walk over and get a saw from the cabinet and hand it to Carrie. Uh, here you go. Oh boy. This will get him talking, she says as she runs her fingers over the saw blades. Just be careful with cutting down too many trees, Carrie. Oh, don't worry. I will be. But you don't gotta worry. Those trees are unnatural. I gotta figure out how they got there. Well, good luck with that. Uh, just report in if you need my help talking to him. Yeah, got it. What's going on with you? Uh, not much. Just working on some more improvements for the base and everything. Trying to... Still a lot of work to do around here. As Calvin will just be going over some blueprints over here. Just... Uh, still a lot of stuff we have to put together. And don't know when we're going to have to go back out to sea, so might as well put all my effort into getting that done now. Oh no. What do we got in store? Well, I know that I was requested to build some more pens to put some rat picks in, and, well, I think there's some more improvements to uh, be built around, like maybe a room to put all our musical instruments in, and, you know, soundproofing it and such, and I'm oh. sure people have ideas for other things they might want around here. Oh yeah, so it's a finish putting together uh, Sierra's new room. Oh yeah, she's going to need that at some point. Yeah, there's a lot of space here to put stuff in. We got to start putting stuff in there or we're just going to keep getting more animals showing up. Yeah, I saw some strange ones I haven't seen before when I was walking to the workshop. Oh, don't worry about it. They gravitate towards empty spaces. Yeah, it really seems like everywhere you go, there's just a new one popping up. Oh yeah, this was a real incredible island to have so many hidden creatures on it. Yeah, I remember that the doctor we picked up on Zhao, uh, Abby? I remember her getting really freaked out when she started going over all of them. Huh. I wonder why that is. I think why? something about being it unnatural that there's so many different animals here. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I should have a ward with her. Hmm. Eh, probably for the best. I mean, odds are you could find her in the medical room, I think. I don't hmm. think she really leaves. Huh. Wow, she must really like medicine. Or needles. One or the other. I don't think anyone likes needles, Carrie. Well, I don't know. She's a mink. They can be weird if they want, right? Force will rub his head a bit. Yeah, minks are pretty weird. So, wouldn't go find that out for me too, Carrie. I mean, that'd be pretty good to know. Yeah. Don't so worry, I know just how to figure it out. Report, report back to me if she's a weirdo carry. Alright. Then we'll straighten her out. I can't care they goes tweeze anytime. They're not going nowhere. As uh, oh, we'll, we'll run up. Oh. Forest? Um. Yeah. Um. I would like to tell you, as Opal's like looking at a piece of paper trying to be subtle, that. Angelina is a wonderful person who I think will make you very happy. There's like more here, but I don't I don't know what these words mean. Hmm. Ah, ah, Carrie, Carrie. Angelina's handing up candy. Oh, I see. Is she now? Well, I gotta get me some of that. As the forest was just kind of look at Opal as you can run off towards Angelina.
Sanju so is talking to Belle, you can sneak up on her in however way you wish. Yes. I'll sneak up behind her. Pull out a little, you know, one of those uh, little firework things that you throw on the ground and they go pop. And do that. Yeah. Uh, as you throw it on the ground, a hand is going to uh, grab it before it hits the ground and then, like, crush it in your face so it will pop. Bob! As Zangina will say without looking at you, can't sneak up on me, Carrie. As she'll turn around and Belle will look over. Ah, uh, Carrie, are you alright? I am so confused. How did you even do that? Your hand's not the floor. As Angelina will, like, smirk a bit and a bunch of hands will, like, come up from the floor without, like, a lot of, um, like, arm. So it's, like, just the hands kind of covering the floor around Carrie. Now they are. Ah. Dang it. And the hands will snap and then turn into flower petals and disappear. Hmm. Hmm. So, you, you came for some candy. Indeed I did, yes. Hmm. I don't know, Carrie. You look like you might be having too many sweets recently. Oh, are you saying that because I'm so cute? Uh, y yeah. Don't worry, I can get cuter. As Belle will look over. Oh, wow, really? Uh-huh. Hmm. As Angie will pause for a moment and then give Carrie um, some pixie six. Woo! Yeah, you wouldn't believe how cute my final form is. I... I'm eager to see it, Carrie. Uh, well, I'll only pull it out in an emergency. Oh, right. Uh, Carrie, Ivy wanted to see you for something. <gasps> oh! Well, I better go do that. The captain wants to see me. It's either important or a well event. Well, probably best you go figure out which. Huh. Alright, thanks for the candy. Uh, she'll kind of smile. As you can down your pixie sticks and head off. Yep. As Angelina will uh, just look towards Belle uh, and start chatting with her more about how she's now her sister. Cool. As you can find Ivy up near the navigation room. Oh boy. Scrolling all the way up there. <laughs> From one wall to another. Bang! Do a flip out of the fairy hole. As Ivy will look on and clap a bit. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, I finally figured out most of the torns here. So anyways, what's the sitch? Oh, right. Um, so, you know Sira, right? Yes. I think, well, the job comes with a lot of dangers, right? You think she could use a scarf? No. Oh, I mean, okay. I, maybe. I mean, I guess you could ask her. Zarin could probably make her a scarf. Well, I went the totally wrong direction. Um, no. Well, more so, we need to know if she can actually hold herself, you know, up when it comes to a fight. Because we can't just look after someone all the time. Like, Lee might try to, but that, that that's not realistic. That's true. What if we run into someone really strong? It'd be hard to really... We have to know that she has her back. I'm following you. So, I wanted to test her, uh, and was hoping that you would assist her uh, in the evaluation by doing a tag fight with her. You know, you and her versus... Um, uh, Blaze and Solana said that they'd be up for it. 
I'm following. So, you know, you can uh, brawl it out with them uh, and tell me afterwards how you think Sira, you know, holds up. If she has the new Dawn Pirates, you know, if she has it. Got it. So an observation mission. Yeah, but also it's going to be a fight. So, you know, I, give, give it your all. Oh, I love fights. Oh, that's why I picked you for the job. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Dad, this was one of the important ones. Everything I say is important, Carrie. It sure is, Ivy. <sighs> Carrie, can I ask you something? Anything. So Lee's like really mad about the dunce thing. And? What do you think I should do to make her not mad? Hmm. Make her not mad. Well, you could take her off probation for one thing. I already did that. Alright, good first step. Let's see. She's mad about the hat. Which means... I mean, and some other things, but you know, that that's the bulk of it. Okay. So that means that the only way to preserve her integrity is with socks. Socks. Uh-huh. So I, I just give her some socks? Well, special socks. Alright. Explain. Okay, so like... The head is where the brain is. Yeah. It's also on top. Uh-huh. But there's nothing down below where the feet is, so they're all left out. And we must be feeling... Pretty left out from being put on probation. So you gotta give her a pair of nice comfy socks and make her feel all included again. Now, when I say that, I mean you gotta give her a pair of nice fluffy socks, but also make her feel included again. Hmm. How, how are socks special? Is it just like an emotional thing? Yes. Okay, there's not like a, there's not like a unique type of sock I should go find. No. Okay. Well, the, the socks don't really matter, okay? That's just symbolic. Oh. So, I give her some socks and, um, make her feel like she's, you know, like everything's alright. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You should write her a poem. Poem? Uh-huh. Hmm. A poem about how much you appreciate her. You can use your workbooks for inspiration. Hmm. Maybe that's not a bad idea. But that would take me some more time. And she's like mad now. So I think I'll go with the socks thing. And uh, I'll, I'll save the poem for, you know, like when she gets mad again. Okay. Hmm. But thank you, Carrie. I, th I think I know what I must do. Good. All right. I'm uh, gonna, I'm gonna go get way. Uh, well, the fight's probably not for a while. Uh, you know, got, got to get things prepared. I haven't even told Sira yet. So if you see her before I do, t tell her that there's gonna be a that you and her are gonna participate in the fight later. All right. Huh. Hmm. Where am I going to find stock? Well, I, I have to go handle this. Okay. As I will walk into the navigation room and start demanding socks from Zaren. I don't think she really got what I was saying. This could be a mess. Oh, well. This carry can leave for her next adventure. <laughs> Carrie next sighing. Adventure. Look, Ivy, it's not about the fucking socks. <laughs> Boy, I need you, Carrie. Get her socks. Okay, what kind of socks? Look, Ivy, it's not about the socks. <laughs> Powerful. Okay. I love Tauntatas. They're what so wise. Is... What is next? Uh, 
on my agenda, I think the first thing Lee would probably do is, uh, she'll swing by the medical office at one point. She needs to do some checkups on some, you know, make sure everything's going there. She needs to do a checkup on Raphael at one point, Raphael at one point. But she's also like, you know, I haven't seen Regan since we got back, and I should, like, find him. He's a child. Like, he seems smart, but I should make sure he's, like, actually okay. <laughs> I can't just let people assume things are working out. So, she'll go poke around for him. Make sure that kid's okay. Okay. So that that is the first thing. That's the first thing. Okay. I'll throw out what I want to do real quick, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, I, I'll i be heading to the bowling alley, but unfortunately I'll run into this random encounter on the way there. <laughs> nice! Hell yeah. Right. Oink, oink, okay. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think this guy's disrespecting me. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be walking around, oh, and you'll, you'll find Regan just, like, what, what like, you'll, you'll see him for a second, and he'll walk, like, down a hallway that does not have an exit. Okay. <laughs> Cornered. Yeah. We will go to catch up with him. How's he- how's he looking? He looks confused. Yeah, he's lost. Okay. Yeah, this place is really big. Uh, someone gave me directions yesterday. Uh... But... Well, not really directions. They handed me some weird animal. And... Uh... It just... Jumped out of my arms, like, a minute later and ran away. Ah, so what, what kind of animal? Um, kind of looked like a kangaroo. <laughs> he waits for a second. She's thinking, yeah, I, I, I have no idea. Okay, um, that I don't even know that one. Uh, yeah. Here, what were you looking for? Just anything? You hungry? Um, no, I ate this morning. Um, I, I guess I'm just walking around. Mm. Right, right. Well, hmm. Let me help you get the lay of the place better. Sure. Seems like that might take a while, but if it's no trouble. No, of course. And don't worry, you got plenty of time. And you can start walking around with him. Yeah. Well, you will, uh... any, any specifics? Uh, let me think. I, th I think Lee will... <laughs> I think Lee will, like, uh, you know, make sure he knows where, like, obviously, like, the kitchen and stuff is, and, uh... She'll eventually be leading him over to the dojo area and stuff, too. Uh, but she'll be talking with him on the way a bit. As Lee's kind of, like, walking, trying to be casual. Like, looking over at him, trying to get a feel of how this kid looks. Because, you know, she's still... Last last time they had their chat was uh, a lot to take in. So she's had a lot more time to come to her thoughts on this. And she's now just like, alright, I'm... Want to make sure, see how, how this kid's doing. He was pretty, uh, high tension scenario. He's had time to calm down and think. And she'll, uh, <clears throat> kind of, uh, give him, a, give like a few minutes of silence as they're walking around as she's pointing things out before she, uh, speaks up again, really, about anything else. Uh, so. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. You made yourself familiar with some of the people around here yet? Um. I. Have met some of them. Hmm. Um. Besides the other members of the crew that were on the boat before, I've met. Mr. Griffin. 
the head of the selling lines, I think. Oh, good, good. Ah, oh, that reminds me. I should introduce you to Bell and Opal. Mm, <laughs> I should introduce Nyx to them, too. You kids probably don't have a lot of chance to actually just relax like normal ones these days. Hmm. believe Opal's the name of his daughter, correct? Or yeah. I think he mentioned her. Hmm. Well, you'll kind of stare at him for a second. I think she'd be around your age. Hmm. hmm. So, uh, oh. how are you doing? Managed to, uh, settle in a bit? I don't really know what you mean by that. Mm, well, she kind of thinks kind of like a, a exaggerated little tipping on her chin a little bit. She's thinking, I mean, hmm, we've changed a lot since you trying to kill me. It's... A bit more comfortable now, yeah? I mean, I suppose for myself, but it's only been a few days. Hmm. And I can't expect... Well, y you all said that you hold no ill will towards me for it, but I still honestly cannot fully believe that. Uh, I mean, it's not like anything bad happened. Yes, but it's the potential of what could have happened. <laughs> Lee waves her hand. Nothing could have happened. Don't worry about it. Yes, I... I un <laughs> He'll, like, look at you exasperated for a second. I understand. I am not currently strong enough to harm you and that you were not under threat. But that does not take away the intentions of what I was trying to do. That's not what I'm talking about. I meant you didn't want to do it. Yes, but still someone doing something they don't want to do doesn't erase what they tried to. Hmm. <sighs> Kid, what I'm saying is I don't think you would have gone through with it. <laughs> He's kind of looking up for a second confused. I was... inches from you. Yeah, that's still far enough away to stop something from happening. I mean... For you... I... Can understand, but... I mean... I even activated my devil fruit. Hmm. Burn someone alive. Well, luckily, she says as she kind of like pats him on the head for a second. You picked the right person to do that for. Gave you a couple more seconds to figure things out. <sighs> Look, Regan. You can't let this keep getting to you like that. I think you're all far too relaxed, given what happened. Hmm. And Maybe. I appreciate the fact that you didn't kill me for it, as I truly have no intention of losing my life, but it does... It's strange. Yeah, well, we're not exactly normal people. <sighs> Look, um, kid, no one wants to see someone, especially your age, going through something like that. We've all been through some pretty dicey stuff by now. This isn't the worst that we've had to go through, and it's definitely not the worst that we've rolled with. Hmm. Maybe it's more of a pirate thing, but... Hmm. Like I said... If you didn't want to do it and you didn't end up doing it, it's fine. I've uh, forgiven people for way more crazy stuff than that. You didn't know what to do. No one's going to hold that against you. How can I just look you for a moment and, like, look how you thinking? I, I understand. I can see the point of what you're trying to say, and I'll 
and make sure to take it to heart. Hmm. I just don't want you to look so guilty for something you didn't even do. But if it's going to take some time, well, like I said, you've got plenty of time here. I guess I... what I wanted to ask you, though... Hmm. Well, you can take some more time with this, obviously, but... Do you have any idea what you want to do next yet? No. Hmm. Not... Truly. I've... The last couple of years of my life... I've... Lived only following... His orders. So... This is a drastic departure. And it's... I cannot see... The steps I need to take to get from where I am to where I want to be. And it's... Confusing. Hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Hmm. That's always the hard part. Hmm. When you go from jungle to dojo. The environment here is strange. It's worlds apart from wh where I've been. <laughs> At least surveys the hallway covered in animal footprints and nonsense and kind of nods to herself. Yeah, that, uh, that makes sense. Hmm. Well, I think you'll grow to like it. I cannot say I dislike it currently. <laughs> it's just different from what I know. But I've never been a fan of what I know. Hmm. So it's not an unwelcome environmental change. I'm just confused about what it is I wish to do with this newfound freedom you tell me I have. He nods along. Well, that shouldn't be too big of a problem. You know, when I became a pirate, I didn't know what I wanted to do for a while. Hmm. Honestly, I just kind of sailed around. I liked the people, so that was enough to start with, but it was around until we got to the Grand Line that I really started to figure out what I might want to start doing with everything. It's a lot to take in once you start sailing from place to place and realize how big the world is and how little you have to worry about being restricted by things. So, it's fine if you take some time with that. Hmm. Mm. But, I think I'll actually bring him over to, like, uh, the workshop so I can introduce him to Bellinopal. So I'll have Lee be leading him there. Hmm. What you should start by doing is making some friends. And I think, we'll say she's, like, making her way to the door. They should be around here. I'm afraid I'm not. Adequately familiar with how to make friends. Ah, oh, that's fine. They are. We will throw the door open. Morning, she'll say to everyone inside. Uh, uh, Forest will look over. Oh, hey. As as Bellis is, like, currently chopping some wood, and Opal is uh, just sitting on the ground, sharpening her axe. Nice. <laughs> hey, Bell, Opal, come here. Belle will put down the wood and start walking over, mm -hmm. and Opal will slam her axe into the ground, and Forrest will look at her sternly <laughs> as she does. She'll start walking over. Oh, yeah? Uh, least... Did you come for the candy, too? Uh, n no? Is Angie giving you guys more candy? Belle <sighs> will nod and smile. Make yeah. sure to brush your teeth. We are. All right. I'll have a word with her later. Oh, right! Uh, she'll pat Regan on the back and kind of push him forward a little bit. This here's Regan. You guys mind looking after him for a bit? Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Regan Fawnbrand. Is it like Bao? Mm -hmm. He needs some friends. Oh, we'll look at him incredulously and then shuffle over to Bao. Bao. He's... He's... Like really stuffy looking. 
<laughs> As Bell, uh, Bell will look at Opal and then look back at Regan. But he's... But Opal, he's also really handsome. Mm. Mm. So Regan will just stand there silently, just looking at them, waiting for any response. He's mm. whispering... Normal. Huh? Oh, for them? Yeah. Oh, I got an idea. Hey, Regan, do your, do your hand thing. Are you sure that's appropriate? There's a lot of wood here. Nah, it's fine. Nah, don't worry, kid. I can take care of it. As Forcewood is like, shout over as he's trying to <laughs> dig the axe out. Yeah. See, as you got the man in charge permission. Regan will kind of reach out his right hand and will start to bubble into lava. As Opal will immediately, like, about face and look at it. Wow! <laughs> that's fucking dangerous. As Bell will look at her being like... Like, basically, surprised that she swore in front of an adult. Awful oh, language! That, that's freaking dangerous. No, I was saying good work. That's confusing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <sighs> can I stop? No! <laughs> See? Hmm. Okay. Wow. As Opal will walk up and put a, put a hand around his shoulder on the arm that's not turning the lava. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, wow, toasty. As a little adjusted <laughs> fireman's hat. Um, wow. So you need friend. Wow. I'm the friendliest person there is. So you can just roll with us as we go explore the possibilities of how dangerous you can be. Dangerous? Set... I don't think that's exactly appropriate. As Bell will walk up, Bell will walk up in his hand him a lollipop. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Lee, you don't have to worry. We got this. I knew I could trust you too. Thanks, guys. She gives them a thumbs up, and she leans over Opal. I can get you some beer later. Base. Shut the fuck up, base. <laughs> oh, right, they're kids. They'd say that. That makes sense. Based on what? Based on what? Lee gives her a thumbs up. And we'll uh, leave Regan in their care. Yeah, have fun, Regan! Okay, we'll, we'll go to this, and then we can see if Lee wants to interrupt in this. Oh, fair. I wouldn't want to step in, but, you know, I might have to save Leona from Piggy Brawler. <laughs> okay, Sierra. As you approach, you see Leona squaring off with the Piggy Brawler. Which is a, a large pig uh, creature, kind of more humanoid shaped with like actual hands. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this That's eldritch being. <laughs> what am I gonna walk up and Leanna goes, You see it too? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck, dude. Okay. Uh. Cyril will just kind of step to the side next to Leona and be like, So, you just get in a fight every day, or... She'll kind of scoff and smile a bit. This ain't a fight. This is a fight that thing would be splattered on the floor. As the piggy brawler will like look surprised for a second. No, nah, this is training. This thing will make an excellent, uh, well hand around here. Ain't that right? As it'll just look at Leona and like just kind of snort. Okay. Well. So. <sighs> I'm training him to, well, make sure to collect anyone that's trying to, you know, walk through here. Without paying the proper fees. Uh, in your own base. Yeah. Well, what's strange about that? You're giving me that look that Lee always gives. Oh, no, I'm not judging, of course, but how much are you... Charging? As she'll look at you like you're retarded and kind of scoff and kind of like hold her nose up a bit. 
I'd leave it up to the individuals to charge what they think it's worth. I mean, they're the ones doing the work, so they get to really pick the price. Mm, that's kind of amateur, don't you think? Actually, I click her tongue a bit. You see, that's what someone would say when they haven't been in the game for as long as I have. I've been a gang boss since I was six. You, you see? So, I don't think anyone has more experience than I do when it comes to this sort of thing. Ain't that right, Pigma? As you will, Pigma will snort. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a good off. name. Yeah, but think about this. <laughs> Zero like put her arm around Leona's uh like neck. Listen. Look at him, alright? She'll point to the to Pigma. Look Don't at his beady her. little eyes. Don't you think he might be skimming a little off the top? He'll look at you incredulously and rub his belly. Listen. They know what happens when they skim off the top. As Leona will, like, j just, like, tap the wall, and it will just, like, start to crack. See, I'm not afraid to dish out the proper punishment for them, uh, going against my order. Is that so? Yeah. So, you'll beat them to a pulp, I imagine, right? If I need to. I mean, I'm not like Lee, so I don't use violence to solve everything. Ah, yes, I got that impression from her, but you should be much more careful because. Got what uh, impression? <laughs> Lee walks. <laughs> A moment, please. <laughs> Zero, walk over and, um. She'll, <laughs> she'll just do like. She won't use her devil for it. She'll just do like a. <laughs> Like a literal magic trick to like pull a, one of the Mary Joie coins out of the pigma's ear. Go, ooh, <laughs> the discerning eye. And she'll flip it to Leona. Looks like he was trying to skim on you. So she'll look at the coin, flip it around, and then bite it. And when she bites it, it will just bend completely. Leona, I told you to stop doing that to your teeth. That one day is... you're going to crack them. This thing's not hurting my teeth at all. <sighs> God, okay. you're strong. I should have like a look at the coin and just crush it in her hand. <sighs> and then she'll throw it at Pigma, and it will hit him and just knock him against the wall. Oh God, I'm gonna take care of this. <laughs> he walks over to go start bandaging Pigma's bump. Yeah, well, boss, maybe you ought to keep a better eye on your employees next time. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'll give him a lesson that makes sure he doesn't forget what he did. There, there, hmm. Pigma. As Pigma will, like, snort at Lee as he picks himself up. Huh. And he's gonna start crying and then walk over behind Sira and just grab her. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um... Uh. I would not do that, please. He's going to try and reach down by your ear. <laughs> Response? Uh, Response. I, I guess Sierra will... I, I guess Sierra will just... Is she like grabbed by both of her arms and lift it up? No, no. He has like one arm like kind of clenching your shoulder region, but it clenches most of your arm. Like not like <laughs> clenching down hard. And the other one is like... Trying to gracefully go towards your ear. <laughs> gracefully. Okay, uh, Sierra will take her other arm and use her devil fruit to zip her arm off and just <laughs> fall to the ground. And then back up. Lee looks down at her arm with a fucking zipper on it, at the fucking stump, and goes, All right. Pigma will grab That's... the arm and look visibly confused. Let me see that Pigma. <laughs> he grabs no. the arm. <laughs> takes um, the arm and like holds it up like please... she's inspecting it. Can I have my... <sighs> no, I'm gonna need this for a second. Okay. He still feels things? Lee's like tickling the palm. Yes, I still feel things. And yes, I can still move it. 
Ho 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 ho! You're like Colette! Cool! Check this shit out, Leon! Leon will walk over and just like grab it. Huh. Careful. And start to squeeze it. Ah, oh, sorry. God. We will Permission take it to... away and like massage the area. Like, Jesus Christ, Leon, you're gonna break something. Yes, please do not break my arm. Mm -hmm. We will toss it back to her. Thank you. I know we'll try to grab it, but be too slow. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> In response to this, Sierra will just. I mean. I guess she'll just punch him straight in the face. Oh, poor Pigma. Pigma will go t tumbling back. <sighs> he'll, he'll, he'll sit up and, oh, and yeah, like, start we're... tearing up as he starts grabbing uh, the ear that Sierra pulled a coin from. We will go pacify him, pat him on the head, say it's going to be okay, and start bandaging his nose as she mumbles, yeah, I resort to violence, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> to herself. As Pigma will snort. Good boy. Yeah. Well, you need to keep a better leash on your crew here, boss. <laughs> a real boss lets their crew make their own decision. Sounds like you don't really do anything. <laughs> I do stuff. Mm. Yeah, I mean, All I right. mean, hey, tell her. Come on. You're part of the gang. Uh huh. Yeah, sure, boss. She's always been one of the worst parts of the gang, Sierra. Oh my god, okay! <laughs> I don't think I should come between this. Excuse me, boss! Lee looks over, she stands up, and she's like bandage pigma, giving him a lollipop and a little ice pack to hold on his nose. <laughs> Alright, Leo. I'm not yeah. gonna stand here and hear this. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You haven't kept the gang in check in, like, months. We were gone for two years. We haven't even Why had a meeting or anything. Ivy's running around adding new people to the crew. No offense, Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> She's been on a tear. Yeah. I've been letting her do that. Yeah, because she calls you boss and it makes you feel good. No. Yes! Oh, is, it, is it that easy? It's so easy. Well, Lee reaches up and rubs under her chin like a cat. No. Oh. I should start purring at it. Stop. See? Fucking stop oh. it. She's trying to punch Lee. <laughs> Lee, this is his heart. It just, like, her head just bobs back as she bends her neck back with her, like, snaky, like, uh, assure limb part. See? Leona's, like, legs will wobble a bit and she'll just, like, drop to the floor a bit. We God keeps doing damn it. Damn it. This is. Easy... I start just purring more loudly as she's, like, just rolling over on the floor. <laughs> oh, that is. At least Thank angrily you. scratching I'll your neck. Kill you. I'd like to see you try. <sighs> Don't fucking stop. <laughs> oh, should I leave? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. This is fine. You want to try it? Lee says, like, mm. she looks, she's, like, glaring while she still has, like, a hand reach down doing a scratching Leona. I think I'll leave you two. Or I'm a you dangerous two animal. It. Yeah, dangerous. I can tell. Fuck Here, you, you want in on this, Pigma? As Pigma will look over and just like, just <laughs> it, he'll get up and start walking over and try and scratch Leona, and she'll just kick him and he'll go flying. Oh my god! All no, right, he, that's it. At <laughs> least stop scratching. He did not her. deserve that one. Come on, Pig. I'm. Leaf runs after Pigma. <sighs> as, as Pigma will just be knocked out on the floor. Leaf will once again go back to giving him lovely bandaging, ice, a cookie, <laughs> a get well soon sticker. Xana will get up and look embarrassed. You didn't see that. I got I... important shit to do. Yes, I guess so. Zana will walk over and try to bang through the door. <laughs> like she's or carrying, through the wall. Like she's carrying. God. Tell her force to make these bigger. Fuck. I. <laughs> I, she'll want, start walking off. I want cat holes yeah. for us. <laughs> I, I, I shall walk past Lee. It could work patching him up. He just glares at her. <laughs> Don't let it get to you, Pigma. He was unconscious. That's a good boy. She still says it and pats him on the head. 
Uh, after she walks away, Cyril will like run up and go, Wait a minute, she just... I was so caught up in that, she destroyed pure gold. Uh, oh yeah, don't ever give Leona anything you don't want broken. I didn't think she could bite it in half. Hmm, yeah, it's really her muscle density that gives her the strength to do it, but she takes really good care of her teeth. I mean, she understands that. I still think they're gonna break one day, but then again, they do have the toughness of, like, titanium or something. Oh, that's... Hmm. It's a good thing she's stupid. Oh, yeah, that's where all the brain cells went. Well, uh, so. fix him up. Oh, yeah, I fixed him up already, he says as she stands up and cracks her neck. So what is that about resorting to violence? I just get these feelings about people. I mean, I could be wrong. Ah, he walks up and pats her on the shoulder. No, you're probably not. I ah, see. Hmm. All right. Well. If you'll excuse me, I need to go kick someone's ass. I see. You do that. I'm going to go find something to entertain myself. Oh, yeah. Bowling alleys that way, card rooms that way. You think you could bring Pigma to the medical bay soon? I want him in a comfortable bed. <sighs> do I have to do it? Welcome to the crew. Lisa says as she rounds the corner. Mm. Okay. So you'll just open a zipper and put him in there. I'll make my way there eventually. Pick him in my pocket. Or you and Carrie <laughs> gonna have fucking Pokemon battles <laughs> as you yes. unfold and unzip animals at each other. Well, no, we're on a time limit. Like I said, there's not much air in there. There's not much air. Alright. Do you want to go to the bowling alley to do something? Or is that just uh... excuse to have the scene? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that was just like she's had the scene, really. I, I guess, uh... I was just mostly wondering, because that's a pretty specific location. So, oh. was, do you want to, like, see some? You made a whole map for it! I thought you loved people going there! <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's fine, it's just like, yeah, you want to, like, go bowling? Or do you want to go bowling with? Who? Of course I want to go bowling with people. Yeah. Duh. Could be anybody. Could be Yo, anyone. Did you bigs go bowling without me? <laughs> did you bigs? Yeah. Uh. So so sorry. Where where is Lee going now? She's going to the dojo. Right, right. Okay. Um. Lee, you can enter the dojo, but first, uh. Carrie, I assume you're looking for Sira to tell her that a fight's going on? Yes. You can you can find Sira probably shortly after she pockets Piggy. Good. Bang out of the fairy hole. Whoa! There you is! Yeah, here I am. Why right, cool. I got news from the captain for- Wait, one thing first. Um, do, do, do. she's gonna rifle through her pockets and pull out a shell and be like, Could I get your name one more time? Okay, do you want me to like, write it down for you or? No, just say it. Okay, it is Sierra Dismas. <coughs> Alright, cool. Gary's gonna be like, got it. Alright. <laughs> I won't make that mistake again. Sierra Dismiss. She recorded you saying your name on a tone dial. Oh. I assume that's for personal use. Uh-huh. All right, so moving on. <laughs> Orders from the captain. I am your battle buddy. Do not go into battle without your battle buddy. That's it? Uh, additional orders, in order to see what you can do, we's gonna have a practice fight, but a real practice fight, against some people on the, oh god, what are they, Firestorm? 
It was Blaze, right? Fire Drive. Fire Drive, fire drive right. Against some people on the Fire Drive Pirates to see if we gotta have we work after you or not. And I'm your battle buddy for it, so it's gonna be pretty fun. I see. Am I supposed to be at like a handicap or? Mm -hmm. She's gonna shrug and go, no. You go all out, because they will go all out and they could strike at any time. I say that because I don't know when the thing's going to happen. Ivy said it might be in a few days. I... So are they... Surely this is set up somewhere. Yes. But you don't know where. Well, I mean, I did not get that part. No, so it could be any time and anywhere. As far as I know. This was done to keep me on my toes, right? And you didn't just forget? I did not forget. No. Told me to keep you on your toes. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Well, I suppose we need to stick together then. Although, I don't know if I really need your help, you know? Are you trying to keep me out of the fight? Because that would be no good. I'm excited for this. I... Sure, you can... Be... Oh, the thing is, I just don't really know what you can do. Oh. I use a sword. This is my sword, she'll say, taking out Mashape, Which is a paper sword. Oh. And I run around and can knock people over and can stomp on the ground real hard and can jump and fold things up. I feel as if this is something I need to see, but I'm sure it'll come up when they attack us. Oh yeah, it's a lot sometime. more time. It's a lot more impressive in motion. And don't hmm. worry, I'll stick around you for protection. But since we battle buddies, they not going to start no fight without us together. Oh. And I don't think they're actually going to jump you. Ivy just didn't tell me when it was happening. So it's not like, surprise, fight. It's like, surprise, be at the fight in 10 minutes. Probably. Okay. I... I do think this is a bit unnecessary, but she is the captain, so I'll That's follow true. her orders. Good, you're already catching on. A quick question, are you part of the gang? Who asked? Um, Leona. The boss asked. What? Did she forget I'm in it already? Yes, she was, uh, running her head into the wall a couple times. Maybe you should go remind her. Oh. Alright. I go dust my jacket off, then. You have jackets? No, are you in the gang? I... Yes, I'm in the gang. Well, yeah, of course we have jackets. Didn't you oh. get one? I suppose I must have left it somewhere. I, uh, oh, you, you know, Cyril go over and, like, open a zipper and they're like, ah, it's in here somewhere. Oh, man. The boss has been getting so waxed with the regulations after she calmed down. Hmm. Wait, she was worse than she is currently? Oh, yeah. She used to mark her territory all the time. She had bubbles set up. On in what way? Like, she had Sotheby set up in front of the kitchen and Bubbles set up on the stairs. And, like, this one time, Juan couldn't pay the toll, so he just got knocked out of the ship and climbed up onto the deck. Hmm. I see. Hey, do you smell danger? No, I don't. Huh. That's weird. I... As I was muted, uh, 
Jackson will come. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Pain. <laughs> I, I just saw him moving. You weren't yeah. saying anything. I, I thought you were fucking with this. <laughs> Same. Yeah, Jack, Jackson will come walking down the hallway and, like, after he turns the corner, he'll look over. Oh, hey, Carrie. Just who I was looking for. Oh, boy. What did you need me for? Mm. You're that new person, right, Sierra? I don't know what he was talking about. Uh huh. Yes. I'm Jackson Heat, uh, captain of the Fire Drive Pirates. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, well, likewise. Yeah, Carrie. Uh, Solana and Blaze are ready to fight whenever. Um, they should be in the dojo right about now. For, I guess, whenever you guys are ready for it. Probably sooner rather than later. Oh! The ready already? Wow, Captain works fast. Hmm. Well, I did want to go bowling, but I guess this is better. Bowling? Oh, geez, I don't know how to pick between those two. But... I no, I do fighting. I know that they like bowling, too, so maybe all, all of you can go after the fight or something like that. <gasps> Doubles Bowen. Well, as long as there's no hurt feelings. Uh, it's like he'll, he'll turn to start walking up. Oh, don't uh, worry. Uh, I only hurt the body, not the feelings. Uh, you don't have to worry about them. They're not going to be too sore. Either way, I would watch out. I'd give them the advantage, personally. As I start walking off, I'm gonna hang out in the dojo to watch the fight when it happens. I still think Lee's gonna go at it with someone pretty soon, so... Uh, I mean, might, might want to come and, and, you know, look at look at that go down before you fight. And so I'll start to walk off. Well, hmm. I like those odds. Yes, uh... I guess this will work out. I do hope you... Yeah, I'm sure you can fight, right? You might be tiny, but... I'm tiny, but dense. Oh. That is... Comforting. Yeah, don't worry. I'll watch your back. Okay, you then there. I'll watch yours. Yay! Meet you there! Carrie runs to the wall and kicks open a fairy hole. Mm hmm. Okay, Cyril will go to the medical office and drop off him. Of course. Pegma, I choose you! Pegma, are you okay? Pegma, wake up! up! We need a big bed for Pegma. Thank you. <laughs> They uh, found Pegma, he's dead. Jackson will start walking down the hallway and spot Lee as she gets to the doors. Oh, cool. Mm. Oh, hey, you finally gonna come give him the fight they keep screaming about? <sighs> Lee huffs. Yeah, I could use it. I guess I made him wait long enough. Didn't realize I had a line. Oh. Well, it's only Isaac that's actually screaming. He... A girl's pretty, uh, cold. Yeah. <sighs> well, I need to get to know her better anyway, so this should work out well, and I owe Isaac this. Uh, well, uh, break a leg. Maybe you can take a break in between to let Solana and Blaze uh, go at it. Ivy asks them to help test your new crewmate, Sira. So I think she's teaming up with Carrie to fight against them. Oh, right. Captain didn't know if they, she knew how to fight. That's good. <laughs> Lee mutters to herself as she pushes the door open. As she can walk in to see Isaac and Ira just sparring. Hmm. Lee will uh, shout over. Whoever wins can go first! Oh. As Ira will like look over and then like disappear and appear behind Isaac and try and, like, slice him uh, with his sword. And he will take the attack, slicing across his back, uh, to then, um, 
like slam into Ira, pushing her over here. And as he goes to like deliver another attack, uh, she's just going to transform into her wolf form uh, and s- subtly trip him as he will like take one step outside the ring. Yeah, well, he was like washing her face a bit, and she'll look up and go, "Finally figured out how to find a ring, Ira." Well, yes. Specifically when you're trying to actually win instead of kill your opponent. You can just use the rules. Had a girl. That's right. Isn't that guy... <laughs> She's going to talk to Glasgow and Legress and she sees there's another one. Huh. Oh, look up at you. Ready to train. Huh. She'll uh, hand a water bottle and says, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh... Okay. <laughs> well, Bu- well, Budapest, we'll uh, get to you later. Oh. Go down, he'll down the water in one gulp, and you'll uh, see his his like uh, nails start to light up a bit as like he pounds his fists together. That's cool looking. <laughs> Put here, buddy. Should like hold her hands up like a boxing coach, let him punch into them. He'll, he'll punch into your hands, and you'll see the like water start to evaporate on your fists. Oh, that's cool. Nice. She'll scratch him under the chin. He'll, he'll accept. Another good member for the gym. Nice. All right, guys, as take I, notes. As Isaac will start ye- yelling at Ira, like as he has like a bloody gash across his back. Mm. I just, you really think it fucking matters if you just put me outside the ring? Well, in this case, yes. I mean, I'm technically the winner. As like he'll step back in the ring, but no. Come on, Isaac, Good. don't be a sore loser. It's like he'll just start walking across the ring, like, just trailing blood as he'll just sit down. <sighs> he will walk over to him. Let me take care of that first. Fine. It's not fine. <laughs> as you look, the wound's already starting to close. Okay, it's fine. That's... I heal quick. Nice. All right. I'll make sure you catch your breath. I'm gonna be going to you next, after all. Ready whenever. When I'm ready whenever you are. He straightens up and she hears the bang. Oh, hey, Carrie. Oh, hey. I'll be stepping into the ring. Hmm. As Jackson will go take a seat. As Solana will wave down Carrie when she enters. Oh. Hi, right, cool. Is there like a warning going on? You need to address that? Yes, there's a tornado warning, in fact. Nice! Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's <laughs> every day. That's true. As Blaze Wolves look over and just wryly smile at Carrie as Solana looks at Carrie and, uh, um, after waving and smiles a bit. So, we're gonna have to go at it. Uh, where's your partner? Oh, don't you worry. Carrie will pull out the shell. Sarah Dismas will be here. Great. Well, I hope you're ready to give it your all, because Blaze and I work fabulously together, and it's going to be quite the challenge for you. It's not right, Blaze. As Blaze will smile a bit and chuckle. Yeah, it's really going to be tough. Especially, oh, yeah. especially with your paper. Ah, oh, well, yeah, I figure... Maybe you guys, because I was looking up at the burning bits of Solana's hair, might have some way to deal with that. Ah, uh, but don't worry. Me and Sarah Dismas don't know how well we work together, but we're going to give it our all. Well, we'll give you a proper chance to figure that out. Well, I yeah. I mean, it tells us it's an evaluation. So hopefully uh, your new friend can keep up. Yeah. You make sure you go for the heart. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. We'll make sure she comes out with a couple new burns. Awesome. Uh, yeah, Solana. They also, I think, wanted to go bowling afterwards. Oh, really? I've been meaning to go check out your bowling alley. That'd be lovely, Ken. Aw, uh, it's so great down there. I hear when it's dark, June turns on the Wazers. Hmm. That sounds 
Fun? Uh, Blaze looks over. Hmm. Maybe we can just turn off the lights and do it anyway. Uh, yeah, you know what? Since it's underground, that would probably work. Hmm. I wonder if that place can be set up for more games. As you guys can just keep chatting as Lee will step into the ring. Mm -hmm. Lee's just stretching a bit, eyeing up Ira across the way. Hmm. Ira looks like she's not taking any stance or anything. She just has like her jagged sword garm just kind of lazily, uh, like, kind of just tapping the floor as uh, she's just like standing there. Yeah. Please watched enough of her at least once in a while to understand that that's pretty normal and is astute enough to be like, yeah, that, that makes sense. She's she's mostly just in incredibly natural, like, movements without much structure. So, you know, Lee settles into her own loose stance as she mostly is just, you know, focused on ready setting her breathing and everything to get into the right mindset for the fight and kind of nods her head as she feels the sort of uh uh what's it fucking called the adrenaline kind of pulse in her a bit and goes all right ira you ready mm -hmm. i've kind of oh, got to yeah. blow off some steam so don't worry about holding back oh you know it's worrying i'm always ready for a fight and i don't really ever hold back hmm. good i think i can do the same for you then probably so just kind of smile as you can enter whenever you want, uh, Sierra, as you're on your way here anyway. I think. Yeah, yeah, Sierra. So it's when it's whenever you choose to enter. Oh. Oh, Discord froze. Uh, this. Do, 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 do. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Just setting up some macros. I forgot to do. Sure. Oh, you can, you, can, you can do it initiative. Oh, let me make sure. Let me see if that changed. I forget what levels that actually changes at. Uh, no. No, it's only macros. Let me see. No, that's a change. Cool. What's that go? Okay. Uh, anything you want to say, Zero, for the fight? Or can you get into the actual combat? Um, I mean, she'll just like walk up and set up, set up against the wall and just say hey to them, really. As Blaze will look over and smile a bit. Oh, hey. So you're the new person, right? Yep. Hmm. Well... I hope you don't think too bad on us when we, well... Mm. As Solana will smile over, when we beat you two. Hmm. I really don't think that's gonna happen. But... I mean... Zero kind of like... Tilt her head back to like, see, like she's sizing him up. Eh, I guess I could use Carrie's help. Oh, and don't worry about any of the burns. We have an excellent way to to heal them up. Well, if we get to them fast enough. <sighs> that kind of implies. Oh God, I'm. Oh, so you're gonna hit well, me, right? I guess we'll see. But it's good to have confidence. So sorry about my Discord acting yeah. up, everyone. Into the. F oh boy. As Ira will basically look at Lee and ready Garm at her side. Mm -hmm. uh, as yeah, Lee shifts her body to the side so her left arm's extended with her palm out. And her right one's like lowered by her own waist as she's in the open palm stance. Her um, eyes just kind of staring directly at Ira, unblinking. I will start the... 
Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. So, uh, Ira will start the fight by automatically activating her passive White Wolf that sure. will give her, um, will give her four stacks of White Wolf. Sure. Um, each stack gives her a plus two to hit. Okay. Um. And that is all they do actively, just by having a stack activated. And she can spend them later on, but I'll tell you what they do after I actually use it. Um. So. Okay. Uh, Ira will start the fight by using her swift action to change into her Zoan form. Mm -hmm. Which is a scarred up large uh, white wolf with like wild looking hair. Um, and she catches Garm in her mouth like after transforming. Mm -hmm. um, and it will activate Ira's passive dead switch. Which um, basically every time she switches between forms, her next attack gets a plus 10 to hit and damage. <laughs> okay. Um, so she will automatically, so she will use the swift action to switch, uh, into her zone form, and then use her move action to run at the, like, extremely quickly. Um, mm -hmm. basically throwing Garm in the air, catching it with her mouth as she just bolts towards Lee, uh, trying to give her no time to really, um, prepare herself for when the attack starts. Mm -hmm. And she will use, uh, Garm's Howl, which is, um, it's just a normal attack where the target's flat-footed. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see how much flat-foot takes out of mine real quick. It takes nine out of mine? Yeah, it does. So, that would be, my def least defense would be 31, then. Okay, or, I uh, it. Not 31, sorry, hold on, wait, is it 31? Yeah, because it's stripping 9, yeah. Uh, is it within 5? No. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just switch to uh, Trishula then. Go ahead. Sure, how much damage? Uh, this will deal 30 damage. Okay. Just straight normal physical damage. Yep. Okay. Why am I doing that chat? All right. You got it. What next? So it's a move, standard, swifts. Um. Okay. Um. After hitting you uh, with her sword, uh, she'll like drop it from her mouth. Um, and unleash a, like, howl directly in your face. Mm -hmm. Uh, please give me a will save DC 20. I love will saves our law enforcement. Yeah! Okay, you will pass, so nothing will happen. I did it, promise. I beat the monster. So she has one more standard, Our communal right? weakness will saves. <laughs> Blake is kind enough to scale to us all being autistic and not doing well. Trust me, when I, when I want to make that mean, I can just make it mean. Yeah, I know, exactly. Um, it's nice. And... What do I want to do with her last standard? Um, I think with her last standard, she'll substitute it for a move. And move back here. Okay. Basically, as she she like cuts you with Garm, as she like tosses it in the air with her mouth, uh, howls in your face. Uh, <laughs> ba basically, jumps up, grabs it again, looking like she's gonna swing it back at you, but instantly pivots and jumps and like basically jumps back. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end of her turn, uh, Dead Switch will activate again. Uh, at the end of like any of her turns she can choose whether to stay in zone or like choose what form to stay in and she will shift back pretty nice 
should teach me how to do that, Ira. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Well, I'll make her my dodge target. Do I have, right, do I have a symbol for dodge? No, it's just you green mark them. Yeah, I know I've been using it. I'm just wondering if I ever made a symbol for it. No, I don't think you ever have. Oh, I would get my swift action. Turn. Um. I will probably not do that sooner rather than later, so I'll use my swift to eat a rolling ball. So that's six rounds of this. Um I'll enter the the roomy. So I get another swift, and then I think I'll enter I want Trishel or, or Vajra. I'll I'll enter the Vajra stance, and I will then. She probably has pretty decent deck save, so I'll spend a move action to walk up. Okay. And. I will. I think I will. I'll try. <laughs> Sick. Uh, I will. Crushing palm her. I think. Let me make sure I have the right to hit ratio. Yes, that is correct, I think. Wait, am I forgetting anything? No. That is 37, do ya? Okay, I will now activate White Wolf. Okay. Um, which, I will tell you, the activation of White Wolf lets her um, dodge and attack. But she has to... Um, okay. she, she has to declare this before anything else, just like on, on attack. Uh, she spends one to dodge it. Um, so that will automatically miss, but she'll lose one stack of White Wolf. And I'll also tell you, uh, she has no way of gaining these stacks back. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, that's... I mean, I guess I'll change so I'm open palm uh, the roomy, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Ara will stay in human form. Mm -hmm. And... She will faint and attack at you, um, trying to swing down at you, uh, but then instead use a movement action uh, mm -hmm. to basically run past you over here before actually connecting. Okay. Um, and then use a ranged sword attack by firing like a sword blast from Garm. I have, um, double checking. Yeah, okay, I'd have, if I take 10, I have 43 defense. Uh, this doesn't, uh, 43. Right, she has a, uh, she has the, um, dead switch on, because she just switched. Um, okay, uh, this does hit, but it's within five. Um... Yeah, I mean, I have two swift actions, so I guess I'll royal guard that one. At least Lim will just reach out and break the sword blast. Okay. She will once again switch in uh, as a swift action into her zone form. Uh, and then after you break the sword blast, she'll run at you getting really low, trying to upper slice you. But she's going to use a standard action as a move action. Okay. Um, and then, uh, use her last standard to, uh, basically try and up-slice you from the ground with sure. your sword. Sure. 43 again. 43. Um, once again, it hits within five. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just, uh, uh, negate it again, because I still have a swift action. So, Lee will just, um... Her body will just lean back as her eyes are just trailing on her. I mean, like, Lee's eyes are very, very good now. So, for Ira, it's 
it's it's it's not good for her because you know it's it's getting rid of one of her advantages of being an unwieldy like unnaturally good at moving around fucking swift attacker as Lee's just able to trail and keep up with her with her eyes staring at her so she just leans back like it's still fast but she has enough time to think to herself to dodge backwards and enough you know body control to be able to do that so I mean, we'll just quickly lean backwards and then ready herself back again, expecting more from Ira. And then it, I'll take my swift actions back. Let me count down my um, buff. Um, no, I don't want to crushing palm. I will start with. Let's see, I didn't have anything to change. I'm gonna open palm. Uh, I'll just start with a shift into Vajra. So I'll stay in a roomy in Vajra and I'll try and do a trip attack on her. Uh, so okay. 23, then it'll be. So does she declare her dodge thing like before I roll is the idea or? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Basically, okay. if it, you declare that you're going to do uh, an attack action of some kind, right? Uh, before yeah. you roll, I declare if I'm spending a um, a stack to yeah. Uh, so does she basically want avoid? To... Yes, she is going to spend to avoid the trip attack. Okay. As is she, you'll basically go in for a trip, and she'll just like kind kind of just move her foot back unexpectedly to completely avoid it. It would put her in a awkward position where it looks like it'd give you an opening to actually hit. Mm-hmm. Lelina's better. But I'll try and do my next attack as a trip attack also. Fought Zyra. Sure. Uh, this one you can do. Cool. Uh, so since I, like, um... Just a question, am I still do reducing my accuracy for further multi-attacks like we're supposed to do, even if... Like, did I... Did, does no, it count? no, 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 okay. no, you, it, it does not count. Okay, it's it just completely ignoring that. the attack happening. I see. Okay, okay. So it, it does not take the multi-attack. Okay, unfortunate for you, Ira. Of course, it's like my crew within crit range for trip attacks. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, you're like a 49. <laughs> yes, I will trip her. Nice. I'll do my uh, free attack off the trip. Now, does she want to negate that one? Uh, no. Uh, you can do your free attack, but because she's under the influence of a negative status effect, um, another one of her passives will activate that let her um, okay. basically attack back. Uh, specifically, it's not any negative status effect. It's specifically um, trip, bleeding, um, or fear. I see. Okay. Cool. Yeah, do her attack then. What's your defense? Uh, I guess I'll switch back to open palm. Uh, no, I, I probably shouldn't. I'm thinking. Sorry. Um, my defense is maybe twenty-five plus two, so. Uh, it'd be 37. 37. Okay, this does hit. Um, okay. Four. This will hit within five. Um. Let's see, what form am I in? I'm in Vajra. Trisha. Yeah, I. Or Vajra. Or me. Yeah, I guess I'll Royal Guard it also. Okay. We will okay. smash the hit away with her punch, I guess. Basically, as you trip her, uh, you're going for a um, strike on her, and uh, unnaturally, she'll just kind of push, push her on her paws so she's in her wolf state to slowly move away, and as your like, fist is coming down, she will try and jab like at your stomach area with Garm held in her mouth. You got it. Yeah. We will just, um, like hit her fist like into like the the hilt of or the handle of the sword to stop her but like not have enough force to actually damage her and push back and i have one more attack so i guess i will just um try and 
hit her one more time. Does she want to negate it? Uh, she's just going to attack back. Oh, right. I guess she can... Right, right, right. Um... Maybe I don't want to attack her, honestly. So I think. Uh, I can probably take at least one hit. It probably won't fucking kill me. I'll roll to see if I crit. Right, does her attack resolve first? Do I should I do my uh, defense against it first, or? Um. Yes. Her her attack would resolve first. Um. So. Let's me. Do her. Oh, uh, she's four stack. Or she's two stacks. Um. Okay. Um. What is your? Defense? Uh. It's. I. I don't think it changed. I think it's still 37, yeah. Okay, this will hit within 5. Okay, but you don't have any more. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, so this will hit for... Wait, what'd you roll? Okay. I was just checking to see if she hit her crit range, but she didn't. Okay. Um, you so, know, you, you, uh, she's on the ground, so she's like half the accuracy. Right. Um, you are correct. Um, yeah. I'm forgetting how I, I forgot that that's how prones work. Yeah. Melee. I was I, I thought she just high rolled on her last hit, but I was, I was just checking. Um. No, no, you're back. right. You can take your swift action back. Okay, thank you. It's it's fine. There's a lot of we have, there's a lot of passives I can tell. It's we got a lot of dots on our characters. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This one's gonna miss. Okay. Uh, cool. Your attack uh, was thirty-three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that will hit. Okay. Cool. Um. I will. Let me see. What what same sorrow effect? Do I want to do a same sorrow? Do I want to do a switch? I think I'll probably do a same sorrow. Um. I could grapple her because she likes the move. No, I'll do a same sorrow move. Um. I will do my damage. I'm in tri No, Uruni Vajra. Right, okay, that's good for me then. I will. Uh, 10, 28. No, not plus 18. 1d8. Plus, I think it's 14 total. 6 fire. Uh, am I forgetting something? Oh, I'm in a Uruni, right, so I have plus 1 damage. Alright, uh, 23, uh, 6 of it's fire, and I, uh, will spend my swift action to do the Samsara since she's prone, uh, I deal, uh, extra damage equal to my level that pierces DR, so she takes, uh, 11 extra, uh, through DR. Uh, sorry, how, how much is fire? 6? Uh, fire was 6, and then 11 piercing along with that. And okay. then the normal damage would be 17 without the fire. Uh, I, I will tell you she has five fire DR. I see. Uh, so, uh... You put on your cloak of dragon hunting just to fight me, Ira? That's nice. Uh, she, ha uh, she has... Um, she has the five DR in uh, every, like, additional DR type. Okay. Um... So, uh, uh, yeah. Once that's done, that's my turn. So it, it's it's a seventeen, then plus eleven true damage, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think she took like what one from fire. Yeah, she took one from fire, then yeah. Yeah. seventeen uh, yeah. to her normal DR, and then eleven piercing. Yep. Uh, it's her go when you're done. Okay. Do will choose to. Uh, Shift back into her uh, normal form. I will likewise use one of my s to go into open palm instead of Vajra. And she will jump to her feet with a move action mm -hmm. uh, and use Wolf's Howl, even not in her wolf form, to try and catch you off guard. You got uh, so it. She so, uh, this will be a DC-20 will save. You got it, Chief. Oh, God. This is weird. <laughs> Hitting the will saves. 
I mean, it's not that I have a 10, so I'm like pretty decent, but you know, I'm just shocked. Sorry, Ira. Okay, uh, <laughs> will she will stare then... at her as she doesn't flinch as she howls in her face. She'll, she'll smile and then, um, throw Garm to the side a bit and then quickly, like, swing it back aimed at your neck to use Garm's howl, which is an attack that's your flat footed for. Yeah, luckily Lee's in a roomie, so she's not, uh, so... Yeah, she's immune. Right? Yeah. Uh, so I have, uh, this is... My dodge is 43. If I take I that, yeah, 43. 4 and then plus 10. Uh, this will hit. Okay. This not within 5. Um, thinking... I wonder if it's more than 10. I'll, uh, I'll try and use Observation Hockey to see if that dodges it. So, it boosts my defense by 10. So what is your current defense again? Well, 43 plus 10, 53. 53. Yes, I will dodge it. Excellent, good. Shit myself. Right, so as the uh, dis the blade distracts Lee enough that it almost catches her off guard, there's like a tangling sense as she activates her observation hockey, and she quickly uh, uh, gr hits her, like throws her arm up to like against Ira's like arm as she leans into the strike to like stop it mid motion. Right. Okay. Um. She will, uh, she sells a standard and a swift. Uh, swift because she used her passive change at the end of uh, the turn. Sure. Um, right, right. She will switch into her zone with a swift mm -hmm. uh, and then try and stab you with gun. Uh, this time aiming for your palm. Like, because she knows you're going to try and block it yeah. in some way to deflect it like you've been doing. So she's aiming directly for your hand. You got it. I got a 53. Yeah, this will also not hit. Cool. Yeah, Lee will recognize what she's doing and just choose to get some space back and step to the side as she's being stabbed. And, uh, here I'll subtract my turn counter. Uh, she doesn't have anything else, right? My turn. No, she'll, she'll choose to remain in her wolf form. Cool. Um, thinking. Man, oh, yeah, I won't switch yet. Um, she still has two white wolf stacks. I should probably just. I'll, I'll, I'll try and do a trip attack. Go ahead. She can, okay. She'll let it happen. Got it. 27. Alright, since she'll let it happen, I'll shift into Vajra. So I can get my max bonus on this shit. 43. Yeah, that hits. Alright. Uh... I'm in Arumi Vajra. Uh, I'll be doing the free attack off trip. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. She'll try and attack you back. Sure. You got it, buddy. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's not gonna hit. Cool. So um, nine hit with trip, 20, or with 20. prone. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I probably keep my... Swift action? Yeah, probably. Um, okay. So, you know, she, uh, six of that still fire damage. Okay. So, um, uh, okay. Uh, okay. 
Uh, there's no bonus time to the last time, right? No, bonus not, I'm not spending a swift action on it. Right. No. Okay. Um, yeah, I will... Uh, I will just try and hit her again. Go ahead. Okay. She's going to go crit fishing to try and hit you. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. I'm doing the reverse currently. She will not hit. Okay. Um. Twenty-three. Yeah. Twenty-three will not hit. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> Is it in five? So yes. All right, I'll do. I'll be able to do half damage. I'm in Vajra. Fourteen. Uh, any yeah, of that fire? Four, Fourteen and um. Yeah, three of it would be fire, so only 11 damage, and then that's, you know, reduced by DR, so, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I yeah. will... Yeah, uh, yeah, she'll basically her DR block. Yep, oh, what the fuck? No, I don't want to splinter stack. Um, I guess I'll try and just hit her again. She's not gonna negate because she wants to crit. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, does she hit? Oh, yeah, uh, moment. No. Okay, cool. Uh, you do, though. You hit 28. No, I rolled a 16. Oh, you 20 rolled a 16. is my All damage right. roll. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, 16, no. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I'll still have a swift action, so I guess I'll just switch back to my, you know, defensive uh, open palm instead of Vajra and can be her go. Or, um, should we use the same maneuver again uh, as last turn? Yep. Of um, using a move action while shifting out of her um, double fruit form? Yep. And. Okay, uh, I think it is good to try and change the current state of the fight. So, does she have the move? Yeah, she has three standards. Um, she is going to use her full round action beyond death. Okay. So, uh, this is her basically, like, uh, losing her grin, uh, looking at you very seriously and in one swift motion basically like aiming garm directly at your heart trying to like ba basically it's a kill shot sure um and this is a attack where the target does not defend they make a dc 20 reflex or and will save and the effects depending on what you fail epic got it okay reflex and so you both yeah, you do reflex fort and then. Right. And... Oh, ref fort also. Yeah, yeah, all three. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I guess I'll start with Will. All right. Okay, you fed the Will. All right, pass, and then I auto pass reflex. Okay. Uh. What's so... fail and the Will do? Okay. Uh, so they will make an attack, and if you fail the Will save, um. Swift actions for the target are locked until the start, uh, until Ira's next. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, so, but, uh, this can be like that. No. Oh, sure. Uh, that can be for that. Uh, so she will make an attack. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your defense? 43. 43. This will hit. Yep. Okay. Uh, and this will to uh, 30 damage. Yeah, you got it. Uh. Okay. Um, so, basically, as she goes for, like, a kill shot aimed at your heart, um, you'll hear her, like, make a, like, low kind of uh like kind of uh growl mm -hmm. uh as she approaches uh 
that like the pitch will kind of make you feel slightly uncomfortable as she, she's also without any hesitation aiming for like an actual vital locate vital spot mm -hmm. uh, and she will successfully like cut through you but you'll notice that the exact last second before actually like attacking uh, she will avoid actually trying to pierce your heart and go for like a more uh, a, le a not fatal attack where she like slices your skin mm -hmm. uh, and that will be her turn Bitch, Lee told her to go all out. She didn't even kill her. What an asshole. Um, well, I can't shift any of my forms. Uh, let me see if there's something else I can do. That's useful. Um... No, I guess I'll just try and crushing palm for all my standard actions because I'm not really going to get much done this turn. Sure, um, make the attack. I'm not going to activate the passive. Okay. Oh, let me count down my uh, buff really quick. Actually, don't want to forget that shit. I don't want to fucking cheat. A big cringe. Um, so I'm in a roomy, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Twenty-five to Ira. It says, hold on, let me check my thing. One second, I just want to double check something. Is overpower only in Vajra, or is the doubling in Vajra? Oh, is it is it within five of hitting, or I just checking? 25? No. Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. Your turn, Ira. So my thing's good now? I'm yeah, you, you, you can now use some tokens. Okay, cool. Let's move the thing. Uh, she'll choose to turn to a double fruit form. Sure, uh, yeah. Get your plus 10, I would do it too. This is a good dog. What form are you in? Open palm, uh, and, uh, roomy. A roomy, okay. Hmm. Okay. Um... She will use, um... Uh, she's going to make an attack at you. Got you got it, Chief. Once again, you got that f 43 to defense. Uh, this will hit. Yep, I figured. Within five not or not within, at all? Not within five. Yep. Uh, oh. thinking what I want to do. Um, don't tell me the damage would be cheating if I knew. Um, I think I will... I mean, this will make her activate hers, so this will probably be n neutral in the end, but maybe taking a swift action will be good. I'll activate my armament hockey. Okay. Um, she will, in yep. response, activate her. Of course, yeah. What's your level of armament hockey? It's two. Yep. Um, so she will activate her armament hockey uh, mm -hmm. when you do yours. Uh, and now I will say the damage, uh, which is 28. I think I actually have enough to nullify that. Let me check. It's 10 by default and we get, what, 5 per level? Yeah, 5. Okay. Yeah, I have, an, I have just 28. Okay. Ah, uh, it can just dig into Lee's arm but not get deep enough as it's coded. Oh, mm. Let me do one of reactions. Sorry. Mummy. So, she, she's done a standard action and her swift. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she is going to, after like cutting to Lee's arm with a kind of even and it's not actually being able to dig in, mm -hmm. uh, she's going to, in like one uh, bizarre motion, 
instantly like jump back, like pushing off Lee mm-hmm. as she's like trying to dig into her with the sword. Yeah. Land over here. Um and she is going to uh substitute a standard action for a swift action. Or sorry, sorry. It, it is a swift action of changing back into human form, but she's using a standard action version of it, which um, will add on to her white wolf. Okay. Uh, so she uses a stand. Uh, if she uses a or dead switch, I'm sorry. Sure. A lot of passives. If she yeah, uses a standard action to activate the form change, um, it will add five to the ten ten damage and hit. You got uh, it, for man. The next attack. So instead of 10 to 15. Uh, you got it, man. Don't worry. You can she, just say it buffs her damage. Yeah. And she will fire a blast from Garm. Yeah, you know my defense. 43. 43. This will hit. Then 5? No. Yeah, I don't think so. How much damage? Uh, uh wait, 29. Don't tell. Oh, wait. That's fine. Oh, sorry. No, nah, it's fine. I mean... I, I think I can technically hear what damage it is and then decide if I wanted to, like, activate, like, armament hockey stuff like that. I, I, I don't know. What do you think? Like, what's the timing on swapping? Because I always try and, add, like, swap before because I think it might be a little too good if I get to hear how much damage it is. But if you don't mind about hearing damage and deciding if I can form change, like, in my DR form, then I'll just let you tell me. But what do you think about that? Um, I've just I... always tried to cut you off because I thought it was more fair for or i thought it might be too beneficial to me but i'm willing not to get myself if you don't mind i think it's better if you choose what form you go into before i say damage so i'll make sure not to say damage yeah 29 though was it uh yeah 29 yeah i got arm and hockey of active already so i just take like one um Remember, her armor and hockey is the same rank as you, so the DR is negated for both of you. Oh. Right. Never mind, then. Cool. Haha, <laughs> yeah. I hate when bandits use glass armor. <laughs> okay. Um... Do I have any swift actions I want to do? That was her last action for turn, right? Yes. Uh, I guess I'll spend a swift action to be into Trishla and Vajra. Uh, wait, what's my fucking heal? Is that swift action if it's self? No, standard is self. Okay. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm just switch- I, I just switched my forms. That's what I do. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, down on you my will. Armament, count down on my buff. She will switch with dead switch to her zone state. Sure. I'm gonna walk up. Uh, give me a second. I want to consider my options. Uh, no, it's fine. Um, it's a more complicated boss fight than some other ones in terms of the amount of passives Harvey has. Sure. Yeah. Um. You get me. Um. I guess I'll just crushing palm, but I'm gonna do it for two, not three. Okay, uh, she's going to spend one of her white wolf sex. Let's fucking go, bros. So that is another minus two to her hit. Let's fucking go, bros. It's okay. Mm. 
Uh, I have to fight Isaac later. Fuck me. Um. Sorry, I'm just considering if I want to heal because that'll keep it me from doing it later. I'm Oregon trailing it right now. Um. I always tell Isaac you don't feel like it today. No, that's really <laughs> lame and stupid. It breaks my immersion. Um. Immersion? Isn't that a thing that just, like, doesn't matter besides the mechanics? Yeah, you know me. I hate immersion. I've always stated games should just basically be like a. Uh, like Jaggerfall, where you go to village and shovel stuff into your cart, and then go to a dungeon and shovel stuff into your cart, and then go sell it and make custom spells. Um, I saw one standard. I did one attack. I'm still at full attack modifier since you just nulled it. Uh, I guess. I guess since she'd only get like. I really don't want her to hit me. I guess I'll just do a normal attack against her. Yeah, she go ahead. I think that's fine? Alright. Yeah. At least 7 does not hit. Yeah, I... Okay, um, I'll use my swift action on my turn to switch back to my defensive setup and... It's her go. Okay. Let me think. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Uh, to see. Uh, you're keeping track of your arm arm inappropriately, right? Okay. Um, she will use. She'll once again go in for uh, an attack, aiming garment your neck, but stop and then get up in your face and howl and using a wolf's howl. So twenty will save. Okay, uh, so uh, at the same that once again have no effect, she'll just kind of smirk a bit uh, and uh, basically grab Garm again with her mouth uh, and sw and like kind of spin around trying to swing it down on your shoulder, which is um, an attack that um, she she's trying to rend you, so it, it's an attack, but if it connects, you'll make a fort save for trying to resist being bled. So, it, that only matters if you're hit or not. You got it. Uh, oh, sorry, I was muted for some reason. You got it, Chief. I have 43 defense. Okay, this will hit. 7 5? No. I will try and activate my observation hockey. Uh, 43. I see furry. Yes, uh, that will uh, dodge it. Okay, good. Um, okay, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as she swings down, she will. Uh, so she's held attack. Yeah, she is a standard, probably. A swift, unless I forgot what her passive is and the move. No, she she started. In you know, honestly, should probably just put the trackers on enemy units, when, especially when they're bosses. <laughs> you know, like standard movement reaction stuff. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, no flame. I just think it would probably help. It would probably make it more. You know. One standard. Okay. No, that's fair. Um. Okay. Uh, she will transform back 
as a stand, as a swift action. Yeah, you got it. And she is going to use a movement action to faint and attack at you, but then run uh, over here. Yeah, like her little disappearing slack attack, and then she does the sword blast thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got 43, yeah, yeah. Uh, 53, sorry. You know how this goes. Yeah. The class. Uh, yeah, that will, that will not hit. Cool. Cool. I will, uh... One. I will use my remaining swift before her turn ends to get my offensive, which is Vajra and Trishula. So shift back into her dome. Yep. isn't looking too good. I'm out of gas soon. We're gonna walk up. And I'll uh, try... Wait, am I coming through on Discord? Hello? Hello? Am I coming through? Oh, sorry. Did you say something? I didn't yeah, know no, that was weird. Uh, no, my Discord light wasn't lighting up. I had to, like... I wasn't, it didn't say I was muted, but I just had to fiddle with it for a second. Sorry, no, I was just saying I was walking up, and I will, I think I will just try and do the free standard action crushing palm. Does she want to negate it? Yes. Okay. So that was the last attack of uh, White Wolf. Cool. That's the uh, end of my turn as I switch into defense stances. Okay. She will stick in her double for form. Yep. Just... Uh, she is going to use Beyond Death. Cool. Uh, as as you approach, uh, trying to attack her, she will dodge, and then once again aim her sword directly, trying to chop your head off. Yeah. Uh, I'll do my rolls. Uh, please declare which one's which. I'm. Yeah, you'll know by the bonuses. They're all different. Yeah. I'm just go from the worst to the best. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then reflex is automatic. Uh, before I'm blocked off from my fucking swift actions, I'm gonna switch to um, out of Arumi since it won't fucking matter to Nari and Astra. Make me a three by three, please. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, when I switch to Nari and Astra, I have. Fierce Deity, so the first time I enter it, I gain 10 HP equal to, equal to half my hit points, and that stays in the stance throughout the encounter. Uh, so I'll gain... We round down here, bros. 54. No, not 54, what am I talking about? Um, 45, right? Yeah, 40. No, 54. Yeah, I'm not fucking crazy. Okay, uh, yeah, go back to, uh, doing her. So now I'm locked to, out of, uh, Swift Action, right? Yeah. Did you already sorry. put it on for me? Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the pink. Yeah, yeah. Um, as Sira looks on in horror, and Sleep turns into a giant monster. Yeah, Lee finally is in her big monster form, so she's still in, uh... Oh, I will also... Do I want to stay in open palm? This is, like, a full round thing she's doing. So now I'll change to, uh... Uh, uh... Trisha along with that. So Lee turns into her uh, large form. Uh, uh, I'll have uh, the with Trisha. Uh, it'll stay as a instead of uh, doing the multi arms. Uh, she has two large armored, uh, like big smashing arms in this form, and just looks like a giant hulking demon with clawed, armored hands. Right. Uh, Ira is, like, extremely nonchalant about that. Yeah, of course. Um... Lee doesn't do any of her normal, like, roaring, screaming, I'm mad thing, especially since she has no actual in-game reason to be that mad at Ira. She's continuing her fairy-focused, unblinking, beady stare, which is 
magnified in its creepiness to onlookers, not to Iris, since, you know, she doesn't care, because she gets the very, like, purely red dot eyes that just kind of float in a dark abyss that are just kind of briefly shaking as she's staring down at her. But for the hulking size and monstrosity of a demon that she is, she seems incredibly focused on Ira and isn't making much of a mess and has a the same level of grace and practice that Lee normally has. She's a lot less uh, flaily in these forms when she's especially focused and especially post time skip. She hasn't used Narian Astra too much, so it's notable. Okay, I will make Ira's attack. That gets yeah. along with Beyond Death. Of course, I only have. Um, uh, sorry, let me just go grab my defense value, because it drops quite a bit without open or roomy. It is, uh, plus two from dodge. So, yeah, I have plus 26, so it's a 36 now. Okay, 36. Okay. Uh, this okay. attack... This attack for it. Okay. Uh, um... 13. Doing the damage. Break out the big calculator for this shit, huh? It, yeah, she has three times crit. Cool. Can't wait um, to die. And this will deal um, 81 damage. Yeah, let's go, boys. Uh, the, Tiara, it, it, my it, dog died. Let's it do, go. It, do, it does. It does affect her plus 10 to damage from transforming. Yeah, well, let's no go. Effort. Let's fucking go. My dog said, "Kiara, 81." You said 81. Okay, um, 77, and then my. 20, so 57. Let's fucking go. Uh, and there's a full. Uh -huh. Um, she's aiming for your neck. And in that big state, she thinks she can still appropriately attack your neck without actually chopping your head off. Oh, easily, yeah, I mean... Uh, so, she will slash at your neck, uh -huh. um, and then uh, when she'll basically, like, stop after she cuts into your neck, uh, transform back with a swift action into a human state... Um, I mean, I figure Lee isn't brain dead retarded enough to like actually let her hit yeah. the neck, so she just have an arm that she can dig in really deep to. Yeah, uh, and she'll kind of spin around your arm a bit, uh, and in the air, uh, use her uh, wolf's howl on her human state. So twenty will save. Cool. Yeah. There it is. Okay, you are shaken for four turns. Let's fucking go! I'm not even gonna put it on because I'm just gonna burn and blood it away. Ah, so it's a quarter of my current HP. Alright. Uh, that would be hurt. Yeah, I'll take 13 damage to get rid of that. <sighs> I'm dying. Can't do swift actions. Um, Trish Lebla, Nari and Astra. Richard, bonus for total attacking is five, right? Nah, I didn't feel like answering. I believe it's five. Uh, I am going to have Lee, on her last turn of having this useful buff, I am going to total attack, open palm. Narian Astra means she doesn't suffer defense drop from total attack. I basically never do this because it's never a Narian Astra enough. Uh, so I'm going to do total attack action plus 5 to hit, then my crushing palm for free standards. 
Yeah, go ahead. Oh, it's not, I don't have anything to have interact anything with. To stop him. Yeah. All right, let's see it, bros. Yeah, cool, awesome. Thirty-four. Thirty-four will hit. Ah, oh, thank fucking Christ. Uh. Here, crushing palm goes for DR. Um. Oh, I can't do a swift action. I don't even know. I have to look at my Samsara list. And this is three attacks. Let me go. Count those up. Only three separate attacks? Well, as Crushing Palm works, it's you're substituting standard actions, and for each standard action you're substituting is adding an attack to the attack. That's Crushing Palm. It's like Vital Strike if you ever played Pathfinder. So when you hit with Crushing Palm, it's I'm rolling for damage of three attacks because I used the actions of three attacks in one hit. That's what the ability's always done. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's, uh... Plus... Four? I'm not forgetting anything. This is for DR. Uh... Alright, Astro, that's it. Yeah, yeah, okay. 53 for DR. 53. Um, I could send her flying back, but I mean, oh, one by, one by ring out. Yeah, that's gay. So, uh, I mean, I'll just have the big shockwave explode behind her and try not to hit the people in the audience with it. Oh, the audience is fairly capable of defending themselves. Exactly. It's just very funny, haha, -ha, comedic moment where they're like, Watch it, you bitch. You stupid cunt. Um, okay, well, uh, that's my last turn of rolling ball, so we will... Wait, is this my last one, or does she defuse on the next turn? It lasts for six. I guess she defuses on the next turn. Okay. Uh, I know... I know, you, I know this is a shockwave, but you like to try for me the actual, like, attack. It was, it was a pretty powerful hit. Oh, well, like with Crushing Palm, I mean, uh, Lee's in well, her yeah. form, so she just is reared back for a second as she, like, closes her eyes for just a second and breathes in the uh, flow of power in her brain that she can feel through the control of her entire body, just kind of slowly flows around and ch builds up in her arm as her hand shimmers a little bit uh like with red energy and she just in a second opens her eyes and there's a qu like blindingly fast motion especially because she's fast as she quickly but fluidly swifts her uh changes her stance forward as she swings her entire body's weight and all the energy she condenses into her palm imitating, you know, of course, Master Chuck's classic uh, old title of the Crushing Palm into one blindingly fast but an incredibly powerful strike into the person, meeting them head-on as she connects forward with a thrust, arm thrust with a red glowing palm into Ira as it explodes out immediately upon making contact into the person and uh, sends out a giant shockwave behind them, breaking things up. Uh, she will, like, attempt to guard it, uh, but your, uh, crushing palm will basically break through any guard she has, um, and, yeah, like, yeah, she, it goes for DR. uh, and she'll, like, basically fall to the ground, still catching herself on her feet, and she's still giving you, like, a fairly, like, standard smile, oh, but yeah. you can see her body start to shake, like, shake after taking that attack. Cool, yeah. Up, Ira. As Jackson will grab Vesta and pull her behind, like, oh, like throw her over here as half the bench just gets destroyed. Yeah. Welcome to the dojo. Forest okay. builds this place every day. Your swift actions are now free. Yay. Oh, HP percentage are you at, Ira? Okay, not there yet. Yeah, I look at the vital. Fa oh, cool, she's over fast. Yeah, I have it, Richard. Are you... Richard. <laughs> uh, over a five is pretty good. <laughs> what do you want from me? 
Um, but I don't think I could beat a fucking generic NPCs half the time, Richard. Jesus. Wait, can I have the passive that gives me a plus ten when I switch forms? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh man, I, love I that. get plus ten to fucking hit when I fucking rub my ball sack. I then love a passive that. that automatically rubs my ball sack every turn. I. My, my attack gets weaker? No, it just gets better. There is a lot of red energy going around, like, right now. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Uh, Ira is going to... Want me to think. Yes, I also have to consider my options here. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Okay, um... Ira is going to use a swift action. Eat a rolling ball. Because Lee hands these out like candy. Okay. And... She will... Attack you with Garm. Sure. Uh, I guess since I have swift actions now, I'll go back to my defensive forms. Uh, the small, please. Sorry, yeah. No, it's fine. Uh, I, I, I would do it myself. I just do you, um, I'll, I'll let you say, since you go from a 3x3 three three to this, you could just choose she's going for like a melee attack and not like a sword blast so you could choose to just be like here or here or something and just not get hit by this if you're sure man because you're you're it's not like you can do that literally like every time she swings at you all the time it's okay. like i mean it seems it, it seems it seems fair to me that when you're you get to pick a location in terms of like you were occupying all those spaces right so you get which one you're transforming into it's it's like chopper when he dodges things by changing no i mean i don't disagree with the thing i just worry like that's just like a hard negate forever but i'll i i won't tell it i won't I, I would take that but i'm just if if you're sure man yeah i'll yeah obviously i'd want to do that cool. okay thanks I'll pick your space yeah and... i'll uh, be here okay uh so she will swing uh at you and you will it will just basically shift. Um, and her swing will just cleanly swipe into the air as you will rapidly tra transform back. You got it. And she is going to use the same move action. And while moving, use a standard action to, uh, Change forms, and she will now use um, a standard action uh, to use Wolf's Howl. Mm -hmm. I'm tapping up. Okay, you will succeed. Back to lucky. And she will use her last standard action to perform an attack with Garm. 43. Uh, this will hit within five. I will boil guard it. Okay. Yay. So that will be turn. You got it. Our armament hockey ran out now. Yep. Oops. And my, yeah, no, not zero. And then my uh, rolling ball is over, so I will be just one form Andy now. I guess I'll 
keep the one form I'm staying into into this turn of Rumi, so I can start with two Swifts. Um, oh yeah, I'll describe the physical characteristics, oh, like the, the role play, if you will, of what she looks like when she eats a rolling ball. Please. Um, basically when she eats the rolling ball, her hair will, like, grow out a bit and look even more, like, mange and wild, and you'll see her eyes, um, kind of start to go white, kind of like a corpse, um, as her body will get even colder than it naturally is. That's cool. That's pretty cool, Ira. Ass dog. I will... go into Vajra. Hot stepper form. And I will... Attempt to crushing palm her. Let's pray, gentlemen. Knees on the ground, elbows on the pew. That's a high roll. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, you hit. Epic. Okay. So, 24. Right? Yeah. Okay, then plus. Uh, higher landing. <laughs> uh, hey, is it, uh, is it hitting more than five past her defense that matters in Vajra for multiplying the fire damage? No. Okay, man. Yeah. Um, okay, so by default the fire is six damage still. Yes, yeah, six, so 18. This goes for DR. All yeah, so it's not like that really matters. Yeah. Like, that, the fire damage, that is... Just pierces all DR. Yeah, oh, that's a high roll on damage, finally. Thanks, Lee. 79. Once again, it's the crushing palm. Uh, this time, she fakes it out with a kick, because she's in her Vajra speed form. And in, and doing, like, a high-spinning, like, uh, kick. And instead of letting the kick connect, she quickly just twirls in the air, lands low, and in an instant, the she uses the Samsara to transition into... Uh, as she kind of does, you know, the, like, image-breaking shit that, you know, in Kangen they do the formless-style form thing, where it's like, oh, whoa, look, he's in a different form, it looks like there's a va vapor. It's like there's a puff of, like, smoke there where Lee was, as she's already shifted into the crushing palm. Yeah, 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 I, I get you, I get you. And, uh, I will... Hmm. Once you pull out the onion ring. <laughs> Once you pull out the onion ring. I punch her in the stomach and french fries pop out from behind her. Once you decide to completely get rid of that and just go bananas crazy mode. <laughs> when, oh, she already did that. It just ran out. Here, I Ira, do that. open up. <laughs> Split me in half. Richard, did you read the newest Canyon chapter? Did I read what? You the read newest Canyon chapter. chapter yet? Yes. <laughs> what a Boy. fucking shit show this tournament is. It was fine. Sure. It was self-defense. He pulled out a knife. Yeah, he pulled a knife. It's completely justifiable. He was fearing for his life. It was self-defense. <laughs> it's self-defense, your honor. It's so um, funny. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll have Lee switch into uh, the open palm style at the end of the turn. That was all my standards. Just switch to open palm. Out of that. As Ira gets hit. Once again, I could try and ring her out, but I don't think Blake wants that, and I think that's retarded anyway, so I'm gonna shockwave palm her again, or it hits out behind her, but you know how that looks. Alright, you're up, Ira, you funny dog. Okay. Nope, only one. So, uh, Ira's last passive will activate because she is now below a quarter HP. Or cool. at or below quarter HP. Sure. Um, which is fear of death. Mm -hmm. um, so this influences some of her attack. Um, so uh, she will now, as a full round action, use beyond death. Or she'll, she'll also choose this. Um, use beyond death. And because she's in fear of death uh, state, uh, the DC is turned from 20 to 30. 
Let's fucking go. My dog died, Kiara. Um. Yeah, you got it, Chief. Well, I guess I can maybe perfectly roll my will save. Nope. That's plus 116, <laughs> Noah. So it's plus 16 to that, so no. And then plus 20. Wow, I fucking explode. Um, I don't know, man. Let me think if there's anything I can do on reaction. You can use his swift actions before she makes. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh... then my swift actions will be sealed. No, that won't work. Um... I'm retarded. I should've just been in my big form. Then I could've just sidestepped this. Oh, well. Winning is half the battle. Observation and our men are both used up. Um, okay. Well, I will, um, I'll go into Trishula for DR. So I'll do that before I lose my swift actions. What are the other two funny effects that happen? Okay. Uh, if you fail the reflex, mm -hmm. target is flat-footed and uh, you gain, and she gains plus 10 to hit. Failing the fort save, the attack goes through DR. Awesome. And failing the will save, swift action for targets are locked until Iris' turn. That's um, cool. And all fail, the attack... The attack hits. Uh, if the attack hits, it auto crits. That's cool. I mean, all incredible defense. It. Okay. Guess I'll lose to Isaac instead of Ira. So. No, there's still time to lose to Ira. Uh, it still has to roll. What is your defense? An incredible defense. Okay. Um, so, she basically comes at you once again, uh, and, uh, like, Reddy's Garm, uh, this time ready to pierce you directly in your core, mm -hmm. and, uh, how would you describe defending this attack? Uh, uh <laughs> incredibly... There's something so deadpan about text delivery. Incredibly. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, um... Okay, so the only, the way I see, like, with negate the incredible defense is, like, the buildup of Lee one day actually having her in-flavor prestige class version of incredible defense. And she always uses it in this way. So, uh, I'll try and go into it so it doesn't sound dismissive, because, but the idea of the incredible defense me method Lee uses a lot of the time is that sort of, like, Wuxia, like, Wushu, like, ancient Chinese wisdom martial arts style, 
where it's like the fucking wise sage does like the hand movement to like completely disorient and like stop a retardedly strong attack. Uh, but because because it's imitating Master Chuck's open palm style at its best when it's just the the receive where it's the I can just take attacks with my hand, embrace them because I want to appreciate the person, um, and so it's a, it's a heightened state of mind in like where Lee is fully feeling out like not only is she like she has learned to do completely feel control over her body. But she is in a state of mind where she's, like, hearing the fucking world around her and is feeling, uh, has that moment of, like, zen clarity where she's, like, I can feel, not only do I feel myself, but, like, in this moment I feel the muscles and the movement and the desire of the person I'm fighting. And I am in such a state of clarity where I can reach out and I can feel like I'm, like, a, our bodies are one. And I can just stop this from happening by redirecting it. So, to, like, onlookers, Lee is just still in that calm state as, like, the incredible, awful, murderous energy of Iris' attack goes forward. And Lee just steps forward and taps the sword, like, off to the side, sending, like the stab spinning wildly right past, like, her stomach, like, dangerously close, but dispersing it as Lee steps forward unblinkingly towards Ira. As she lets out a breath and loses that sensation after having connected with Ira on a spiritual level for a second. Alright. Um, yeah, pretty gay and... right now. You will also be able to notice that Ira's demeanor, uh, once, especially this close and doing that, um, in her fear, fear of death state, when she's below a quarter HP, um, is different from before, where she's no longer smiling. Like, it's not like she even, it, it's like she barely has any expression at all. Uh, her eyes are, like, completely white. Uh, and, and, like, you can barely even tell if she's breathing or not, as it looks like she's just purely moving off only instinct. It, it's hard to tell if there's even any notice of her being alive, besides the fact that she's swinging her sword at you. Oh, that's, that's good. Um, right. And it will now just be your turn, as she will not do anything else on her turn, as she will be in a confused dazed state after you just avoiding her attack. Okay. Right. Well. I don't know. It feels like hitting a trauma victim at this point, bro. This kind of takes the fun out of it. Um. I don't know. Can I, like... Is there, like, anything I can do for, like, a insight role or something to kind of figure out, like, give Lee to pick up on, like, what Ira wants out of this at this point, where she's just, like, in this weird automatic comatose state. Because, like, in Lee's mind, the way I think Lee's assumption would go is, like, well, I said be, like, do everything, so... I don't want to reject her going into this fight-or-flight mode. If this is her everything, I'll, like, finish the fight, and then I'll be, like, able to talk to her and make sure she's alright. But if she's, like, real fucking, like, going PTSD, don't fucking kill me mode, I, I don't know if Lee would think it'd be better to actually just be like, I think we should stop here. You look like you're gonna shit yourself, Ira. Uh, you can sense motive. Yeah. As a free action. Okay. I mean, I'll roll the one, but let's go, bros. I have a, what, like a plus six to sense motive? It's yeah, you have a plus six. Yeah, oh, cool. That's surprising. Uh, she has no thoughts or feelings at all. Alright, yeah, so Lee will be like, okay, I should just knock her out then. It, it doesn't seem like there's literal, there's anything going on. That's cool. Alright. <laughs> um. I will try to go for a star drop then or wait starfall star drop i'm sorry uh star drop, star drop. i did get it right all right oh uh, you renamed it no star drop yeah we will go for a star drop maybe she'll rename it at some point when i get the uh when i get the real mastery over this technique 
And then tell Cliff to stop drinking. Yeah. I mean, ostensibly, Lee's supposed to refine these at some point, I think. I think I said I wanted to, like, do that with, like, especially Fousing meeting, creating, uh, 100 meeting throw at one point I wanted to improve upon. Anyway, I'll do my, uh, trip attack. I'll shift to, uh, Vajra for this. Actually, no, yeah, I probably should switch to Vajra. The two hits going to be better than the piercing, I think, of Trishula. It gives me a fucking plus 30. Okay, yeah, I yeah. didn't need it. Alright. Crits when I do this. Uh, you will... Uh, her taking a negative status will also activate, um... Another part of Fear of Death. Which is all negative status effects... Effects are now positive. What do you mean? So, instead of taking a quarter... Or a half skill reduction... Uh from melee attacks, she gets half skill bonus. Fuck, okay. Cool. Great. Yeah, 77. Okay. Um... 77 damage would, in fact, end the fight. Goodness, good. So Lee will, from their last standing position, with Ira's arm still extended, kind of, uh, you know, assuming we're in real time and not a turn-based battle where we do our idle animations 10 feet away from each other, Lee will have had that moment of doing the sense motive then, and before Ira can retreat her arm, Lee will grab it under her arm, and throw and pull Ira and flip her upside down and slam her head into the ground in a quick motion to try and knock her out and finish this before Ira keeps fighting out like an animal. Because, uh, you know, Ira's clearly already passed out. She now needs to just knock her body out. And Lee will attempt to perform this in one swift motion as her flames rear up and she slams her into the ground. She will hit the ground and stop moving. Excellent. Well, we will just, after that, kneel down and immediately, you know, like a doctor, know how to pull her up in a way to not immediately damage her and perform some quick things to bandage cuts and things like that to steady her and make sure she's not, you know... H hasn't given, hasn't broken anything serious in the fight that she just ignored. Woo! We yeah! Keep her down! Totally misunderstanding the care <laughs> he is now giving her. <laughs> sees, Terry sees her pull out fucking bandages. She's like, oh, she's tying her up. Based. <laughs> yeah. Right, right after Lee beats her, Ivy will walk in. <sighs> ah. Oh, did I miss something? Mm -hmm. Lee's just kind of consciously still staring down intently, looking over Ira, thinking it over. And she'll uh, just uh, k gently lift her up and start uh, moving to walk her over to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, I keep calling it the medical bay, but it's the medical office. Mm -hmm. You can her up and start walking. Lee looks, like, vaguely, like, still stern, like she was in the fight, like she's not out of it as she's thinking. And she'll just kind of move past Ivy gently to go, uh, leave, because she's like, I- I need to bring Ira over, I want to examine her. And she'll look over at Isaac, and she says, I might need a few hours. And so does, like, look over as you're walking and just, like, look at you for a moment. Sure, sure. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. And that did look a bit intense. Thanks. So I can't blame you. Thanks. Hmm. At least you showed that mutt a thing or two. Hmm. We will just kind of hum a bit apathetically. Yeah. I learned a lot. As I will look over as you're carrying her. Hmm. Looks like she really gave it her all, huh? Yeah. 
Hmm. Uh, do you need my help with anything? Like... No, I've got this. Don't worry. Hmm. You gotta sort of watch the fight after all. You can start to walk out. Mm hmm. Go towards the quorum. Yeah, buddy. Alright, no bed. Okay, uh, well, with the momentum, why don't we just do the examination right now before. Uh, I gotta take a really bad shit. Can we actually go to the other scene? <laughs> sure. Thank you. As Lee will step out, I will walk in. Hmm. Okay. Uh, now that that's over. Uh, look, well, it looks to be over. Uh, are you guys ready? Oh, heck yeah. That got yeah. me all fired up. Excuse the pun. Hmm. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. I'm fired up too. Man, those guys took a little while, huh? Yeah, well, we has lots of time she spends in here. I think she really likes fighting. The fight, they really want out of there. I mean, it looks like they were actually trying to kill each other. Yeah, don't worry, you don't have to be that ruthless. You mm -hmm. put him down and I'll finish him. <laughs> I see. But yeah, we should fight like our lives are on the line, right? That's just... Make it more fun. Hmm. Yeah, I still was surprised by how immediately uh, that girl was ready to go for the throat and heart. Seems like she was, um, as Blaze will kind of look over a bit and, like, uh, look over a bit more sternly towards, like, the, like, kind of carved up uh, fighting arena. Hmm. Seems like she only knows how to fight when she's trying to kill. Mm. Uh, walkie we As Jackson looks down, uh, lucky. Why'd you say she's lucky for that? Ah, uh, cause she always gets the most intense fights. Blaze will, er, er, Solana will look down and smile a bit. I think you'll find our fight to be, well, just as hot as that one. We'll try to make it, you know, Really exciting for you. Oh, heck yay! As Solana and Blaze will start to enter the arena. Uh, Alright, Ciro will stop, or, you know, pick up Carrie before they can move, go onto the stage and be like, Now, Carrie, probably should have told you this before, but, uh, you just keep those two distracted, alright? Think you can do that? Hmm, distracted. Oh, I see what you mean. Carrie will wink like she knows exactly what you're asking for. Oh, wow. Well, you pick up more. fast, huh? See her wink back. Mm hmm. Yeah, don't worry. I can do that. I'm a great distraction. White Ivy. Oh, but uh, yeah. I, I mean, uh, Sarah, just try to not slow Carrie down, okay? <laughs> Come on. I mean,. I like Carrie, but I mean, uh, oh, we'll on. see. Carrie, I think he's underestimating you. Oh, poo, poo, poo. Ah, uh, that'd be silly, uh, boy. Yeah, don't put words in my mouth, thank you. Well, Carrie, why didn't you make sure to show everyone here just what you can do? Got it. And remember. Any damage can be repaired by force. Oh. Heck yeah. That's permission, right? That's permission. She said uh, it. We'll take that. Uh, that. That's permission, Carrie. Go, do whatever you want. Hmm. He's a nice guy for volunteering to do that. Uh, it's easy enough with his devil fruit. Besides, we've had way bigger uh, mishaps than just a little bit of a broken dojo. Fixing things I break since as long as I knew him. Well, uh, keep it decently put together so as to finish my room. Ah, oh, don't worry, that won't take him long. 
Well, mm. you guys better get up there. Yeah. Zero will give carry another wink and then head over to the other side. Ah, wink, wink. So, uh, describing your opponents, uh, Solana has her red jumpsuit, and she fights with two bright red tonfa named Light em Up uh, that she's spinning around constantly. Uh, there's also um, kind of a burning effect to them. They look like they're heating up as she's like spinning them around. Um, and Blaze fights with an incredibly large flamethrower called Cinders uh, that she's just like lugging around at her side. Oh, well, Solana's like hopping, hopping up and down, trying to get into it. Uh, she's Solana is stretching her legs a bit, and seems to be getting like, she's like doing the thing ballerinas do, where they're kind of like stretching their leg a bit uh, using uh, she Blaze's help, um, to really like get limbered up. Uh, and Solana is a dance fighter. She fan she fights with like ballet and stuff like that. And Blaze fights with her big fucking flank door. Um, as you guys step up, Isaac is just sitting on the crown, like, arms behind his head, kind of looking over. Is this gonna, like, glare at the two of you? Don't give us a boring show, you hear? Ah, keep your eyes peeled then. See if you can catch anything. Yeah. I don't yeah. think it'll be too hard with you two. Ah, come on. Be a little nicer, huh? Poop, poop, poop. As he'll, he'll just, like, kind of um, just look pretty sternly on, trying to observe the fight as we can get into it. Ah. <sighs> All right, Blake. Can can you toss me the macro to get into the turn turn order? I had it on my old computer. Right. Uh, give me I one. do not have it currently. It would be. Here, I'll just put it in Discord. So, just replace the twelve with whatever your initiative is. Right. Just make sure I have it for later. Okay. Oh, minus 12. Ah, oh, that's... I don't think that's right. Oh, were you clicking on your character? Uh, yeah, I'll try it again, I guess. Maybe I wasn't. Oh, there we go. My bad. You can change it to 17, since that's what you rolled first. Uh, real quick, Blake, uh, if I remember correctly, a full round action is two standard and one movement, right? Yes, uh, but you can always, like, um, you can Substitute. always have the movement for a standard. Of course, of course. But yes, it is two standards and movement. Uh... Okay. Oh wait, uh, SMA dear. Uh, you can take out the G. You can take out the G for GM oh, roll. That is not uh, for the fun. future. For your, it doesn't really matter for um initiative because it's gonna show up anyway. Right. Uh, but you, you don't have to roll that privately. To, and I will give them their um, action economy. 
so you can see that. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I, I I have my own stance, but you know we go into a stance when we start the fight, right? I, if I'm yeah, yeah 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, you, you can choose to start a fight in a stand. Yeah, yeah. I do. Um. Um. I will just use. What we use like yellow to denominate when you're in your stance or not. I know you might not like ever actually switch out of Apologies, it. It's yeah. just to make sure. Just have to do like, something. Hey, everywhere. who knows? I might go. I might go into bold advance one time. Well, yeah, and I'm, I, I can always, uh, I'll probably make you, like, a unique, like, a, put, like, a fucking zipper, zipper picture or something there for your actual stance. Just, uh, be aware that that's active. Right. You don't have to tell me oh, what your things do, because I did read them, but I, I'm ever the retard, and will always need reminding. Hey, man, no need to self-deprecate. No, I, I feel like it's necessary. Hey, sounds about this guy. Can we make them public? Like, uh, is Feats? Did you fill that out? Um, no. Fill what out? The, oh. the, the roll twenty sheet. No, no, he hasn't filled it out yet. I'm just talking about that page. Oh, no. He can link his, <laughs> he can link his character page if he wants. Yeah, I'll link it in uh, Discord. So, Solana is going first. Is that the hockey? Okay. I put it in my channel. <laughs> of course. Uh, let me. me. So, what do I want to do? Okay. Um, Solana will uh, use a move action to run at carry. Uh, Solana also has, um, her movement speed is... Forty-five instead of the normal thirty. Uh, I, let me change these. Um, and by moving, she will leave a fire spot right there. Uh, by activating her passive burning ballerina, uh, and she will run at carry, leaving fire. Uh, in her wake uh and she will just do she'll basically spin around like as a ballerina and try and do a kick like a low kick trying to basically smash carrie with her foot i see it's a it's a normal haha all right uh Uh, I will be taking 15 for this first round, so okay. uh, my defense is 37. Okay, this crit. So, uh, yeah. not 20 crit, instead of just lower crit. No, bros. Um, it's actually helped out a bit, because she has fire damage along with, so... Um, so she is going to spin around, like, as she runs up to carry and tries to do, like, since it's so small, it's more of a soccer kick, but she's usually going for, like, people's, like, uh, necks and, like, more vital spots, but, uh, you're, you're so small, she's just going for your entire body at once, uh, so she's basically trying to soccer kick you, um, and this will deal 20 damage, like, to your DR, and then 15 fire damage. So 20 normal, 15 fire. Damn. 
pain. Yeah, yeah. Fire. Yeah, 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 it's heat, sorry. Alright, I have resist one. Yeah, that, that that was a crit. Her crits are also 3F. Yeah. What the fuck is this guy made out of? Uh, and successfully hitting you will leave a fire spot. Uh, back. Let's see. Um. Okay. Uh. So that would be standard. Okay, uh, she's going to substitute a, uh, standard for a move action, and then run up to Sira, and attempt to kick her, much the same as she did to carry. Oh, you can't see Sira's HP, sorry. Let me change that. Okay, I will... Hmm, let me think about that. Uh, is that good now? Only the bar. Um... Okay, I think that should do it. Okay. okay. I will... I'll shadow step. Please describe. I... Suppose I'm... For this, I, I will use my devil fruit to explain why my care You know, not to make your character look retarded, that I just literally walked behind them, but... Why my character is a rogue. <laughs> my character is a rogue, I hid. They, they don't I... just disappear in front of it. What was that? <laughs> what was that noise? Uh, yeah, so... Zero, like... You know... Well, one, I should probably roll this first. Because I have to beat uh, the attack with hide. But, uh, yeah, Ciro's gonna try to, like, go through a zipper and appear behind her. Alright. So, hide is... Oh, yeah, oh, by the way, let me explain the burning spots while I have a second. Um, so, for the bur for burning ballerina, she leaves a fire spot. Um, when she, uh, she leaves a fire spot... Um, when she takes the first movement of a turn, so like, you know, where she moved from her first turn, which is this spot. Uh, and then every time she successfully hits someone, she loses a burning spot, uh, where she hit them. Um, and you, and, uh, if she walks through a burning spot, um, her next attack, uh, after walking through it, will get plus five to hit and deal five extra fire damage. Um, and you will take five damage... If you move through a burning spot, not if you start your turn. So, like, if you move out of a carry, you, like, you won't take the five damage. It will just be if you move through it. Okay. Yeah, I'm a hack. What do I say? Uh, 39 high? Yeah. That does not successfully defend. Oof. Alright. Okay. Uh, so, this attack also crit. Uh, not nat 20, just with her crit range. Um, so, let me do the damage. Okay, so this will deal 29 damage uh, to your, like, physical damage, and then 15 fire. So 20, is it 29? 20, 29 physical damage and okay. 15 uh, fire heat damage. And leave your fire spot. B. All right. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, and that will be Solana's turn. Carry here. Okay, cool. Thing 15 is minus 5 or minus 10 to hits? 5, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fine, because because I took that, I wasn't going to attack anyways. Let me just calculate something here. Go ahead. Oof. Then calculate the box. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're using, I'm assuming you're using your... Um, is, is it Paper Parade? Paper Parade, yes. That's a neat one. That sounds pretty neat. It is. So Carrie uh, is going to pull out a, uh, uh, a uh, big ball of, like, paper slips, which she is thematically going to, like, throw on the ground so that it bounces up, hits the ceiling, bounces back down, does that a few times, and is going to uh, basically uh, jump forward and, like, kick it so that it bursts in the center into lots of slips of little paper, some of them just normal pieces of pages, some of them some of them shaped like little animals like doves and rabbits and other things that are just flittering around the area now. <laughs> that is a full round action. So for my last thing, I am going to move Here. If I'm here, I can hit both of them. Uh, move here like that. Alright. Uh. Trying to find paper parade. It's not on your character sheet. Uh, I have to open your double fruit, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, I just... Sorry, I just referenced... Look at devil fruit stage on my character sheet. Right, I assume because it's like very long. Yeah, yeah. Let me just open that up. Yeah, it's uh... You should probably open it up anyways, but I'll just say it's on the start of your turn, they make a will save. Failure leaves them paralyzed. Success by less than five leaves them slowed. Even if they pass, they get dazzled. Right. Uh, those effects last two turns after leaving Paper Parade, and Paper Parade ends in five turns. Okay, uh, can you, like, draw the actual box? Uh, uh, the box there I made, I can draw a square for you, yes. Oh, yeah, I was wondering, because that just might randomly delete, um... Yes, they would, if I did any more arrows, which I was probably going to do. Yeah, because I, I know you're uh, very keen on doing arrows very often. Uh, so, five meters. Uh, heck. Four. Nice. Uh, just count down every time it takes to your turn. Good. So this be an easy way to remember. Yes. Okay. Uh let's see it's okay. Okay, yeah, um, I will give them, obviously, the, I'll, I'll give them a little connotation about Paper Parade if they end up walking out of it, because I know it lasts two turns after you leave it. 
Yes, okay, good. Um, all right. Uh, is that everything? That is my turn. I don't okay. feel like switching stances, so just want to say I am in pixie stance. Sure. Uh, go ahead, Sira. Okay. Bro, my flanking bonus, Richard. Where are you, bro? <laughs> I'm over here. Uh, okay. I will. Uh, real quick, Blake. Uh, the fire patches are... You said you don't take damage... You take damage if you walk through them, not if you start your turn on them. So you so, can just stand on them. Uh, yeah, you can stand on them, but if you, like, walk out of them and then walk on to, onto it, you take damage. I know it seems pretty ineffective right now, but they're going to get more numbers. No, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, I guess I'll have to... Ah, fuck. Okay, I will... attempt to use Zipper Escape to... go behind Solana. So I'll roll hide against her spot. And if uh, that wins out, I'll try to sneak attack her. Uh, yeah. You know, this probably matters, but uh, Solana is technically blinded to Sierra right now. Blinded? Oh, go. is she now? Can yeah. one even spot something that's when they're blind? A uh, character cannot see. Defense, skill reduction, uh, quartered, lose dex bonus defense, moves at half. Ooh, never mind. Rewind. Yeah, okay. it's, uh, they specifically can't see out of Paper Parade. Can you attack into Paper Parade? Yeah, that's fine. You can see in, they can't oh. see out. Oh, Richard. <laughs> I'm I'll automatically you. fail all checks activities that require fishing. Yeah, so spot rolls just auto fail. So yes, yes. Man, Sarah's well, gonna be a big No, 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 I, I didn't know that. I, I wouldn't do zipper escape if she's already... Sure, go, go ahead. Uh, change up what you're doing. Sarah okay. is like, I love this little midget. <laughs> I God, I love this little this little thing Zipper because started from the edge. She uses square all targets. Has this ever come up where we talk about friendly targets? Uh, uh, no, it I, hasn't. We do not use friendly. I, I I don't use friendly fire on like anything. Oh, uh, why would you? So I don't know why I do it here. I don't think I've ever gone towards using friendly fire. Hey, that's fair. Okay. I don't make these shock waves fucking break Carrie's neck. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Yeah, that's really base. Appreciate it. Okay, well in that case, I'm gonna roll a bluff check. So I... I think they roll spots, so she's fucked. I th yeah, if it's I a spot it roll, spot. she auto-fails. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because bl it's bluff versus spot. So yeah, she auto-fails that, so I get a plus five to uh, attack. That takes my movement action, though. So, that's... Yeah, okay. That's that, and then I will use... Uh, I'll just do... Raikyaku. Uh, right in her face. Uh, so, it'll be a four-round action. If I roll one on this, I'll be very angry. Forty-one. Blinded, right? She is currently blinded. A user dex defense pretty fucking pretty yeah. fucking painful. Yeah, she yeah, it's not, like being flat-footed. Yeah, yeah, she does not uh, dodge that. You do. You in fact do hit. Okay, then she will take. Uh. Oh fuck! I must put that in wrong. This is a sneak attack, so she will take that much damage. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. 39. Okay. Uh, that would be the rest of my stuff. Uh... Yeah. That 
is the end of my turn. Okay. It is Blaze's turn. What to do, what to do. Uh, she starts by making a DC 23 will save. Of course, of course. Uh, also, um... Oh, shit, Blake, I'm sorry. Uh, Solana has to make a fortitude save. Fort save, what's it when she, Whenever someone sneak attack, they have to fortitude save, uh... It's 22 plus... Uh, what is it? Shanghai... Is... Uh, just 22. So she has to beat a 22 on Ford or she goes prone? She does not beat it. Okay, she's prone then. Okay. Uh, what's the will save again? Uh, 23. 23. Um... 23. Uh, she's going to fail. She's going to fail? Yes. Oh, that's... that's terrible. Uh, that means she's paralyzed. That's me. Paralyzed. Oh yeah, Richard. Keep knocking their dex bonus down. There's Paralyze on here. Did I not? Cute. No, it's here. Uh, Where? Frozen in play, uh, right under hemorrhage. Frozen in place and unable to move or act. Effective strength or dexterity scores like zero. Oh, uh, I mean, I mean the um status effects. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Can't find it. So I'm just going to use the electro. Oh, paralyzed. Right. So she just can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, that sounds pretty fine by me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She's paralyzed for this turn. So. Okay. Um. Assume she's just paralyzed for her turn. Uh, uh, yeah, paralyzed was supposed to be special. I don't know why I wrote it that way. It's written the same as the other effects. It should just be. It should just be the once when you're paralyzed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Blaze's turn will end. It'll be Solana's turn. A will save. Twenty-two. She's going to pass. She beat a 27. Did she beat a 27? Yes. I mean, she's just dazzled. Okay. And she doesn't have to make any more will saves. Uh, dazzled for how long? Two turns after she leaves Paper Parade. Okay. I just add the two to it after she leaves Paper Parade. Let me think. is going to run over here leaving the paper parade 
So I will put a two. Or she's going to use a move action to get up. And then substitute a standard for a move to run over here. Um, so. Two. A fire spot right here. And. He will I'm mostly thinking how I'm interacting with Paper Parade using this fire because uh, canonically that should have some effect I'm just thinking yeah. how like, what will affect it how? Yeah, go ahead. Makes sense to me. Um, it's just more... Blaze is the one with the giant flamethrower, so it's obviously easier to imagine how she affects it, which is yeah. destroying everything. Um, but she got her turn skip. Um... Solana will tap the ground um, using a standard action to purposely place a fire spot below her. Back. Um, and she is going to use her last standard act to use hot, or not, sorry, to use. Um, Ember's Allegra, which is the user jumps to all fire spots in succession, and all targets uh, within 10 feet of a fire spot make a uh, DC 20 reflex save. Uh, and then it will have effects based on if you fail or succeed. Uh, you only do this um, once per fire spot. Carrie, Carrie is within 10 feet of a fire spot. Yep. Uh, Sierra obviously is. Uh, and she gets to choose which one to end on. Um, she's going to choose to end on the one where she currently is. So she's going to, like, jump here and then here. Back. Like, here and such. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just move this. See, this back. And then end here. So I need a DC 20 will save. Or reflex save, sorry, from both of you. Do we just have to be 20? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Sounds oh, good. almost didn't make it. <laughs> okay. You guys both succeed. So, as she stomps on the ground, uh, basically moving at uh, quick speed to each spot, um, the flames spewing out when she steps uh, in those specific locations. Where it's like, um, how the fire spots will look is it looks like kind of embers, like, sharding up to the ground. And when she actually steps on them, flames, and like, erupt from them. Um, and you will both take six uh, heat damage uh, for succeeding. Alright. You're a cool lady, Solana. Okay, and uh, she will. Um, also, as the as there were two fires, as the fire spots erupt uh, by the paper parade, um, I will say it thins the parade, uh, downing the turn count to three automatically. All right, that's fair. Hmm. A lot of the papers burn up. So, uh, Solana, that will go down to. One. It will be carried soon. Nice. So now it's down to two. Er, yeah. Alright. I carry. It's going to move here for her move.
I'm going to Swift Axon, switch from Pixie to Cobalt Stance. Okay. Uh, then standard action, Crater Stomp. Oh, well, they're both next to you already. Yeah, I don't need to move them. I just want to see if they get knocked down. Okay. Um, what is the Reflex save again? Uh, the Reflex save is uh, 15 plus level, so 26. 26. Okay, I'll do uh, Solana first. Uh, does Dazzle... Uh, Dazzle uh, doesn't do anything to a reflex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a spot skill and attack. Yep. Uh, so 26. Uh, Solana will pass. Uh, so she will not get tripped, and she's already next to you. Uh, please. Uh, 26. Blaze will fail. Nice. As wielding around her giant flamethrower does leave her pretty... She doesn't have high reflex, is a good way to say this. Right, of course. Well, she's an idiot for that. She's fairly bulky. Yeah, she should have chosen differently in her life. <laughs> they are choices. Okay. <laughs> she does what? I don't know if it made me laugh. Oh, right, sorry. Um, also, uh, at the start of your turn, um, it would have been the start of Blaze's turn. Uh, I just forgot because I was rolling the will save. Right. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a pass on it. I'll do it at the start of your turn. Uh, it activates every time her turn starts, so I'll just do it next time. Okay. Uh, she has a passive for that basically does fire damage to anyone that, that's within 10 feet of her at the start of her Oh, okay, I see. Scary. So, but unfortunately, she made the mistake of being on the ground. So do we, so, do we want to kill Blaze? I mean, I'm going to try. Because I'm going to downward thrust her. <gasps> oh. Go ahead. Right, let me just make sure I get this right. Um... No more additions there, okay. Uh, downward thrusting, I will power attack for five. Alright. If that hits, it's a crit anyways, but whatever. 35? Yeah, she's prone, so that will hit. Nice. I'm missing anything here? No, she didn't attack anyone, so I don't get her revenge die. Alright. So take 56 damage. 56. Alright. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, and then, because I hit her, uh, I'm going to cleave to Solana. Sure. Uh, pretty... Please, look. Um, 30... What is your defense, Solana? Uh, that will hit, yeah. The mad. Take 58 damage. 58. Sounds good. Then I will end by blade guarding. Sure. Okay, Sira, your turn. Uh, this will go down to Okay. Two. So, for people who are prone don't have bonus of dex, right? 
uh, people who are prone, uh, you can just look on the sheet. It's half skill reduction to melee attack rolls, half skill reduction on defense rolls versus melee attacks, and half skill reduction on, on range for range attacks versus front target. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they still have their decks. Okay. I will. I will. Let me think about this. I gotta make sure I'm not moving through any flame patches. Okay. I will. Mm, I'll bluff against Blaze. Or I'll uh, faint. So. Spot. Although she's inside, so she fails automatically. Yep. So, okay. That's plus five to hit, and then... I will then use... And the kitchen sink, and... With my stance, I'll use my full movement to move right here. Back outside of this, and... Sierra will open up a zipper on the... The roof of the dojo and allow an object to fall uh this object is one of the medical beds from lee's uh medical room what with, we'll fall. <laughs> with pigma no not with pigma i let she <laughs> let him live just an empty medical bed so lee one of the beds disappears <laughs> pain i'll be sure to bring that up in the scene Midway for a <laughs> serious moment, Leo will just hear something fucking fall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah, so... Unfortunately, I... as the GM is allowed to alter the damage, he decides since it's a medical bed, it heals her. <laughs> yeah. Still a blunt it's instrument, like Pokemon. bro. Oh, fuck. Okay, so... That would be this this is against blaze by the way oh it's against blaze who's blind to sierra right now right um yeah 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 that that will hit okay and this will do Uh, yeah, I'll do this. That's not right. That's ah, oh, fuck me. That's my bad. 112 damage. That's not 112 damage. It was supposed to be this. My bad. Fuck off. Let's go. Okay. Uh, as the medical bed falls out of the medical room and basically hits Blaze, who's on the floor, uh, and just kind of like smashes into her, uh, the medical bed will catch fire. And she'll just kind of like push it off her, like, after taking the hit, and it will just hit the ground next to uh, Blaze and start like burning up. As a lot of people will look on, just being like, Oh man, Lee's really not gonna like that. <sighs> uh, Sarah, try to not take things from the medical room. Lee will get really angry. <laughs> Sierra will just like give her a wave. Ah, I'm sure she'll be fine. How many beds does she need? I will contemplate the fact that Lee already didn't look like she was in a good mood walking off with Ira's corpse. Okay. Uh, was that it? Yeah, that was all my actions. Okay, do I roll to see the f funny, t funny no turn happens again, Richard? I assume it's every the start of every turn. Uh, yes. Okay. The uh, funny what? no turn happens. What's the will save again? Uh, twenty-two. Oh, thank fuck, she passed. Uh, she didn't. I I don't think she passed by enough. She. Um. So what's Did this? You beat twenty-seven. No. She slowed then. Slowed. 
Oh, we just heard it explode. Uh, this is slowed two turns after she leaves, right? Is when that starts? Yeah, yeah no need to make any more will saves. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really use the whole status status effect book here. <laughs> Rapidly jumping between the ones we do not use. Hey man, this, <laughs> I don't use this skill very often. I know. This is, is base. I don't know what you're on. <laughs> we'll have to juggle. Um, I know I should. I just don't want it because there's so many rolls involved. A quarter to attack defense and any dex based skill roll. Wow, I wonder if someone keeps forcing people to do dex based skill rolls. Um, can only use one standard action during the turn, cannot execute full round action. Okay, well, let me take a good long look at her abilities. Ooh, that's pain. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, it's just slow from like. It's just the reverse haste spell, copy pasted as the status effect. Bravo! <laughs> oh my god, it is! What? The fuck? Oh, yeah. right. Sira uh, and Carrie will take Immolation. Blaze Immolation like... Aura? Fuck. Uh, yeah, it's 40 damage. 1d10. Hmm. Take 4 heat damage. 4 We're... whole heat damage. For being within 10 feet of Blaze at the beginning of her turn. Yeah, bold of her to light herself on fire. This is like Fall of Frontier. I mean, the glory of Mars, I smite you. Light yourself on fire. <laughs> and then a big, a big green ghoul chases us for 40 miles down a road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Now that was fucked up because when Blake looted that thing, there was like nothing inside it. When I killed it, I got NCR power armor. Okay, uh, I'm going to use her one standard action. Um, trial by fire. Which is a ranged attack. Attack rolls, quarter skill reduction on attack rolls. Uh, aimed at carry. Um, which is a 10 foot cone. Uh, it, it's basically making a ranged attack and a 10 foot cone that hits everything. At it, so she'll hit Carrie in the bed. Uh, ah. the bed. The bed will be completely destroyed. I see. I choose to fairy flutter. Sure. Uh, I'm not in Pixie, so I can go here. Okay. Uh, the um, the flamethrower spewing out fire wildly is going to successfully burn away enough of the origami to get rid of the field. Fair. Uh, Wait a second. Blaze is just Dingo Dial. Alright, continue. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I didn't mean to compare your character to Dingo Dial. So she can still move. But she's... So she's going to get up. And... Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll do this. Yes, I know. I'm a hack. Yay. Blaze is going to use another effect of her passive immolation and use a swift action. Correct? 25 HP and get rid of her negative status effect. On me. Hmm. Does everybody have that ability? Let's see. 
You know, it's not healthy to like punch yourself and you know knock off of an ability. You know, it's not healthy, right? Um, what do you want to do, please? I want to get some fucking lawyer up because I'm lit. This is gonna be a litigation. Yeah, pl please sue this bitch. This Your dingo Honor. doll looking ass. I do not have the movements, or I do not have the action economy to do a full round. If we did a kangaroo court on the island, I know Percy would be the bailiff, but who would be the judge? Probably Gary. Gary makes a good judge. Yeah, especially in a kangaroo court. Okay, okay. Um. Please, knowing that Carrie is by far the more annoying one, um, is going to kind of smirk a bit at Carrie, rev up cinders, and use trial by fire, which is, um, or sorry, not trial by fire, that was the last one she used, um, which is, um, burn to cinders, which is a attack in a straight line. So, any targets behind Carrie would also be hits. Oh no, Isaac! Now you escaped today, Isaac. The water fountain doesn't. As she will make a ranged attack at you, Carrie. Bear. What is your defense? You know, I'm I'm not gonna try to parry this because that seems silly to me. Yeah, I don't know if your paper sword can parry. A yeah, that fire. That, that might be a bit unrealistic. Uh, my defense. I have to call call bullshit on that one. Uh, my defense is thirty right now. Thirty? Okay, this will hit. Of course, that's wonderful. Okay. Uh, I'll the damage. So this will deal. Uh. How much? Sorry. Sorry, numbers are hard. Uh, this is going to deal 14 um, normal damage and 5 uh, heat damage. The reason it's not all heat damage is so this encounter isn't completely busted. How much heat was that? 5. Uh, please give me a, four, a fortitude save DC 20. I'm sorry, what did you just say to me? Fortitude save DC 20. Alright, this is how I die. Pain. Okay. Uh, you are afflicted with burning uh, three. Uh, so burning. It's on the status effect page. Um, it is quarter skill reduction on attack rolls, uh, and you take 1d6 fire damage um, at the start of your turn. You may spend a standard action to roll a fort save, DC 16 to stop burning. Well, that's never gonna happen. Okay. Um, what's it? Standard... Um, okay, um, so after lighting Carrie on fire and expecting her to burn in the flames, uh, Blaze is going to quickly turn around and try and smash Sierra with, uh, cinders. Right, is this a melee attack? Yeah, it's a melee attack. Okay, I'll use overbearing attack. Uh, so I just attack her back. Uh, if I if I beat her, then uh, her attack is negated, and I get to attack her. Um, sorry, can you explain that to me again? Okay, so the way it works is, um, when someone melee attacks me, yes. I can overbearing attack, where I attack them back. It's basically yeah. instead of rolling defense, I roll an attack, and if my attack beats their attack. They, oh, okay. their attack gets negated and mine goes through. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I can only do this six times because it's it's based off your dex mod. No, I, I, get, I get you, I get you. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, 
Ah, <sighs> not a good uh, You do not beat her attack. Pain. So, she will smash into you with cinders. Uh, the large flamethrower uh, basically smashing into your side. Um, and it will deal uh, nine uh, physical damage and five fire damage as it is incredibly hot. And it will burn your skin on touch. I'm sorry, how much physical was it? Nine. So you'll negate it with your normal DR. Okay. All right, uh, and that would be her turn. Uh, one. Solana. Is that a dazzle crap? Yes. Uh, I just always remind myself what these do because they don't come up. Um, Why well, yeah, have this document? Uh, half quarter score to attack rolls is the important thing. Okay. Um. Oh, right. Um, sorry, Blaze also has the passive of uh, if she hits a target with an attack, uh, she makes a fire spot. Spots. Back. Okay. Um, Solana will use... Yeah, she'll use Scorching uh, Kranjeet, which uh, is, she jumps into the air, uh, doing a spinning kick, uh, basically trying to um, do like a pirouette in the air and uh, crack her leg into the opponent, uh, and she's going to jump at This is a full round end. Ah, okay. It is a melee attack, so she does have a support of skill. Uh, I mean, it's a quarter skill attack on all attacks, but it's a melee attack for any intensive practices. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to try to parry, because that's me making an attack, and I also have a quarter skill reduction on attack. So my defense would be... I'm not in that, so... Uh, we'll go... Uh, we'll... Well, uh, it's 30. Uh, she also gains the um, effects from Burning Ballerina because she moved through a fire spot being the one she started on. Uh, and uh, Grant Grangite, uh, being a full round action, uh, basically um, doubles the... Um, or it, sorry, it doesn't double. Um, it is a movement action. It is a movement action. Um, and she would have gone here and then spun over here. So she would have uh, basically moved through one fire spot. And Grinjite, um, it gains the effects of any fire spot. She, she basically adds on the effect of any fire spot she moves through. So she only moved through one, so it basically just doubled the effect. So it's plus five to hit and damage. All right. Got it. Or plus ten, I mean, because it was two. Okay. Uh, um, so it is a melee attack. All right. Okay. Uh. Yeah, my defense is thirty. Thirty. Okay. Um. She will hit. Uh, of course she will. Would you? Do you want a sorry or do anything like that, or are you just gonna take it? I have already sorrowed. Uh, you have. All right. Uh. So. She will knock into carry. Uh. Dealing. Yes, uh, this attack will finish you uh, because the uh, extra fire damage and everything. Yeah, I fuck your fire. I figured. 
So she will land next to Carrie, uh, basically doing a spin uh, quickly once she hits the ground on her uh, tiptoes of her left leg, smashing her right leg into Carrie, uh, who will go soaring through the flames and just hit the door and then just fall onto the ground in a little burning pile. Oh. It's too hot. Carrie's gonna pass out. So, Harry will be eliminated. Uh, and Solana will just pack, uh, there is already a fire spot in the spot where Harry was, uh, so nothing will happen there. Uh, but Solana will use the same reaction to tap the ground, uh, to add another fire spot. I have to reload my uh, my um status effects uh, on the character token or not? I'm trying to change them. Oh, but that that's the end of her turn. Uh, so it will be a uh, serious. Okay. Let me just scroll my way back up to the dojo. Ah, uh, that sucks. No flanking, bros. What am I gonna do? Um, I will use zipper escape, so I'm going to roll hide versus blaze's spot. Okay. Go ahead. Yo, give me a break. One moment. Oh. So you rolled a 29? Yeah. Uh, you will succeed. Okay. Then I will pick to move right behind her and then coming out of this uh since she didn't see me and i would be hidden i'll attack her from this with a sorry that would that'd be a standard action so i'll attack her with a rengeku coming out of this oh um, man hmm? i have nothing i just said go ahead all right Give me a break. 33. Uh, 33 will not hit. Uh, sorry, were there any like, negatives for her failing that spot check? Or that, uh, the check against you? Uh, besides you getting behind her? No, it's, it's just a get uh, into sneak attack. Okay, okay. I have it's... nobody to flank with. Okay, but it doesn't I matter. have... It doesn't affect her, um... No. Defense values. Okay, yeah. Uh, so that attack will not hit. Okay. Then... I'm in the death zone. Okay. So, we'll take one deep set. Uh, you will take ten heat damage. How is that all? So, Blaze will kind of look at you for a moment as, like, there's fire kind of all around the arena. Huh. Hot enough for you? Yeah. Looks like my partner just couldn't keep up. Uh, I wouldn't blame her. I think it was a bad match. As Blaze will point Cinders up uh, and use fire. Moment. Is a full round action. Let me just, let me just post that in the chat. 
Um, she is friends with Ivy. It explains why she wants to use an acronym for an attack. And so, uh, Blaze wheels around Cinder, like above her head, uh, and starts to move as it, it basically just erupts fire into the air that comes like crashing down around her. Um, and it makes a range attack against all enemies uh, within 30 feet, which is you. Uh, th thankfully, the audience uh, will be able to avoid it. Um, and enemies hit enemies are flat for this attack uh it does a bonus uh 10 fire damage you've hit uh and then there is a fort save if you are hit um so let me roll to it there uh you are flat footed oh uh don't even bother she rolled a one. Oh, good because i was dead so, uh, how would how would Sierra avoid this like uh, sea of flames that's coming down from like on top of her? Um, I, <laughs> I <laughs> said that's kind of hard to describe because I can't actually move, right? I mean, you can just you can just, as I like you can just say you move and then like say you fucking like. I don't know, maybe you, like, open up a zipper that just lets all the flames go in or something like that? Like you know, I'll just say, uh, Ciro just, like, soar away and then, uh, be like, Ah, oh, that was a little bit, uh, predictable, right? You know, you said your whole little speech before. Maybe just do it next time, huh? And then Blaze she'll soar back to the same spot. Blaze will just kind of look around and chuckle a bit. Huh. No. You're right. My bad. And uh, as she's like in the middle of saying my bad, she's going to uh, basically immediately fire like um, her uh, burn descenders at you, making an attack in a straight line. Oscar's gonna fucking jump out of the way. Um. So uh, this will be an attack. Uh. What is your defense? Um, this is this is a range attack, right? Yeah, it's a it's a range attack. Okay, uh, I will. Guess I'll shadow step it. So I'll just roll hide versus her spot. Forty-three. You can fucking get to that high. No. No, you can't. Uh, yeah. Uh, succeed. Alright, then I appear behind her. Uh, as she's just going to burn up, uh, like, the spot you were standing. As she'll, she'll just, like, look a bit surprised as you disappeared in front of her. Hmm. Huh. Wow. That's impressive. As uh, she'll kind of like look back a bit as you appear behind her. Oh, do watch out though. It seems to be getting a bit hot in here. As she looks at you, like starting to sweat. Yeah, you keep saying that. As. Um, what do I want to do, Solana? You know what? I'm going to use their once per combat team attack um, through the fire and flames. That will be a full round action. Ooh. That will be a full round action from both of them. Uh, so, like, on Blaze's turn, she'll just have only one standard and no move. Okay, well, hope they know what they're doing. So, 
through the fire and flames. Uh, Solana will tap the ground with her feet and basically do a high jump into the air and start spinning in the air. Um, and when she does, Blaze is going to basically rev up cinders and shoot uh, a torrent of fire directly at Solana, who's spinning in the air. Um, and Solana is going to catch the fire with uh, her tonfa light uh, light him up, and it's going to basically start spinning around on the tonfa and Solana, basically creating like what looks to be a, a vortex of fire in the air. Uh, and while spinning, uh, Solana is going to basically launch uh, a flaming vortex from both of her tonfa. Uh, this be aimed at two people, but she'll aim both of them at you. Um, so targets for this are flat-footed. Targets must roll to defend. You cannot just take defense. You have to roll. And targets cannot make any swift actions or take any other actions besides rolling for defense in response to this attack. I see you read my character sheet. Um, this is a once per combat attack. Well, that is pain. Right, okay. And real quick... Let me think about this. You you can't... Can you pop hockey off turn as long as it takes your swift action for that next turn? Yes, yes. Yeah, I do it all the okay. time. Okay. And remember, your swift actions refresh every turn. You know that. So yeah, you can uh, activate hockey like now. Like, you could arm him in response. You cannot activate hockey right now. Turrets cannot make any swift actions or take any other actions besides defending in response. Uh, Come so uh, on, man. It's, it's, <laughs> activating hockey isn't response action, Blake. Uh, is it not a swift no. action? Well, swift actions aren't like... It's not like Ruby, where there's response actions. A response action would be, like, the shadow step, or Lee's... Uh... No, no, it, 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 no, it's an, it says or. Targets cannot make any swift actions or take any response actions besides defending a response. They're that's, two separate but that's things. that's not a response action. There's no... It's, it, it's saying you can't use swift actions or use anything else like that. It's not grouping them together. Okay. I just mean that's not like a thing this system normally does, so I just, okay. Yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, um... You see I'm also flat-footed for this? Yes. We'll break my fucking neck then! <laughs> Damn! Fucked me up! Uh, I think I... Oh my god, I, I think I have like literally a... Oh, what would I have? Just roll a 20, Pog Champ. I, I I basically am rolling a 20. I don't think defense ought to succeed on 20, right? No. God, no. Yeah. That's not how it works. Well, uh, I don't think no. So. no. No, no, no. Only, only, only attacks yeah. ought to succeed on 20. Yeah, it'd be stupid if defense is ought to succeed um, <sighs> Fuck. So, I only have... So, I lose 6 and then 5... So I lose. Okay, I know what I have now. I I literally don't think I can even pass this. It's fine. Yeah, pass I, there's this no and way. then survive the second one. The, no, <laughs> that I, I literally can't do anything. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, yeah. this will hit. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> no. I'm only. I'm only. But he rolled a fourteen. <laughs> I'm only flat-footed. I can't do anything but defend. I think I'm fucked. You should have just put yeah. on like a fire retardant coat. Come on. Yeah, man. I guess so. <laughs> Why this didn't you going... just bring a gun, Ben, and kill yeah, them? I tried that once. <laughs> this is going to do 24 heat damage. <laughs> yeah. Ending the fight. Oh god, Sarah! <laughs> Don't become a Mormon! <laughs> As you will get engulfed in the fire. I can't expect God to do all the work. 
And every day I take off <laughs> my bandages. These bandages, bandages are right. burning. It hurts. God, Sierra's fucking unconscious. That was above her fucking threshold. <laughs> Feels bad. As uh, Sierra will hit the ground, uh, Solana will uh, land and do a little spin. Um, kind of like shaking off the rest of the fire from her. Uh, as fight will end. Hmm. Major fracture detected. Uh, uh, <laughs> Solana will look around. Huh. Wow. Uh, Blaze, is she okay? As Blaze will look down at Sira. Hmm. As Blaze will just put cinders on the ground and pick Sira up. I think she should go to the medical room. Um, yeah. Y you bring her and Carrie there. I'll put out the fire. As Solana just starts stomping out the fires. As Blaze will walk and just pick Carrie up and bring her over to the medical I don't know what Just describing the medical room a bit, because it's... It, you haven't been here that long, so it goes with saying. Um, it's not like people are actually as close as they are on this map. Mm -hmm. uh, like, it's, it's more separated like that. Like, they're actual, like, private little rooms people stay in. Oh, so, nice. like, every, everyone, everyone's in a bed. It's actually, like, in their own little private area. Mm -hmm. Um... Like, Pigma has his own little room that he's staying in. Nice. And such. Um, oh, he needs to be comfortable. So you can bring Ira to one of the open rooms and place her down in the bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, Lee would have, uh, would place her down, then move to go actually change in her scrubs and everything, wipe off, like, her arms and stuff, and then get to cleaning up Ira and... You know, bandaging extra parts of her cleaning bits. You know, probably a good chance to actually just make sure she's not, you know, in any current conditions. Like, well, this is also not only just uh, a uh, immediate medical response, but this is now also a checkup as she's test as she's checking over Ira and stuff. Just kind of a stern expression on her face as she's going through this procedure, which is by far easily motor memory at this point as she's mostly contemplating a bit over um uh her own feelings on uh how the fight went because this is more close to what lee wanted to get at when she's like make sure you don't hold back so she's just you know processing that and uh trying to like not feel too bad about it because she thinks this is probably the only way to communicate that Ira that Ira can like communicate this situation to her this was the only way it works so Lee doesn't like feel bad about like getting in a fight with someone who's got this like built-in instinct to fight for their own life it's just still like huh oh, that's that sucks. I, I wish I wish she didn't have some clear, obvious troubles in her life, but Lee's just mainly um, putting her mind at ease about that as she's taking care of her. Right. Uh, you will notice something distinct as you are examining her body, trying to administer her treatment. Yeah. Um, any kind of nick or scar, um, any kind of nick scar, like, you know, damage from that fight that she was in, Mm -hmm. um is going to immediately start to um recover like in front of your eyes you can see wounds closing yeah like how isaac did it uh yeah but even faster than isaac's yeah she's closer uh, to death i got you and the the only one that will not is the scar on her eye uh that she you know has been there forever mm -hmm. um but you do notice something distinct is when she was in her devil fruit form yeah. Especially if you're eating scars. your rolling ball, it was a lot more scarred. Yeah. Lee's hypothesis on that is like, 
Alright, well, this isn't just, like, demon blood. It's still obviously having an effect on her. So it's probably she's... Either the devil fruit form is, like, somehow transferring the damage. So Lee's just, like... I, I need to do, like, an x-ray on her and stuff. Like, she's thinking, like, I need to see if there's anything internally changing. Or if it's somehow all being just saved in whatever state the zoanthropy has. Which is, like... Not something I don't, not something I think she would uh, want to assume, because the zoanthropy process, as I think Lee would understand and I presume would make sense, and what she's concluded is that, you know, like how Zarin's things work, whenever you have damage and stuff, there's some form of it transferred to your normal person form, so... Uh, it, 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 it's not like there's, like, some fucking hammer space you pull your zoan form, it's just your normal body. So that's, like, a very strange occurrence, but she's like, okay, maybe there's, like, some way this works out that way. So that's why she wants to do, like, a fucking x-ray or something and just test that out and just see if this is something. So she's, like, taking notes on this, like, a, like an actual doctor writing down. She's got, like, you know, folders on people and she has to write shit um. down. Like, she started on, like... One for the entire experience of going into dreams and stuff, because she's like, all right, Winkle, like, this is an important medical field, like, process. I'm writing, like, f I'm gonna write a fucking thesis on what th this means for a psych paper. She's doing this for Ira, too, like, you know, starting, like, under patient uh, files and stuff. You, you do notice that once her, like, visible injuries have healed, uh, she's sleeping. You, you Basically, she goes from just being, like, a cold corpse to breathing a bit more like she always breathes pretty like silently but like you can more note easily notice her actually breathing yeah i mean lee so, has like, her fucking medical tools to be able to find breathing yeah the stuff and, and her and, stuff and stuff. like her, her body's returning more to how it normally is where it's like her skin's getting a bit hotter yeah. and looks like she just has a bit more life in her yeah lee just assumes from i don't know if she can assess this from her medical expertise that it's something of a like uh uh, a hibernation sort of like shut down bodily functions to require to like send the ability to focus on living and then once you're stabilized you can start beginning to have the rest of your body functions work again like a you know like a you know like an emergency mode or something uh, let's just lose this assumption right uh and any x-ray you're performing uh shows that there's no anomalies in, t in terms of her bones or anything like that. Her organs and bones, everything looks to be normal. Cool. Um, so, as you're going about your business of examining her, at, at, at one point as you're looking over some notes, like getting something from a table nearby, yeah. uh, or just like kind of... Uh, Open her eyes a bit and look over. Mm -hmm. uh, seems like I lost. Hmm. Lee will quietly look over, like she'll have a bit of like a jump, like a oh, fuck, she woke up, and she'll kind of frown a little bit and go to the chair next to the bed and sit down and stare at her for a second. Yeah. Hmm. And passed out. Hmm. I think I remember something about you slamming me into the ground. Hmm. So you're not completely unconscious then? No, I know what I'm doing. What's it feel like? Not hmm. the ground part, I mean. <sighs> Has that happened before to you? Hmm. Oh, that? Mm-hmm. Oh, hundreds of times. Right. You know that's pretty unhealthy, right? <laughs> so does I get, give you, like, a wry smile? Of course. Yeah, I mean, I don't assume exactly, you had a choice. It's not exactly natural. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna assume you didn't exactly have a choice in the matter at the time, so... I'm not trying to grill you on it. I just wanted to know how much you knew about it. Yeah, please, grill me as much as you want. We just rubs one of her eyes a bit. <laughs> right. So, 
Did you learn how to do that, or did it come from your devil fruit? Something you could always do? Oh, no, that no. This didn't come from my devil fruit. I, I was taught how to do this. Really? Hmm, huh? That makes more sense, I guess. <sighs> how long ago was this? Mm -hmm. She was kind of like looking at her hands. Um. It was at the start. Start. <laughs> Lee repeats for a second. Like when you were born? Um. How far do your memories go back, Ira? Hmm. I. She's kind of like looking at her hands a bit. I remember the feeling of what's happened. I can't remember exactly, well, anything that you probably want to know. It's not like you can, you know, figure out what's wrong based off feeling. We can do a lot with feeling, Ira. At least sighs a little bit. But if you can't really put it into words, you're right. Not a lot with that. It... It started before I died. That's all I know. You died. Oh, yeah. Let's squints I... a bit at her. I've died hundreds of times. Doing... Well, I might be able to assume what you were doing to a degree, but... Who... Killed you? Mm -hmm. Different she's things? Kind of, she's kind of thinking. Oh, no. Not many people are strong enough to kill me. Uh, right. It was my old master. Hmm. She'd kill me almost every day. Hmm. <laughs> Grimaces a little bit and nods. I think it was... Well, it always looked so happy and, you know, saying nice things to me after killing me. It was nice. You enjoyed that? She was like, look at Lee for a second and smile. Of course. I mean, it was fun. What made it so fun? Well, she'd come up to me, say something nice, maybe give me a pet, and then once it was over, I'd get something nice. Maybe something good to eat. Maybe she'd let me kill something. Those were more peaceful times. But then she disappeared. And then I just went from place to place. Till I ran into Ivy. And... Mm, well, she's kind of, uh, like, she looks at Lee and smile, smiles a bit. Uh, I think there's a saying about a stray dog needing a master. Uh, so, I guess that. He <laughs> just frowns a bit at her as she's listening intently, you know, pointing this to detail, trying not to forget this immediately, being like, all right, and processing bits about this story. I mean, Lee's mainly in the sort of, like, I'm I'm in, like, the doctor mode of, like, I'm also trying to understand uh, details and not just, you know, be like, please tell me your sadness. She's, like, trying to help figure things out, and she nods a bit, but frowns. As Zyra will take off her shirt hmm. and, like, kind of grab her chest a bit. Uh -huh. now, I've kind of been through... Any way you can think to die. I've had my heart pierced. My head crushed. Drowned. 
burn. Really, whatever you can imagine. But I haven't tested any of those out since she left. So I don't know if I'd still come back. I don't think I have the capabilities to help with something that severe, Ira. Hmm. And I don't think I want to find out. No, please don't. He fiddles with her hands for a bit, trying to piece this apart. Because, you know, I mean, Ira's like Isaac, where they say exaggerated things a lot about death and murder. And she's trying to piece between, like, how the fuck is, how, like, much of this is lunatic talk? And, like, how, what it, like, what the fuck? You can't die and come back. That's absurd. But she's also just like, I don't know. Like, Ira doesn't ever seem like she's fucking lying. So, I mean, Lee can assume she's, you know, convinced of this. So, whatever the truth is, this is how she feels about it. If that's like a processing of trauma or if she's somehow being literal. But, you know, that's not the most obvious assumption Lee would make. So, Lee just kind of is nodding along. You know, I, uh... We have a... I have a friend who died. Have you talked to Percy much yet? Hmm. It's that funny woman. Yeah, she, uh... She died once. Her, uh... Devil fruit lets her be a ghost. So she just... Got back to her body. Uh, I... You two might want to talk about it sometime if you need someone who might... Be able to... Put better words to the feelings. Mm -hmm. Figure you both might be able to appreciate that honestly, so it'd be doing her a favor also. It might be nice to have someone who has been through something that you were. She's gonna look at you while still smiling. I think I'm scared to go see her. Only nods a little bit, kind of assuming, uh, kind of assuming she can get what she's saying, but for the sake of you know, how you, for the for the sake of it, still asking, what do you think you're scared of? Mm -hmm. I don't know. She just it makes me feel alone when I look at her. I don't like it. Hmm. Well, I know that it could be that you're afraid of really getting close to trying to recount and relive something traumatic. I mean, those memories and feelings you have that you keep buried. We do that for a reason sometimes, to process and keep living with things that are really awful, Ira. So, maybe the idea is you don't want to unearth those. Hmm. That sounds smart. I didn't come up with it. Smarter people did. So what? You think I should go talk to her? I think so. Right? That sounds fine. Mm -hmm. I'm, of course, always here to talk about this also, but I figure you might both get something out of this in any way. Hmm. I was just going to look around a bit. <clears throat> Where's Garm? Your sword? I left it by the dojo. I wanted to take you here pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I can go get it for you once we're done talking, if you're more comfortable with it, being closer to you. Garm, and like she's gonna put like two fingers to like her scar and her uh, like on her eye. Mm -hmm. This and Garm are the only things I have left from her, so I 
really like to not lose them. You still want to keep something from your master, your old one. She's gonna like look at me and smile a bit, and like nod. Well, it doesn't look like this is going away anytime soon. Lee kind of like rumps her thumb over the scar a little bit, feeling the area. And Garm's certainly made of something pretty stern, so I think you'll be safe in that regard. Mm -hmm. Do you like collecting stuff like that, or is it just personal with her? Hmm. I wouldn't say I really have an attachment to things. Just that. Mm -hmm. I mean... I'd like collecting stuff if that's what you and I would want. Mm. But... You were speaking about myself. I don't... Think I have much that I care about. Mm. Besides my sword. Holy nods. Frowning a little bit, but trying to put, like, go back to neutral at the. Ah, oh, you do your own Ivy, tell me to do it. Hmm. Well, I think you'd do better with maybe some sort of hobby, Ira. Training's good, but. Hmm. Maybe you could find something that doesn't bother you too much to do. Hmm. What do you want me to do? Well, I already told you I want you to find a hobby. She's gonna, like, tilt her head a bit. Which would be... You have to figure that part out. Eh. You it's and Ivy hard. really are the same. Huh. She wouldn't tell me either. <sighs> he just kind of sighs and chuckles a little bit and smiles softly. Yeah, well... It's... I, tr I tried cooking, but... I don't really care what I eat. So I don't think I really have a tongue for it. Mm. Though I can tell that Ivy's food's better. Mm. Well, that's good. That means you still got something in there. Oh. I don't think I'm much different from anyone else. Mm. Really? <laughs> that was a joke. Leah just kind of, like, puts her hands up, like, apologetically. You know, you'll have to excuse me, but when it comes to stuff like this, I still have to check sometimes. <laughs> oh. It's fine, Ira. And it's pretty clear. She's just gonna, like, get out of bed, given her, like... Yeah, Leah just sighs, but stands up with her. That's pretty clear. The way I act, it's not normal. I mean... Makes most people pretty uncomfortable. Hmm. I do like. <laughs> She's gonna chuckle, Isaac. Hmm. He doesn't get uncomfortable, he just gets mad. You too. That's, be that's better than just looking at me, you know. Like I'm some type of monster. Well, you both had pretty harsh masters in the past. Hmm. Oh. She's just gonna, like, look like she just thought of something. I think that's why I like Leona. Because Ivy told me she used to get called that. Huh. Yeah. She was too strong for the people around her. Hmm. That makes sense. I... I'm really glad you're finding some people to connect with Ira. It's, it's nice, isn't it? It's fun. Yeah. I encourage you to keep doing it, and I think you'll only feel better as the time goes on. <clears throat> so good work, Ira. Ah, oh, thanks. I'm proud of you. Should I smile a bit? Uh, can you pat my head? Sure. I will. <laughs> Do it. And try and do it more affectionately than just, like, haha, dog. And as, as you're doing it, she'll just kind of just say, Please don't tell me to kill anyone here. I kind of like them. I'll never do that, Ira. 
I promise. Lisa's trying to stay stone-faced and not just be like, Oh, Jesus Christ, Ira. Uh, I'm gonna go collect Garm. Hmm. Alright. Uh, if you ever need anything, I'll just be around. Oh, and I'll try and go find, uh, Persephone. Thanks, Ira. Might as well do that right away. Hmm. Little smile. And she'll and, uh, put on her out. black... He'll put on her black coat and then come to pick up her shirt to put that back on and yeah. then walk out. We'll wait for her to walk out a little while and then she'll just sit down at like the side of that bed and rub her forehead a bit and look at the ceiling and let out a low like sigh. This is really hard, Chuck. <sighs> And she'll slap her knee and stand up and stretch and uh, go to leave. As, as you go to the door of the room you're in, mm -hmm. uh, Ivy's going to be at it as she, looking like she was about to try and open it. Mm. Oh, hey, you just missed her. No, I saw her on the way out. Uh, Close the door behind her as she steps out of the room. <sighs> she looks like she was recovered. Oh, yeah, I mean... She handles that pretty well on her own, but I think I at least made sure she got to somewhere comfortable to do it. Hmm. I've seen her get hurt before, but not as much as that. Mm. Most of the people we'd run into wouldn't be able to touch her that bad. Yeah, well, I mean, what's the point if we don't take things seriously once in a while? It's the only way to connect with someone like that is let them go all out. Mm -hmm. I'm glad she stopped holding back. I've... asked her before to do that, but she'd never write me like that. Mm. She... never... checks and told me what she looked like when you were fighting. Mm. And I don't think she ever got like that when she'd fight with me. Mm. Maybe I just didn't push her hard enough for it. Nah, you're probably just her favorite. Mm. Mm. <sighs> don't think so. Don't be so down about it. It's fine. I'll be able to handle it for now. You can just catch up. Lee rubs her forehead a little bit more. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? Dying over and over again? Mm. No. I... She's just like sitting there thinking for a second. Yeah. Whenever she mentions something like that, it just be brief and almost strangely nonchalant, like she always is. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to know what she actually meant, and I never was able to hear much about it. Yeah, that comes from years of putting up with it. It's not exactly something you can really talk about easily, even if it's unconsciously doing it like that. <sighs> well, she was willing to talk long enough today about it that I feel a bit more reassured. She's making progress, I think, from what it sounds like. Mm. I never would have thought I'd have to thank Isaac for making friends with someone, but that's good. She... She's different now from how she was when I first found her. I can't imagine how bad it was then, if this is what it's been like after knowing you for so long. She was a lot more clingy back then. Mm. I mean... 
She'd stay within five feet of me at almost all times. When we went to raid a boat, she wouldn't... Well, she'd just follow right behind me. And... Seems like she didn't want me to get out of her eyesight. She was afraid of losing another master. <sighs> Sorry. Only just size. I'm... Just... Already used to talking to her. I can't go trying to break down walls that quickly. Whatever that person did to her was bad, but she still... Built a rapport with her. Made Ira like bits of it. Tried to make her into something. I don't know why, if she was just doing it for fun or not, but... Well... Ira still has the attachment, so... I'm just... Relieved. I know it's not fun for you, especially, but I'm glad she latched on to you. <clears throat> it's something I think she'll be able to eventually get better with. So for now, you've been doing a good job. Just keep it up. I'll try and work the angles that I can do. Whatever I can do to, well, help her feel better and, I mean, start to become more normal, I mean, it's no problem to me, she's the one that really seems like she needs all the help. And I'm yeah. happy that she seems to be connecting with people here. Yeah, it's, uh, makes everything easier. Well, I can't promise she'll be able to ever be normal, but I'm sure we'll be able to do something about the most dangerous aspects of her consciousness right now. It's just going to take a lot of time. Hmm. Um. I was just going to rub the back of her head a bit. Something you need? I, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. <sighs> it's fine. It, no, it was rude of me and wrong to, well, not just, you know, do things without consulting you like I said I would, then act so belligerent about it when you start talking to me. It's fine, I overreact to things a lot more than I want to sometimes. I, I, I don't like being like there's something weird going on right uh yeah sorry for uh that then i don't have to apologize i'm the one that did something wrong i mean we have to meet halfway in the middle to make a problem but uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm not gonna wear the dunce cap yeah you don't need to wear the dunce cap i i told carrie that's not it's not gonna happen we're gonna scrap that idea that's good thanks I, I can't think of a situation where we're going to need to put someone in probation anyway. Yeah, I mean, probably not. Might as well just throw them in jail then. Do we have a jail? Uh, I think we will eventually. That's good to know. Probably will help. <sighs> oh, yeah. I, I was going to hand you some socks. I, I was told to give you these too. Uh, you know it's not actually about the socks, right? See, Carrie said that, but she kept saying so. I mean, it's a Tantata thing, you know. You need... Lee kind of, like, says as she flaps the socks in there to her other palm. I mean, they can hit high-concept stuff, but it's a pretty materialist society. You need something to attach the feeling to. But I appreciate it. Well, 
I hope you don't mind that I asked Saren to knit them and didn't do it myself. See, that makes it way better, actually. Yeah, I thought, you know, they might as well be usable. I know, now these will actually be nice, thanks. Alright, now he's just gonna think for a second. Wait a second. What's up? Didn't... Did Zaren tell you about... Wasn't he on an island with a bunch of people that he said kept coming back? Yeah. I mean... Did he... Did you know about... How? What? No. Like how? No? Well, the, the thing happening now was his dad. Oh. Yeah, I... Know about that. Hmm. Uh, kinda accidentally, but I still found out. Um... Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, it's on my, um, it's on my list. I, uh, I don't know what to say if that's actually something that's going to be close to what Ira was talking about. Oh. Uh -huh. But, yeah, it's an unfortunate connection. I would have much preferred knowing that she was just processing trauma like that, but, well... <sighs> Not something that seems impossible. No, it isn't. Well, Captain, we have a serious problem on our hand that we'll have to f deal with at some point. Hmm. I... I'll keep you posted on that. We should wait a little while. Yep. I... It's hard to know what I was actually feeling since she always puts on that smile and I'd rather not push it right now. No, mm. definitely not. It's and she's just gonna shake her head a bit and speaking about Saren to this with this, this... I think it still needs a bit more time. At least until he... Opens up a bit more about himself to Neff and us again. I feel you will, like pull her arm around like Ivy's shoulder and kind of pull her into a side hug and be like, "No, it's all right." I mean, listen, we made Iris made some strides. Saren's trying to talk about it. That's progress. We don't have to worry about it beyond that. We don't need to go pushing ahead yet. Need a lot of time for people to recover sometimes. Medicine, talking, it can only speed it up so much. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Alright. Well. If I learned anything from Saren or Ira about this, I'll make sure to tell you. Likewise. Thanks. <sighs> as, as you start to like decompress and uh look on a bit you notice in one of the open rooms the medical bed will just vanish into like a zipper he will go from like hugging ivy to walk over and look into the room huh wow that looks like nothing's there at all yeah. We'll, uh... Hmm. I'll relax later. I think I'm gonna have work to do still. I need uh, to go ask for us for a new bed. Ah. Uh, I think I could handle that. I'm just oh, corrupting God, something. Please, like, fucking springs up because she was just... Pulled into from a moment of oh god, thank fucking god, I'm having a nice moment with Ivy. To where the fuck did my bed go? <laughs> Look over, catch herself, like put a hand over, just oh, Raph, you scared the shit out of me. Uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Thanks, Mr. Griffin. I didn't want to interrupt. It looked like you two were speaking on something important. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. <sighs> right, Captain. Oh. 
Oh, yeah, please don't have to worry about it, Mr. Griffin. Mm. Well, I consider myself not worried then. I'll go see to getting a replacement medical bed. And I'll bring it back here. In mm -hmm. due time. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully Forest is available. But I think I could throw one together myself without too much trouble. Right. No rush on that, though. For now. Uh, I forget, did Lee ever actually tell him to come by for a checkup, or is... I, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, way a while ago before. Right, right, yeah, yeah. <sighs> well, uh, Captain, if you don't mind, I've had a checkup scheduled for Mr. Griffin for a while. Oh, would you like to do that now or after I go retrieve the bed? How about now? You're here already. Hmm. <laughs> We've got well, a lot of rooms. I will excuse myself then. Um, Lee, I will speak to Abby, and she can handle probably the incoming patients from however that flight pans out. Thank you. Uh, because Blaze and Solana fight with fire, so they're probably going to have to go to the medical room no matter what. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Captain, and uh, we'll let's catch up later. I need to relax. I should go call Sakura. We'll probably need more hands. Please do. As Ivy will walk out. Felice says it's just looking uh, Raph down the hall to one of the other rooms. I gotta say, Mr. Griffin, I really think this must be the same sort of relief you feel to have a company of workers. <laughs> Actually, not being the only person who can properly bandage someone around here is uh, its amazing to feel. It is fortunate to be blessed by many different people around you that can competently hold their own and take some pressure off. Oh, yeah. It's a world of difference. There's only so much that one pair of hands can do. Hmm. Well, I can be a few more than that, but you're definitely still on the money with that. This thing makes her shitty joke. She'll uh, begin to, like, look him over. And so just start, like, taking off his shirt and everything. Yeah. Uh, as Lee will notice, he has a lot of, like, old scars from his yeah. time as a pirate. He's like, he was a pirate sailor in the New World. Yeah, he was a sick pirate. Uh, and he's, like, very, like, firmly muscular. Like, yeah. as you'd expect from someone that's a foreman. Of course, yeah. It's not like he fucking started lazing about afterwards. So what's Lee's fucking professional medical opinion? from her first initial analysis going over him. So, going purely off just medical purposes, it seems like he should be the picture of health. Mm -hmm. If we're just playing in purely just doctor work. Yeah. But, uh, after Beck's tip, uh, trying to just more yeah. deeply sense demonic energy, you can feel it focused, like, it seems to be, like, deep into his chest probably around his lungs because you do know the primary symptom as he's described is like a yeah, constant exactly. cough exactly because it's like i know how to beck was like pointed out that it's a demonic thing and especially be confusing without that because lee knows he has some nondescript illness from the past and stuff it's like yeah so it's like so it's in the lung sort of area you said yeah yeah, yeah it's primarily focused in like the lungs and chest area mm -hmm. but it's you can feel out kind of where it is, but it's kind of... It, it seems almost like a cancer that's spread, like, deeply in that area. So it encompasses, like, more than his lungs, but that seems to be where the root is. Right, yeah. Hmm. So... I have had Dr. Jinx examine me before, she but she could find no primary cause yeah. it seems my lungs are weakened and well that much is fairly obvious from the constant cough Absolutely. if i had just telling you any other medical terms i can do my normal profession of shipbuilding but I've had to severely cut back on the expected amount of work I can accomplish in a day in terms of physical labor. And 
exerting my body too heavily will induce a more serious coughing fit that can sometimes cause me to cough up blood and other such, but that isn't a constant. That's only if I exert myself too heavily. Lee like nods along as she's listening. I've also found ex uh, exercising my hockey, like armament or observation, does in fact induce a similar strain in my body. So, I would venture to guess not only physical but also mental strain can exacerbate the effects. <sighs> Interesting. So I've taken to limiting the amount of stressful work I do. And thankfully, my <laughs> workers at the company have been able to pick up under the slack I've had from pacing myself. Hmm. Lean on so long. That's... And it. No, you can go. I've had this condition for. Well, to tell you the truth, when it onset many years ago, before Opal was born. It's what caused me to retire from the... from Shade's crew. Yeah. Lee nods. I felt... that... the life of a pirate... it became locked off to me after that. Glad you had the forethought not to drive yourself into an early grave. Well, <laughs> it wasn't just me that decided that everyone on the crew was more than, well, a bit upfront about how they wanted me to stop before the condition worsened. Only smiles a bit as she's still like going through her examination a bit as he's telling her the details. <sighs> So, Crews are always reliable, aren't they? Oh, they are. Especially Shades. <laughs> they wouldn't let me hang up... Well, they never told me to hang up my flag. Or... Take down my flag. But... Well... I started supporting them in a different way. <laughs> Whenever they'd come by, I'd give them free repairs and... supplies and such. Yeah. And... The life of a mayor of a major city does offer one a certain privy to private information that might assist a roaming pirate. Oh, yeah. After all, I'm sure you heard this enough. Just because you're not on the ship, you're still on the crew. Ah. Uh, quite a common saying for pirates to have to part ways for certain reasons. He smiles, agreeing. Remember and her boy Clive. He's still out there, bros. Ah, uh, and speaking on my condition, it has... It's hard to say if it's worsened over time. It really seems to just come and go based on how much I exert myself. Hmm, it... right. The effects have never gotten more hampering, but I've never been one to push myself after seeing what's happened. I'm not in the business of driving myself to an early grave. It's a disease that seems to almost stop at a point. Doesn't progress worse, but keeps you from going over a certain threshold. That's, um... Well, if I didn't know any better, I would just label that as a medical anomaly and... ...say I don't know what to do, but... Do you remember the specifics of when you noticed the first symptoms? Anything that could have happened? Hmm. He's just like sitting there for a moment trying to think. Hmm. As for specific, not. Nothing truly comes to mind. It's...
We were just sailing around, much the same as normal in the new world. Getting into different fights over territory and such. The new world was much more chaotic back then. With the Yonko trying to firmly establish themselves. And there was much more fighting over territory in those days. Things were a lot more muddied. Hmm. So... I just noticed one day after fighting, a, I couldn't tell you any specifics based on the, how long it's been, just another pirate crew. I seemed to come down with this condition a few days later. Mm. I thought they might have poisoned me, but I've seen numerous doctors and they've all ruled out any type of, any type of poison and I would Venture to guess the time frame has also ruled that out. Any type of poison that would have an effect like this, I'd assume would kill me before this much time has passed. Yeah. That or leave my system. Well, theoretically, it could have done its job and eradicated itself, but, I mean, any good doctor, especially Dr. Jinx, would have been able to tell you there's damage left over by it. Which there isn't exactly. Yes, my lungs do appear to be in normal order. Mm -hmm. But so you're right. It can be safely ruled out in that regard. But the, oh, no, I no. think it's a important thing to note is it seems like the condition has a threshold where I can go about my business. Exerting myself as I wish, but then with no shortness of breath or coughing or any such side effects, but then suddenly it will hit me in some way, and I will be very aware that I must stop what I'm doing and rest. Hmm. But there's no build up, which is, well, you're the doctor, but I. From what I've read, that's a medical anomaly. Oh. Usually symptoms would appear gradually. Oh, yeah, well. Our bodies are naturally built to at least recognize illnesses in some degree. Even the most sharp, harshest things like heart attacks and things like that are pretty normally pre oh. Previously, you at least have a sense of a taste of something before it immediately strikes you. No. This is... Not a normal... This isn't a normal disease. And mm. I'm not sure if I can call it a disease still. Something in there, though. <sighs> well... You sound, you sound as such... You sound like you have a, cle a more clear idea than I do about my condition. I have something. It's just not a lot to go on currently. I... <sighs> Nothing about them will stand out. That's the problem. Hmm. Then? Oh, I meant... Well, you didn't say you met anyone, you know, that you'd remember before this started happening to you. Which makes this a bit more difficult to pin when this might have happened, but... Uh, there's certainly something wrong with your lungs that's there. It's just not a normal medical condition. Hmm. He's like looking at you, like fa fairly, like just, like fa fairly calmly, just trying to like intently listen to what you're saying. Mm hmm. Hmm. What gives you that type of idea? If I may beg your pardon, I'm that sure you you've... are. No, please continue. I'm sure you've met. Plenty of uh, monsters, they'll do like quotation marks, out in your days as a pirate, Raph, so, or Mr. Griffin, so. You've seen plenty of stuff that's not normal, but I think we're talking in the realm of possibility that this is something like that. Extremely not normal. And the only reason I have an idea about this isn't something that's well, entirely unique to my knowledge. It's more something that's related to me, maybe. Hmm. 
I've got bad blood in me. I'm connected to a lot of stuff. And I think this is somehow connected to it also. Because I can mm. see it. Is this like calmly taking that in? Mm. Mm. So. So it does sound like there's... Uh, even less it would be to cover someone new. I am curious about what that means. Oh, and... Right, well, I mean, you have a right to hear a bit more about it. We'll try and figure this out. And just in case you think I might be just jumping the gun, I already have at least one other opinion from someone else. They pointed it out as a possibility to me. It's, um become a lot easier for me to see this stuff and I didn't know how to do it back when I first met you or it might have stood out more please uh, well yeah I'm... let me get into it you um, don't need to worry I wasn't questioning your medical opinions <laughs> I I have full faith in your ability and if you tell me that this is a condition you think you might have an ideal about I am in no position to argue with you. I mean, I've seen you kids do fantastical things. Mm. And I've heard many good things about you from Forrest. Mm. I even did learn, sadly, after the fact of our first meeting, your connection to Master Ip Chuck. Yeah. Which is comforting. I'm happy to know that he spent the rest of his life teaching someone. It, I spoke with him many times. Uh, well, I've met him quite a few times. Goddess Alley is a bustling city, mm. and even once when I was much younger, on my journeys as a pirate, I've run into the man. And he smiles and a bit more as she's listening, you know, excited, letting him continue. If you're someone that has been, well, caught by him, and, well, someone that Forrest can vouch for so much, and, well... That's a bit impersonal. I've spoken to you before myself, and I happen to trust whatever it is you tell me in this regard. Oh, and my daughter seems to be quite fond of you, so you check all the boxes, so please don't think I need these assurances of another to trust your opinion. Well, thank you, Mr. Griffin. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Right, um... Well, don't say I didn't warn you for how. Uh, Lee's face kind of goes back to a bit more serious about how um, strange this can all be. My, I'm the daughter of someone who's long since lost his humanity. He's, have you... I mean, like, Lee, like, he was connected with, like, Shade and stuff, so, like, she assumes, like, you know, it, it, it's possible, like, from his ostensible connections that he might have heard Beals before, but she's just being careful with, you know, the explanation. Hmm. Have you heard the name Beals Ali before? Hmm. I have. Hmm. I was not eager to point out the connection. Don't worry about it. It didn't seem like a proper topic to discuss, mostly because of what I've heard of the man and my unfamiliarity. It's not the type of thing I'd wish to bring up without a very concrete reason to. Well, I appreciate it, but uh, yeah, it's related to you now, so... I'll be able to answer any questions about that. He mm -hmm. isn't so much a person anymore. 
he's someone who's lived beyond the right any human should have and lost mm -hmm. whatever makes us that a long time ago. He's currently residing in the body of Pirate King, correct? Yeah, he nods. Mm. That's how he does it. Body I to did, body. He's, um, I did speak with Sephirin about this. <sighs> they will sigh and kind of nod. Honestly, if you don't mind, I... She kind of sighs their shoulders slump a bit. Sephirin would be probably the only person here who knows more about Beals than I might, to some regard. He might be able to have an idea of what this is. Well, I would not mind having Master Sephirin examine me. Right. It's, I mean, anything to, well, of course. assist in the procedure. Of course. Uh, why don't I... I give him a call? I think he's still here. He normally probably would at least mention to Ivy if he's leaving. I believe I saw him earlier today near the navigation room of your friend Zarin. Right. He might still be there, but that was a few hours ago. Probably has a den den mushi, right? He will, like, go, uh, excuse himself. He'll be like, I'm just gonna place a call to make this quicker. I'll just be a few minutes, Mr. Griffin. Please take your time. Yeah, she'll go. I assume we have, like, a fucking hospital den den mushi Lee keeps away from fucking Carrie, like, in the desk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. way too many fucking you things. You've been with Carrie right for here. so long. You, you have a strict method of, uh, not letting things be destroyed by Tundara. Yeah. Plus we have those base horns if she actually gets in there. A lot of precautions, so. Vice uh... is dad. Vice <laughs> dad. Yeah. We'll get out that dented mushy and stare at the snail for a while as she glares her frustrations into it. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. You went off somewhere. Uh, uh. And she'll... Finally, do the and I'll uh, hit you with the pedal, 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 pedal. Uh, sorry, are you, are you going to the navigation room? Uh, yeah. I I don't think Lee knows how to call him directly. Yeah, you. I I doubt you would know. No, no, his snail number. Or you spe the fuck you he's specifically worth. would know his snail number. Yeah. I don't know. It's that that. That is Mushi's to me. I always thought you could just call fucking whoever. Technically, which seems retarded, but I don't know. Maybe you have to give you have to decide at one point, maybe, Blake. This will be relevant. Not. You think there's snail to, numbers? Well, no, you you have, yeah, there's snail numbers, but you can also give someone like you know the lead in in Mushi, where it has like a little bandana and stuff. I see. Yeah, makes sense. Like, you know, they're unique Denden Mushis. Like, yeah, don't yeah, wear yeah. one of Law's hat. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. And then they change their appearance a bit, too. But, like, you can't you can't make a hat. You're not born with the hat. Yeah, I got you. You're not born with the fucking backpack. You can't can't be your semblance. As, uh, you'll hear a pickup, and Saren will say, uh, yeah, this is Lee, right, from the medical room? You yeah, need hey, Saren, uh... Uh, the... <laughs> arm things not till tomorrow morning, right? Yeah, is the old man there? Uh, you mean Master Suffering? Yeah, he's here. Yeah, could you ask him to head down to the medical office? I need him for an opinion. Yeah, give me a sec. Yeah. Yeah, he said he'll be there. Uh, he's on his way now. Great, thanks. Lee's just gonna hang up. Ugh. Fairness fair. Yeah, but... Oh, wait. Lee will sigh and rub her forehead as she's like, I need to be... This is... I, I can't... I can't be this upset about this. This is very important. I need to calm my head. She'll, uh, you know, get one of the water fountains there before he shows up, toss water over her, and it'll just turn to steam as it completely looks like she didn't get hit by water at all. She does like a little big sigh, and she'll wait for him to show up. 
as after a few minutes, uh, he will walk into the medical room. Yeah. By the time in those few minutes, Lee's written up a uh, description of all the immediate symptoms and things they discussed and what Lee's observed from it. And when he uh, comes in, Lee's just going to hand him the couple pages of it and go, here, read these over while we head over. He, he, just, t- he just takes them and starts uh, looking at them intently. As that he's pointed around. out to me at the first point, but it's something like a embedded in him. Hmm. He didn't, right. like it says in there, he has no idea if there was ever a notable point, so it's not like he ended up dealing with any of the sins, probably. So I don't know when it could have happened. I think most people would remember a demon. Hmm. Hmm. We're still, uh, come back in. Alright, thanks, Mr. Griffin. Sorry about the wait. Um, it's no problem at all. Please, all right. take your time to go over whatever you need to. Uh, we'll oh. sit back down at the near the bedside area. So, as I was going to explain to you, Mr. Griffin, for your sake, she gestures a hand over towards Saffron. The best thing I can, the closest thing I can attribute to this is a cancerous sort of growth that's maintained itself inside Wrath, or Mr. Griffin. The symptom specifics of that fresh hold we were talking about is what makes me think this is... Well, I don't know what would have caused it if it's his direct intervention affecting you or not, but... It's not out of the realm of possibility. Creating something that's somewhere in between a disease and more like a curse, I guess, Lee would wave her hand. It's not it's impossible. Severin will speak up. And this is a disease that he wanted to make. I'd eventually guess it'd be more... It would spread. Exactly. Or have that's... more distinct symptoms. Exactly. This seems purposely designed to not kill. Exactly. Or spread. So not only is it troubling trying to figure out exactly the details of how it would affect you right now, but I'm trying to... Well, to maybe find those, finding out a motive for why you specifically, Mr. Griffin, ended up affected by this might lead us to more concrete conclusion of, well, what it's supposed to be. (sighs) He's... Up... He doesn't make plans that have to be solved real quickly, after all. For all we know, this is one part of something that's larger than all of us, or this is the end result of something he did to you. But let me tell you, he's at, like the old man said, he's not exactly someone who would just ignore killing you if that's what he needed to do. So, unless you really can have the immune system to repel a demonic influence I think it's working exactly like they'd want it to be well I do maintain a healthy diet of fruits and vegetables but I doubt that's enough unfortunately not well he kind of gives him a small smile is like that's a funny dad joke and she'll sigh and look over at uh suffer in a bit he'll just be he'll just get finished reading the uh your notes only thing I could think of that might be anything close to how I'd know he'd remotely affect someone would be through blood. I don't suppose you've had any strange transfusions in your life, Mr. Griffin? No. I'm yeah. afraid none that I could remember. And I'm sure Dr. Jinx especially would have been able to notice something weird like that in your bloodstream. Hmm. Sephiroth will look over. Lee. Hmm. You're able to notice it. That's how it came to your attention, correct? Yeah. Anyone, I think... Well, technically it came to my attention because Beck pointed it out to me, but I think I would have noticed either way, which is what troubles me. I mean, it's not just something because I have his blood in me. It's something connected to the demons. If Beck can see it, that is... 
Uh, young Mr. Salt does seem to have a keen eye. Yeah, but hmm. I don't know if just anyone's keen eye can pick up on this. No, uh, it must be, it's strictly unique to people such as the both of you who are unfortunate in their circumstance. Now, you say here in your notes, it doesn't seem to be, it seems to be focused around his lungs and spread out thinly from there, but mostly concentrated throughout his upper chest. Yeah. Not spreading to any appendages or anything like that. Exactly. The weird part is that it did spread out for a while to root itself there, but, well. I... I don't know if that was just Mr. Griffin actually's body able to contain it, or if that's all it wanted to do. Hmm. It's been long enough that I think it's past the point of changing by now. It seems to be at its end result. A strong body would not stop him in any plans he has. Exactly, I mean... <laughs> Lee stops it, because, like, she knows... Sephirin knows the conclusion. She's like, well, I mean, yeah, he's in the fucking Pirate King's body. Is like, what her point was gonna be. So she just stops it, because that's pretty mean to say out loud. Or she didn't want it to be mean, so she's being extra careful, because she does feel bad about, you know, having to say something that he probably thinks about 24-7. So she lets the point go with pointing out that, like, yeah, it can't just be a strong fucking body. I do apologize, Raphael, for not noticing this in our prior meetings. No, please, don't trouble yourself, Master Saffron. Yeah, don't it's... apologize about something you probably couldn't see. Exactly. Hmm. I do have a hypothesis on what this might be, Lee. Good. I'm willing to hear anything. I am not specifically familiar with the manner is or with the details of every sin, as my encounters with them have been extremely limited. I can't even say I've met all of them before. Lucky. Hmm. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> now... This type of cancerous growth... Feeding on the body... Prepping it... It leads me to believe this could be... A... Method of prepping a host... For the influence of one of the sins... And given the cancerous nature... My educated guess would be Envy. You think so? You it's did say... Huh? You did say he has a new body, correct? Yeah. I suppose Raphael could have been a Can't. substitute in case it's something with seasons ended up going wrong. Yeah, he... He isn't one to not hedge his bets and have multiple contingencies. No, yeah, that makes sense. That, that definitely does. Envy was the one he had to put the most work into getting a proper body for outside of Wrath, which he needed to construct. It's I... not like Sloth was gonna lose his anytime soon. And he's I, really the only candidate he had left that makes sense. And I do believe it. Well, the long period of prep is... It lines up. It seems that Envy has significant trouble adapting to a host. Mm. So, if I was to guess, the cancerous demonic energy infecting you was placed to see how your body responded and, and unfortunately I would guess that it responded positively given it not consuming you not only was that good for testing it 
but it would also be the exact sort of thing he'd want, I mean. Take Mr. Griffin out of his life as a pirate, force him in a place where he can't even succeed compared to some of his co-workers as he's forced to choke up blood. I mean, Beals would assume most people would start to turn into a spiteful asshole who just wanted everything else that everyone had around them. A perfect mm. host for envy. Oh. Is that what he was planning? Yeah, oh. I can understand his logic pretty well after all those dinner dates. That's extremely unfortunate on his end, man. <laughs> My life retiring from a pirate showed me something that's truly worth holding on to. Even if I was in the perfect health, I'd never even dream of returning to that life. He smiles in spite of how, like... Uh, how uh, how how many how, how awful a lot of the conversation is going through she smiles look at mr griffin especially saying that and she's like yeah well that's always been the blind spot they have <sighs> huh. quite dreadful of a person i'd say that's why they're not hmm sounds even more complicated than I previously knew. Hmm. I... I'm sorry for anything you've had to experience to learn that. Ah. You shouldn't be. Don't worry. Thanks, though. Um... I would say it's fortunate that your body responds in this way. Yeah, the alternative would have been much worse. Sorry if to he, say that this is the lucky bit, but... If he responded more positively and fought it off even greater than this, they might have intervened. And if it... progressed worse, then... I believe that goes without saying. Yeah. This is, um... Unfortunately, what the best of all worlds looks like when we're, you're dealing with Beals. But... Severin looks like he's, like, staring, like, flipping through the notes. Like, concentrating very intently. Lee sits back in her chair as she's thinking. As for actually doing anything about this, I'm not sure about medical procedures I'd normally be aware of. Hmm. But... Uh... I have a hypothesis, Lee. Hmm. Is it one I'm gonna like? It's one that could potentially help deal with the problem. Okay. Though, it would require very delicate hands. And I am not positive if it is even possible. But should it, should my hypothesis Prove correct. All it would take from you and the other doctors here is a fairly complex form of surgery. But right. I don't think that's something that any of you would shy away from given your skills. No. Especially so, if it could work. Hmm. So as long as uh, Mr. Griffin would want it. Raphael will look more serious when that's mentioned. Hmm. Now, demonic energy seems to have slightly different forms to it. The energy you channel when you take your devil fruit form is different from, well, it's different from the type that I believe you've experienced before watching Envy, Bloodney, or any of them operate on. It seems that all of them have a unique form of utilizing that force. And it's not out of the realm of possibility for one to weaken another. Uh. And they must have infected Raphael in some manner. There has to be some type of core that got to him in some way 
Yeah. You said you were fighting pirates. Non-script, correct? That is right. It wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for one of them to be... One of Envy's less permanent shell that he used to find a host fitting to him. Yeah, he goes for a lot of those, and they're never great. And he might have used such an opportunity to infect Raphael here. Makes but, sense. So what I'm suggesting is trying to channel your own energy, in a way, into Mr. Griffin to hopefully retract the cancerous mass into a more singular point that can be extracted with surgery. Now, I cannot tell you if that's exactly a viable solution, but I believe it could be done. He frowns a little bit as she thinks about it because she's like, well, in her head, I mean, it's like, oh man, that's like... You know, I don't know if I can fucking do that. That's that's putting a lot on the line there in her head as she's thinking. I mean, I would. I don't think that doesn't make sense. I just never done anything like that. Hmm. Well, it is worth a try, and I do not think it's outside the realm of possibility for you to do. And I can't think of any major side effects that the act of trying to focus on Raphael's demonic cancer would cause to him. Right. So... If it doesn't seem to be effective, then there's no reason to do an intrusive surgery. Right. Okay. Well, Mr. Griffin, I... Your thoughts on this are, you know, the most important ones. Something like this, if it's possible, I'd be able to facilitate it, especially with the staff here that's helping. I mean, mm -hmm. ultimately, it comes down to your call, huh? This would be a surgery mostly focused around my heart and lung area, correct? Correct. Some of the most dangerous areas for surgery or medical procedures. Absolutely. I won't say we're amateurs, but obviously anyone's going to be concerned about that. And, mm -hmm. well... It's your call, and you can take as much time as you want, considering it doesn't seem to have ever focused, or not focused, it hasn't ever gotten worse since, but... That is... I... After my wife passed away many years ago, I swore to her that I would make every possible decision I can to value my own life and make sure we don't leave our daughter, that I do not leave our daughter alone. So such an intrusive surgery does worry me, mm. as I do have confidence in you and the other doctors here, but a complication due to the unfamiliarity with this particular procedure and disease does leave me more contemplative. It's an absolute as... chance. There is a chance after all, and I don't blame you for worrying about that. I wouldn't want to be... encourage someone to do something if it ended up being superfluous to them and put them at risk like that, so. My condition also hasn't worsened over time. As Saffron will look in for a moment, Raphael, well, that is true. The doctors here are some of the best that you could find. And there is full confidence that they can perform the procedure without issue. And the 
cancer doesn't seem to be causing you harm at the present time. But... Think of it as a target that's always painted inside your chest. Beckoning them back to you. At one point. And... I believe... That... If that time ever came... It would prove more dangerous to you than any procedure done now could ever hope to be. Okay, size. Hmm. I won't say he's not wrong, but we don't know for sure. I just don't want you to pressure to feel pressured into this. Hmm. A week or two probably wouldn't hurt if you need that much time. Or if you want more time to think about it. Tell me. He's gonna look at Lee. Mm -hmm. As a doctor, disregarding my feeling, if this was happening to just someone with no connection to you, what would you choose to do? Well... Mr. Griffin, I... Still suggest you... Do what you think is best for yourself, but... I... Can't abide by putting a patient at unnecessary risk. But I also... Don't wish to cause them to have to suffer under any sort of malaise like this. I would always ask them, what would be the way that you want to continue to live your life? And as a doctor, it's my job to keep them safe and help them achieve that. Whether it be avoiding something like this and still coming to terms with a condition that seems non-terminal or attempting to well, be able to run and play freely with your daughter or work at your company without the worry about that at the risk of a surgery as long as it was their choice and I knew I could try and help them, I would I just know that a life's a life no matter if you love or hate someone you gotta have the same sort of value for it. Do you have confidence that you and the other doctors here can successfully perform the procedure? Yeah. Well, it seems my decision is made then. I will go forward with the procedure whenever you wish to perform it, as ridding myself of this cancer would not only allow me to return to the work I love, but guarantee me a more bright future with my daughter, and allow me to live with a greater peace of mind as I hopefully go into old age watching her mature. I'd rather not live the rest of my life thinking I have a mark on my back drawing in the worst that exists in this world to me. You'll nod and give him a smile. And if you're confident you can perform the procedure, then there truly is nothing for me to worry about. Absolutely, Mr. Griffin. Alright. Mm. I'll get a write-up done. Start prepping everything we'll need. Get everyone else up to date on what's going to be done. Make sure that's all ready. And when we're all prepared for it and you're ready, we'll go through with it. Well... I suppose I 
honestly do not have much to prepare myself for after I've made this decision to go forward with it. So please, come to me whenever you think you have everything in line. You got it, Mr. Griffin. Thanks. Um, I promise we'll fix this. So I'll button up his shirt and like smile. <laughs> well, it's wonderful to hear then. Please, uh, if you'll excuse me, I do have a bed to go find. Of course, right. And Thank you. I will see you then. Well, actually, I'll see you in a moment as I bring the bed back. <laughs> of course, yeah. Thank huh? you. Again for the bed. And so I'll start to walk towards the door. Oh. Do you think I can have a lollipop? I do think I was quite behaved on my on my inspection. I will laugh to herself a bit and nod. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. And she'll give him the free lollipops here for Bell and Opal. Actually, wait, if they should sell if Regan with them, I guess he wouldn't want to be left out. Ah, uh, please, I was planning on giving to giving to the children anyway. No, well, here. Yeah, she'll hand them over. Uh, well, if you'll excuse me then. Hmm. Thank you very much, Lee. Severin. Yeah, she'll nod and <sighs> take a big sigh. <sighs> and Severin will continue to look over the notes. Well, I appreciate your assistance and wouldn't have been able to come to this conclusion elsewise. I just hope this... Well, I'm gonna do everything I can, and if that isn't enough, I don't know what to say. I don't think you should have anything to worry about, given the skill required to reform such an operation. Right. Well... Hmm. Well, he'll go and, like, put down the notes on the desk. I've fully memorized them, and I do confidently feel that the procedure will be one of... It will not be very difficult for you, as long as you remain calm and act like you always should. Well, Zarin did describe to me the procedure of you replacing his arm, and if you and Miss Hollow were able to do something as technical as that, I truly don't believe something like this should prove to be a monumental challenge to you. I can handle calm. I mean, when someone puts their life in your hands, you have to be your best. It's not exactly it, mine I'm fighting for. It truly does drive one into a specific state of mind to know that they carry the bur they carry the lives of not only themselves but others in situations being such so close to life and death can truly push someone to a zen like state. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty inapt analogy. I do believe if you are still unsure about the channeling to try and retract his cancer, you should think back on your teachings from Chuck, and I believe he must have taught you the procedure of clearing your mind truly and fully. And focusing on, well, almost nothing. Just the feeling of peace when you're truly in meditation. And I believe if you truly focus, if you enter that type of state, well, tr well thinking and believing that you will retract his cancer. Huh. I think it would be possible. Something like that, huh? 
Well, like I said, you'd be the only other person here who has any idea, so... I'll take your word for it and... Prepare for that, then. Alright. Please... Tell me how the procedure does pan out. I... Would wish to hear the good news of Raphael being... Fully recovered. Yeah, I can, um, make sure to do that. Just, um, I'll tell you what's happening and, uh, you can swing on by. Oh, uh, kind of nod a bit. Mm -hmm. I would also like to say Zarin is very calm about his procedure tomorrow. It seems you have full confidence in both of you. Yeah, it's, uh... Well, I guess I'd be upset to hear otherwise, but it's still... Still something nice to realize after everything. That sort of stuff still. Hmm. Can uh, just work out like that. I. I th believe that. Saren is. Well, you don't need me to tell you. But he's the clearest example of any of your. Dedication and skills as a doctor. Hmm. So. You should clearly display that type of confidence that that skill warrants in the face of patience. I believe Raphael was able to clearly see it such as I can. And if you can see it yourself, I don't think you'll find many challenges in this profession. Hmm. You're practically as skilled as my daughter is. Pretty big praise. Thanks. Well, I guess it really does... You really do have a pretty good grasp on good doctors, so... If I'm already there, I guess I've just only gotta keep getting better and better till you can say that about dying. Or you can tell me that about dying, then. Mm hmm. Well, that's probably not as long off as you would truly think. Yeah, we'll see. Ah, uh, as he, like, starts to get ready to actually walk off. I also know that Saren plans to talk to Nephany about the problem. That he's been facing with his father tomorrow after he's fully recovered from his procedure. Ah, that's so fucking like him. That's good, though. I believe he did not wish to worry her before the procedure was done. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. That's his weird, misguided consideration. Of course. Though he did guarantee to me that he would in fact speak to her on it. Well, I don't think he's gonna lie to you, so that's good. Thanks, that's, uh, weight off would... my shoulders, and I guess I'll... You would be surprised. <sighs> he's lied to me many a time back when he was a child. Oh, well... So, How not... many fucking times could it have been? Seemed to be a new... Well... <laughs> a new fib or lie every time I'd return. So that's just, like, always been a thing with him, then. I thought he picked that up later in life. It's a habit he took from his mother. <laughs> Good to know. She was quite the one to exaggerate when we were children. Hmm. As a, he, he looks yeah. like he's get, getting lost in conversation. Yeah. Hmm. Well. She used to go up to Ip. Well... Many times when we were younger. 
mm. boasting to him that she's mastered some new secret martial art, trying to impress him by performing some, well, it's hard to even call it a move when she just flare her hands back and forth. <laughs> so oh. she swear on her heart and uh, hope to die that some hidden master passed by and gave her his long lost secret technique. Ah, oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> I bet he loved that. Did he get quite the kick out of it? <laughs> Especially as the both of us were ask her to very deeply explain exactly how the technique is performed. And I'll give my sister one thing. She, well, it takes her quite a long time to give up the goat. Hey, enthusiasm and dedication were two of the most important parts of training, after all. Ah, that seems to have taken up too much of your time. You'll excuse me. Yeah, um, don't worry about it. You helped me. You can, uh, I owed you some time to talk, after all. If there's anything else you think you'd need my advice on and pertains to this matter, please do not hesitate. I won't. Don't worry. Um, thanks, old man. Please, you have nothing to thank me for. Let's say we walk out the door. Yeah, we will nod a bit, being like, yeah. Uh, I better go check on Pegma. He's mumbling something about some damn fox. Oh god, he speaks English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. I gotta hit him in the head again to fix that. So, apologies. Uh, are, are there other people who are alive? Yeah, uh, yeah I'm alive. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering about the timeline here. Scene. How could Ivy be here when she was watching our match? And also... She ran ahead. I didn't get rid of the token when I... She... That's true. Listen, mistakes. Ran ahead? It's been two hours! <laughs> I mean, I think you guys are in the other wing. As Blake said, this place is fucking massive. We bled out! <laughs> We're dead! Nah, Sakura is... He said at the start that Sakura is gonna take care of it. We have multiple doctors on call. Yeah. Alright. Fine. I don't want to be treated unless it's Lee. The rest of you might, like, stab a fork in me or something. Why, I where? I'd like that. Of course you would. You want more for the collection. Pigma will be given his clean bill of health. Nice. Be allowed to exit. Yeah. Good. As, uh... Tira and Carrie will in fact uh, awaken after a bit of time. I'll say after Lee's done examining uh, Raphael, uh, Abby and Sakura will have been able to successfully patch both of you up. And thankfully the Fire Drive Pirates, um, Blaze specifically, brought some specialized medical ointment they developed that can help immediately deal with burns as long as it's, you know, within a certain time frame of you getting them. Oh, that's pretty nifty. So, it's able to stop any actual harmful effects besides the, well, most obvious being like blisters and stuff, but everything will be fine after some time. You may start to wake up then. As Lily would have been informed that they, they were unconscious and brought into the medical war ward. Oh, I guess you would have probably gone over to them eventually. Yeah, you can probably come in as they're waking up. Sure. I've been asking about how they were. This place will be laying against one of the walls inside the room, kind of watching the treatment happen. Wow, you really laid into them, he says after she did a little surveying pass. Hmm. It seems like... They didn't have very good teamwork yet. Me and Solana have been fighting together for a long time. 
Oh, yeah, I expected this. I mean, come on. So we met Sira like a day or two ago. It also seems like... Well, and Carrie, Carrie versus Heat? She passes out when she walks into the sauna. Exactly. It doesn't seem like she would be very accustomed to fighting any of us. Hmm. Maybe Speedy would be a bit better for her. He has a fiery heart. Well, I guess Captain wanted her to get some practice in. How mm. cruel. Well, other than that, they seem to be alright. And we made sure not to burn them up too terribly. Thanks, appreciate it. Oh. Ivy did tell me you're very into martial arts, correct? Hmm? Oh, yeah, you could say that. Solana isn't a martial artist. Well, I guess you might be able to consider her one. But she's a ballet practitioner and other forms of dance. Oh. And worked it into a fighting style. Oh, cool. I gotta well, ask her about that. I learned a lot of cool dances in Skypea. That along with juggling fire. I just figured you might find it interesting. Oh, yeah, that sounds like fun. I gotta ask her if I, she can teach me how to do some of that stuff. She was like, the steps. She was looking at her, like giant flamethrower the thing. The thing's like six hundred pounds. Yeah, it's huge. Um, all I do is just shoot with that. Not ah, as that's pretty cool. It is. So it does pack a punch when you hit someone with it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hmm. Thanks. Well, I suppose I'll just stay here. It'd oh, be yeah. uncomfortable to know that they're still lying in bed. Especially when we guaranteed we wouldn't do them in too hard. Oh, That's sweet of you. Thanks. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Feel free to rub it in, though. They deserve it. Hmm. Maybe. As Le as Sira and Carrie can start to wake up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, she'll just look that she's laying down on a hospital bed and just mutter out like god damn it mm -hmm. Asaka will look down now you should be fine to move around you'll just have be a bit sore from the burns but thankfully the lotion that they gave should let that dissipate within a matter of hours other than that well you shouldn't have any long-term effects that won't go away with some rest. Okay, so you'll, like, jump out of bed, basically. And be like, ah, yeah, whatever. Fucking psychos fighting with fire. Who even does that? Hmm. Yeah. Did you even patch me up? Then you're not my doctor. A soccer patch of Nami. Lee is the chief doctor here, so her, her words are superseding mine, and it does seem like you shouldn't be moving around too much. But Sakura will look at her chart. You should be good to walk around without too much trouble. So, I would just avoid excessive maneuvers, like strenuous jumping. Yeah, I get it, I get it. I'm gonna go. As Abby will poke carry. Um... um not that different from an animal. I mean, I didn't have to deal with any of the... As she looks over like a chart. Chambered stomachs or anything like that, given the outer damage. Yes. Um, let me stop you. Minx biology is, well, for most of them, some of them do get unique. 
but minks are much closer to a normal human than a tontada is to a mink. A mink is closer to, um, oh, there, there are numerous animals that seem to have multiple chambered stomachs and these unique oddities of tontada tribes. How are the are so pronounced? Hmm. Wow. Yes. Hmm. Hot. Ah, uh, much, much better. Wait, how long do you how to typically live for? As an animal of this size, well. I would guess the average would be a lifespan of maybe a few years for an animal of that size. She certainly doesn't appear to be five years old. At least her. Uh-huh. 18 and proud. Hmm. <laughs> uh... Yes. Oh, wait. Hold on. It'd be older now because he'd have had his birthday. Uh, my dad's 62. Hmm. I know because the last birthday I celebrated for him was his 59th. What do you be? Didn't she? I, I read I, I read I was journal. Wouldn't he be All right. Um. Well, it seems like Tontada are an anomaly, uh, when it comes to small creatures. Uh, but other for the basic medical procedure that was just done, Carrie. Um, you should be fine. Uh, you seem to not been burned as heavily. But you did pass out from heat exhaustion. Ah. And blunt force trauma. Ah. But it gets so hot. Then my tail wouldn't be as fluffy, we. You I don't like those. You should feel good, right, Terry. Many minks struggle with heat as well. Oh. Well, that sure makes me feel better being compared to an animal. She's completely sincere. I would watch out for heat exhaustion and death. I can get closer to dying than Weona can! Hmm. If you say so, I will... Thankfully abstain. I have no intention of letting myself overheat. I don't... I, 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 I truly feel you're just making things up and attempt to, um, do something negative to me. I do not, I don't see how, so, I do not, I don't get I just won't go there. You can handle it? Well, they can bring you back to the ship. This is an unrealistic scenario. No, it's not. Okay, Carrie will say, folding her hands into paper flowers. You trouble I... a woman that has infinite hands. 
See, if you're going to use these specific, specific scenarios, I do not think you can fault me for using ridiculous logic in my own, own right. I can't undo this, by the way. And, uh... Sweating to death. I wish I could. Ah. In some aspects. I do not believe. Lee, I, I, honestly, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I will never be able to get over the fact that my bodily functions do not allow me to sweat. And thus, I will overheat easily. That's not something willpower can conquer. Would 30 seconds change anything? Yes, might. In some unrealistic scenario, we're on an island that's completely covered in fire. That, oh, you are unconscious for speaking poorly of your abilities. From your part and that everyone else is detained that somehow me the mink will have 30 seconds to rescue everyone that is completely unfeasible by the way so honestly i believe that everything you're saying is only an attempt to do me harm Her words haunt my head. That is not what he did? This is truly a learning experience that he sprung at me at the last second. Yes, but this is not... I can learn much more by... reading the books in here, or... examining the animals in here. Oh my god, I can't listen to this for another second. Cyril just soru over here. I'm leaving. I don't care. Those boys will like look up and like raise a finger. Are we still going bowling? Um. Hmm. Let me Whoa. think about that. I was just lit on fire. How long was I out? An hour ago. You know. I gotta say, I think the time for bowling is past. I got some candy balls. This place will take Carrie in her hand. Oh, you don't have to worry. Uh, you're not gonna, you know, pass out from the heat. That's something I can choose when to do. Cool. Is Zero already gone? Thank you. Uh, yeah, unless someone stopped her. I don't think anyone's physically stopping her. You can disappear. You clothesline by Pigma. Is Zero, is Zero goes by and socks him another one in the, in the face? <laughs> Pigma will one day disappear and never show up again. He'll come back with his fucking space fort and deal with you. Oh, no. That's more acceptable. <sighs> oh, sure, sure. Uh, sh so start walking over. Hmm. Uh, as, it, like, Sarko will, like, walk by, she'll appear down the hallway. Oh, would you like to come? As Ishtar is, like, exiting her room. Oh, where? Uh, we're gonna go enjoy the hot spring. I suppose I can do that. If I wouldn't be any... She yes. stole my joke! Everyone will look at Carrie confused. 
<laughs> I said it first! Everyone heard me say cool force, right? I've... Wait, what did you, what did you just say? I'm sorry, what is going on? <laughs> we stole my joke! What joke? Uh... Did someone... Did someone say something funny? My intellectual property rights. As, uh. as Lee can go to the hot springs with Abby, Sakura, and Ishtar. And Carrie can go with Blaze and Solana to play bowling. Yeah. As, uh... But since they need a fourth, Solana will bring Jackson, and Jackson can be on Carrie's team. Yay. Don't worry, guys. I wouldn't have got so hard if I didn't hold back. Uh-huh. As you can go to the bowling alley with Jackson, and we can go to the hot spring. I do not know. Do, do, do you do you do you wish to do this like as scenes? It's up to you guys. All right. Uh. Yeah, yeah. It's it's mostly in, in terms of like, hey. Uh, Getting up there in time, so yeah. mostly like maybe fit in things that are more pressing, uh, in ter in ter instead of doing bowling and bowling scene. Yeah, sure. I mean, if these guys have anything to say specifically, otherwise Carrie's just gonna do her puntata speak. No, they they uh, they probably wouldn't have said anything too pressingly significant at the current time. They would probably just try to have fun, uh, make Carrie feel like it's a good time as they. They they try to go all out in bowling, but Carrie is a master. Also, Jackson's no slouch himself. Nice. So, uh, Carrie, you 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 will score the best there, but Jackson will come in second, and you guys will blow them out of the water. Nice. I just want to say when Lee said "cool," I just snapped as Carrie on impulse. Yeah. So, I must ask, where is Sira going? Where does anyone go <laughs> when they feel pain? The bar? The bar. I don't know if you want to interact with this Sira, but you will see a chase. You, you will see a chase. No. You, rascal bears running around with rat pigs are stealing. As Mr. Prince looks on in horror, as <laughs> Deputy Buchin is hot on the trail, chasing them down. Sirius had oh, enough of animals. Okay, that's what was going on. I was wondering what Mr. Prince was doing, if he was like a vigilante, and Buchin was just stopping by to watch like a gunfight. No, that <laughs> makes I get sense. It. He's the robbed partitioner, and uh, <laughs> Fiso and Buchin are the pursuers. Our poor rat pigs. As we'll come back. Sira, you can start walking over and you will see a young girl kind of peering through the door. Do you want to let me in? Uh, there's no response. Alright, Sira, just walk over to the, the wall and just unzip it and walk past it. Uh, you see as you touch the wall, uh, the girl will like fade away as it was just like it just it it looked like a static image had just disappeared okay so will be a little bit uh, disturbed by that then walk over to the bar why is life so hard percy ah uh, uh, there, 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 there. As Foxy posts another drink at Homer. 
let it out, let it out. Ah, what can I get you at this running Brooks bar? Wait. Uh, just Who cereal are you? sit down next to Homer. Uh, just. Oh, I. Who are wait, you? Wait, wait, don't, don't. Who am I? I'm Persephone Willow. Uh, extraordinaire. God, what is my touch? Soul Survivor. That's what you called me, Homer. Pretty not. Oh, like, Soul is an S O U L. Uh, because I can do this. As she. She's just gonna hit the ground and, like, just turn into a corpse as her ghost will emerge. Yeah, like this. No. Oh, God. That is... Yeah, it, it, it's an effect of dying. It didn't take. Right. And she will just, like, snap back into her body and get back up. Woo! Ah. What a rush. So, what can, what can I get you? Um, sorry, who are you? Oh, I'm Sira. Sira, Sira. Hmm. Just whatever you want, really. I just need a drink. Oh, sure. Well, if you need a drink, I'll get the high shelves. She takes a bottle of wine and pours it in a glass. Yeah, so as Omer, already like fairly drunk, will look over. You're like. What, like it's a new crew member or something? I think people talked about that. Yeah, but uh, you know. Uh, <sighs> nice to meet you. I'm Homer Savant. Oh, you're Homer. Yeah. That's what I said. You know, Cyril <laughs> unzip part of the, the bar and like reach in to pull out the, the Ivy's journal. You know, I've been reading through some of this stuff. I gotta say, man. Real heroic stuff in here. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, right? You know, they tore apart the island the floor of saving it. Like, you know, chaos through the streets. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, you being there when they, uh, you know, tore apart uh, Annie's lobby, that's pretty ballsy, man. Can oh, you fight? Can I fight? Fuck no. I mean, look at me. I'm much more- I'm a writer. More than a fighter. Yeah. As first he's just sitting there contemplating something to herself. Uh, to be honest with you, I got drunk and winded up on the train they used to get there. And you know, in for a penny and all that. That is- Now you're bitching once I'm already there. Besides. So, What's the worst gonna happen? The government would never put a bounty on my head? I wouldn't be so sure. Ah. You see, and he knows many uh, little secrets as I do when it comes to government officials. So I don't really want to cross you. Also, when you control the biggest newspaper in the world, they kind of think twice about doing something as petty as putting a minor bounty on. Hmm. Oh, I guess you do have some power, huh? Ah, uh, more than anyone expects as he just, like, moves his drink and it spills a bit on the counter. Ooh, uh, right. And I'm reduced to... <clears throat> ...lounging around this bar. It is very nice, Sam. They did great work. Uh. Well, I hey. mean... You don't seem very happy, but I guess uh, that's why we're both here, right? Uh, this daily stress is making me, driving me to drink, you know? I'll feel happier once I'm finished with this bottle. Right, which number bottle is that? Uh, well, I can still talk to you, so at least not ten. I think, like, this is the third one now. Oh, uh, all right. I'm sure you can handle it, right? Oh, I've been drinking since I was 10. Don't worry. Okay. Cheryl, like, shoot her eyes to Percy, like... Percy's looking down, mumbling to herself. So, you're the new roommate. Like, like trickster pirates, yeah? Uh... I don't think I understand. What, what crew... 
are you joining? As she like puts a hand on the table and looks you directly in the eyes. Um, the New Dawn Pirates. <laughs> As she like just bite her lip a, a bit and then jump over the counter, like jump on the counter and just like jump off. <sighs> I knew this day could come. That's why I have this prepared. As she just like reaches into her pocket and pulls out like a note. Okay, th Sira, this is my resignation. Please give this to Captain Ivy, and it was nice getting to know you, but I can no longer be a member of this crew. Not under these conditions. I was guaranteed I'd be the last one, and I don't know if I can take that. Oh, but by the way, uh, she'll reach into her other pocket. Uh, it gives this to her afterwards. After. This is my, um... This is my attempt to join. So make sure you give the resignation first and then, uh, well, this one, you know, and then hopefully uh, Ivy will accept and I can be welcomed as the newest member of the group. I'm not doing that. <laughs> as Percy will sit down. <sighs> no fun, are you? What, Not what, right what, now. What, what's wrong? What, what's tell tell your senior Percy what's driving you to drink? Well, I guess you are technically the bartender, right? Uh, for now. Okay. Well, you know, uh, I didn't do my best out there. Whoa, hold on! You already took a sip, so are you gonna pay for that? That is the highest shelf stuff, by the way. <laughs> Zero just like glare at her. Well, I thought maybe being part of the crew had its perks. It does. Is free drinks? It's just not one of them. Then what's the point? <laughs> Listen, it's about acquiring the wealth to get to get drink. I mean, I, we used to have this guy around here, Ron. I mean, he's still around here, but we used to I, have him. I've read the book. And, well, he could never afford his drinks. I mean, gosh, back then, uh, from what I've heard, well, not good with money. And uh, he's kind of banned from using it. But you look smart, so you know how to like pay your debts and all that. Yeah, just set me up a tab. I'll pay it one day. Mm hmm. Well, I'll hold you to that now, but remember, we do have very, very competent debt collectors. And I don't just mean Leona, I mean actual competent debt collectors. Let me guess. It's one of the animals, isn't it? No, 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 no. What? <laughs> yeah, they might like go along for like comedy factor, but. Could you imagine one of them actually being able to shake you down for money? Isn't... I mean... You've met Leona, yes? That's her whole thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but like, the goal is to actually get the money. Ah, yes, I offered her some critique on that. Yeah, you don't really look at the type of person I think would end up paying up. No, I just framed him from stealing and she beat the crap out of him. Ooh. Yeah, that is pretty easy to do. Be careful, though. Uh, she is incredibly strong. Yeah, she bit through a gold coin. Uh, Seriously, bite, who does that? She could bite through a lot more than that. Right. Girl, I imagine. My girl is quite skilled at using her mouth. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll take a drink. I... Can I have three bottles real quick of alcohol? As Percy will just jump over and just take out more bottles of wine. Sure. No, I need something besides wine. Wow. Like beer. Gotta be more specific. As she puts some beer bottles. Thank and you. grabs one of the wines. <sighs> Man. Be, car uh... be careful, Savant. Your tab's growing. 
Yeah, yeah, I have enough money to pay for everything. How much money do you have exactly? Roughly. Uh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. It's, it's growing by the day. You uh, don't know? Oh well, yeah. I mean, I do run a successful business. We make quite the profit. If I had to say, I don't know, make like... Somewhere in the range of like 30 billion berry a year. But it's growing by the year. And all you had to do was write a few lousy articles? Hey, there's a lot of work that goes into those lousy articles. Mm, I'll say you earned the Andy's Lobby one. That was a mistake, but it's still dangerous. I also control many prominent businesses in more small sectors of the world. And the GLP <gasps> is far-reaching and has many tendrils in society. I would rephrase that in a different way. We do good work. Mm. Which, you know, it's led to so much happiness, obviously. Oh, I fun the fucking Revolutionary Army. I'm invincible. Yeah, 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 yes you are, Homer. Now continue oh. to drink, we'll make you feel better. And remember, happiness lies at the end of that bottle. So just continue to drink. I suppose you know him better than I do. Oh, I practically raised him. He found me after I died. And it mm -hmm. really... So does it, like, hurt to do that? Not anymore. It, oh. it was very uncomfortable at first, mostly, like, as I had to watch my corpse hit the ground. But now it's kind of fun. Oh, I wouldn't say it's fun, there... right? There is an incredible delight of catching Carrie running through the fairy holes and giving her a fright. Oh, she'll scream enough to pass Nile out no matter where she is. So it's like I... two birds with one stone. That is... I... Yeah. I guess that's a bit cruel, but... <laughs> I guess if it's fun, right? The best games have a sense of cruelty to them. I mean, honestly, really, I agree. Is it really a good joke if it's not at someone's expense? I mean, not really, right? Exactly. Yeah. I, mean, I gotta agree with you on that, I think. Hmm. So, anyway. what, do you, what do you need these beers for? Oh, that's easy. She'll just, like, open them all and then reach in the zipper and pull, like, three rags and just start stuffing them down there. Ah, uh, you know, just gotta make sure I have stuff for later. As first he kind of looks in. Well, that's pretty nifty. Uh, can you just put anything in there? Oh, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't put anything living in there for a while. What's the worst that can happen? What, they die? I mean, there's not a lot of air. Ooh, that's a painful way to go. Yeah, not the best... So, hmm. yeah, I'm just gonna, she'll just, like, s just grab both, of, like, all three of the balls and, like, slide them across the bar into the hole. Those are for later. Ah, uh, uh, pretty good. You'll be able to stock up on uh, enough alcohol around here, or, you know, get you off whenever you need to. Oh, yeah, I probably should put some actual alcohol in there. Those were, you know, <laughs> she'll, like, motion to, like, having a lighter. Ah, for, for fun activities. Oh, also, yeah. if you haven't checked, you should go talk to Nephne. She can build you the most fun, well, uh, tools for the trade. She is a master at making explosives. Hmm, yeah, I guess and, we'll have to. And really anything else you can think of. Yeah, it seems like you guys have two, uh, whizzes on that, right? She can make anything, and big guy can too, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, maybe the more mechanical aspects are need some more help on Forest's end. But, like, just raw creativity, I mean, he did basically put the space together. Hey, they, everyone pitched in. I was lifting things for weeks while he was out sailing. Yeah, there you were, Homer. It's a very good boy. You did great. 
But yeah, they that. can basically put together whatever you need. They're super handy. Hmm. Guess I'll have to go see them. After I'm done drinking, I... I still kind of pissed off. So I think I'll just stay here for a while. Ah, oh, well, this is a great, this is a greater place than most to, uh, drown your worries. And if you'll excuse me, Sira, I must go hand in my resignation. Myself. I'll do it. I'll do it. Ah, oh, great. And she After. Just, she wait a second. As but I mean. Stop, like, on the counter. I mean, I gotta have some, like, incentive, right? Like, we're not even really friends. Like, we just met, so there's... That's not there, right? Consider your drinks free for tonight. There it is. Yeah, sure, I'll go hand it in. Why not? Ah, great. Oh. Might as well, uh, get your rocks off on all these drinks before doing that. Not like Ivy's not... Not like Ivy doesn't understand, uh... Drinking yourself into a stupor. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, stop before I get like him. Oh. Uh, Alright, if you see him back, tell him he's an asshole, okay? But not, like, not for me. He can get pretty scary. I mean kind of unfair if I made Percy do something for me and you didn't have to, right? You're asking a favor of me. Yeah, yeah, here's your fucking money. As he, like, hands you, like, a bag of coins. Man, uh... Sarah, <laughs> sort of, like, almost looked distressed like, looking up for Percy, like, I... Listen, what, a small sum of money to tell you like, to get someone... Oh god, fuck, I should restart that one. Small sum of money to... Yeah, you tell someone to fuck off, that's no problem. Now, Homer, what did I tell you about irresponsible spending? That is something I should... Indulge in at my pleasure. Exactly. Hey. Oh, don't worry about it, Sierra. He can handle himself. He, he appears to be incompetent, but... He turned a, uh, multi... Billion berry enterprise into like a ten times as big multi multi billion berry enterprise. So he is very competent when he chooses to be, which is surprisingly even when drunk, because he has a lot of experience with that. Isn't that right, Homer? Yep, I've basically been drunk for years. Hmm. Not really, though. I'm not. I'd be dead. Okay, but I mean, you're already rich, so it doesn't really count, right? What do you mean? Oh, you know, it's, uh... Ah, I'm just messing with you, Homer. Just, like, rib him a bit. Ah, uh, don't Listen, think about it. Turn it 5 billion to 30 billion in the span of, like, what, 7 years? I mean, it's no easy feat, Missy. No, I'm sure not. Crack all through this shit job at me when I was 18. I've had to make the best. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm sure it was real tough. Not as much as some other fucking people get. I mean, Jesus, I still had, like, billions of buried to Mm-hmm. <sighs> some other people around here have way bigger problems than that. I mean, Jesus Christ, well, he's a goddamn monster. Don't, don't tell her I said that. I mean monster in, like, the most kind way possible. I mean, it might slip out. Yeah. Well, don't worry, she's actually very forgiving, so I don't think she'll do anything bad to you. She's a big softy. Oh, yeah. Please. It, it, just throw a compliment her way and she'll fold. Don't, don't, you don't have to worry about that. I feel as if that's a way to deal with many people. Oh, yeah. I mean, most people like having their ego stroked. Good, good way to lower their guard and, you know, let your, get yourself in there. Yeah, that's a good piece of advice. 
Uh, you know what? I... I'll go hand in your resignation, Percy. Just... Maybe, you know... Cut him off at 20. Don't worry. I've had a lifetime of experience uh, giving Homer alcohol up until the point that it becomes dangerous. Okay. Yeah, she is. It's not on there. Right, himself another drink. Does he get up? Sure, leave. What the fuck is wrong with Homer, bros? As you can walk out, you see uh, the same girl standing there by the door. You gonna say something this time, or? As she will once again fade away as an image. So I'll just like look around. Like... <sighs> okay. Just walk to go find Ivy. Okay. As you're leaving, as you're walking down one of the hallways, please give me a spot check. Oh, no. Okay. You will be able to spot uh, the same young girl walking, like, directly at you. Um, but you'll also be able to notice that there is, as she's walking at you trying to get your attention, another one, another one of her tried to basically pick your pocket as she thinks she's distracting you, but you'll be able to catch her as she's doing it. Okay, uh, Sierra will turn around and, like, uh, basically have her finger at her throat. Uh, she'll freeze, and the other image will walk up to you and then disappear. That's uh, not very nice. <laughs> Sorry? Have you been scouting me out this long. She's gonna, like, look side to side? No? Then what was with those things at the door? I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's... real funny. I... Would... I don't know who you're with. So I can't exactly go and hurt you right now, right? Uh, I am a member of the Freedom Pirates, currently being held hostage by Leoli. Oh, so I can hurt you. Why would you say that? Wait, that lets you know you're gonna hurt me? Ah, uh, wait, I just assumed you weren't like an important part of it. I'm very important. Lee would be very angry if you hurt me. I don't oh. think it's worth the trouble. Is that so? You're really scary. she break you like a twig. Right, right. Are you telling the truth? Yes. Of course. Do I look like someone that would lie to you? Hmm. Well, if that's the truth. Right. You don't mind me taking you to see her. Should I look a little, little bit more worriedly side to side? Sure, uh, lead the way. Oh. Oh, that'll be just fine. I'll do most of that for you. Uh, Sierra will get closer to her and then. Uh, zip her head off and just carry it with her to find Lee. As She's fine. As you can take Cassie's head, her body will just stand there motionless as she's trying to come to grips with what's going on. Um, what the mm -hmm. fuck? Yeah, you okay? No. What? What the fuck, lady? 
Oh I'm my gonna God. go see Lee. Is this reversible? Okay, <sighs> listen, he's gonna yell at me. Yeah, maybe she'll yell at me too. Why the why the fuck would you want to go see her? Uh, well, I mean, she's not exactly graceful, right? <laughs> we no. both can agree with that. Of course but, not. Look at her. I know. It's. Uh, wait a second. Look. It'll be funny. You tried to pick my pocket. What did you expect me to do, huh? Um, I expected you to not catch me. Oh, you're stupid. I am not stupid. Mmm, wow. I'm just, I'm just surprised that more people around here are much more competent than I'm used to. Listen, I haven't been in the New World long, and there are some fucking scary people here. I mean, I don't even know where my friends are anymore. Just because... Okay, I mean, continue. Well, I ran into Lee, uh, trying mm -hmm. to steal her gourd when we are in the Red Light City, and Ooh. I ended up storing away on their ship, mostly because they took off when I was trying to steal things from it. And now I don't know where Natasha is. That is some... That's pretty amateur, right? She didn't kill me because my captain is, I think, like her son or something. Some not, like, directly, mostly because, like, there's no... Her son? There. No, f no, 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 no. See, I was weirded out it, too. But it's like, they, they really helped him out and, like, adopted or something. Like, her and Ivy. So, something like there, there's a really strong bond there. He really likes her. He's a great guy, by the way. Uh, and he really strong. He'd be super mad if you didn't put my head back on my body. I think you're feeding me bullshit, frankly. I mean, you've lied to me basically this whole time, right? N name, name three things I've lied about. <laughs> oh, I need to name three things, not just one. Because <laughs> one time when I catch you lying. That means you're a liar forever. Uh, that's bullshit. You made that up. I didn't make that up. That's just how it is. Now... Oh, God, where is she? As, uh, since you are back now, I guess you can catch Lee walking around. Is he specifically looking for her? Oh, I see. Uh, so, Sarah is currently carrying Cassidy's head. <laughs> <laughs> he took it off with clippers. Good. Lee's uh, uh, walking around. She's uh, just like out of the sauna. She's just got like her robe, her robe top on and stuff, and is relaxed. And she looks over, <laughs> and she opens her eyes at the sound of foot. Well, no, she wouldn't hear Sira, so I guess she'd hear them talking or like Cassie go and help or something. Okay, you'll hear Sira just see Lee from afar and just say, That's "Not a great look." As Cassie saw Lee, she'd instantly go stock still to appear like she's just an image that will fade away. Cassidy, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, you look over down the hall and spy them. And see, it's just a head. They're just holding her. Look fucking horrified for a second. Run over and get weirded out as she gets closer and slow down to a walk. Uh, so yeah, I got a bit carried away. What? Lee looks at her, and like, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know the images lasted like this. Sorry, I'll get rid of it. As Lee smacks her head. Oh. As, he, as you smack her, she'll just yelp. Ow, ow, ow. Cassidy! Wait, Cassidy! Yeah, Ooh. look over at Sarah. What's it look like? She she attacked me! No, she tried to pick me, or pickpocket me. What Who are you gonna fuck? trust? Lee's like looking under her head, is that? That works? Guess he's trying to give you puppy dog Yeah, guard. it works. Sierra says that she, here, heads up. And she'll throw it, like, throw it up. To the, you have to reach Lee. up to catch it. Lee will oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And grab Cassidy's head. And then slowly land. I don't like this. 
And as she starts to like make like the vomiting like mouth movement. Cassidy, I don't know if it's oh, gonna yeah. work. Oh yeah, wait, Lee, Lee, Lee. She probably will vomit. What? Yeah, I I've pretty much trained myself not to do it, but like Lee. anybody else, yeah, that's. Well, he's like pointed the head towards the wall now. I guess they, you gotta tell me if you're gonna vomit. Oh yeah. Should like, <laughs> should like nod her head and just like gulp? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Please Here's... don't <laughs> fucking throw me. Cyril, take her head off and like hold it up. And be like, see, it works. It's fine. I can huh. put it back on. Okay. That's got. That's disgusting. That's so. It's cool. not disgusting. It's fine. It's really cool. I mean, I know some tricks, but later. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry about this. Cassidy is really bad at marks. The fuck you're blaming me? Incredibly so. I well, told you she attacked me! Cassidy, you tried she to just steal keeps from lying. I thought she was a thief breaking in here and I want to rob her her whatever she took. I mean... I mean, look, look at her. That's... I mean... That is wow. completely correct. Is... That's... And why would I tell you that? Actually, the second worst thing I think someone said to me. Why would I tell you? Why would I ever? I would never tell you that, thief. Which is why I didn't lie to you before. Well, I assume you've been caught up to date that Sarah's on her crew. No. What did you not tell her? So he looks at Sarah. Ah, that might have slipped my mind. Look, I caught a young woman picking my pocket. I lost my temper. She's lucky I didn't stab. My finger into her neck, but she said you're, you know, for hostage or whatever, so I guess I had to do this. Cassie, you're not uh, our I said friend. I said friend, I'm your friend. Cassie, you're not our hostage. Wait a second. So you lied about that part? Huh? What? Cassie, why would you say we're hot? You're our hostage. Hostage, friend. It's a dialect thing. I'm from the North Blue. No, it's not I a wouldn't. dialect thing. What the fuck does that even mean? We we have different terminology there. Words mean different things to different people. No. How am I supposed to know? You know just what you know exactly what you fucking said, Cassidy. Cassidy, I, I was know. feeling really bad for you for like a solid thirty seconds there, and then you ruined it. See, this is what happens when you lie to everyone. You get caught. It all comes crumbling down, Cassidy. Not all the time. I mean, keep them consistent, right? Like, you told me, like, four okay. different uh, things. Uh, okay, Missy. How am I supposed to keep it consistent? I'm not exactly in the most stable place of mind when I don't have a fucking body. <laughs> you have a body. You can feel your body and you can move it. Stop. Where uh, is Cassidy's oh. body? Oh. Yeah, we probably should go find that. I mean, <sighs> kind of watered far. Yeah, I tried to run to find a bathroom on inst. Oh my god. Lee's gonna start pacing Why? quickly. Which way? As she's trying to walk down yeah, the hallway. Yeah, it's kind of hard to know which way when I don't Not have Not fucking... you, her! <laughs> um. Yeah, let's go back to where we, uh, met. Lead the way, please. In front of the bar, I'm sure nothing's happened. Oh, Cassidy. fuck! God damn it. See, oh, yeah, Cassidy... show... don't move yeah, anymore. Stop moving! We're going to try and find you! Don't move farther! Yeah, I can't. Can't move. Why? No, wait, why? I don't know. It feels heavy. Oh, God. Oh, oh my fucking God. He's like, yes, he's gonna. He's gonna. Grab Sarah and say, just shout the correct way and turn to her Vajra form and starts moving at high speeds. As she picks up Sarah and say, point the right way. Okay, let's go that way. Let's start running. <laughs> Try and find Cassidy's body. As you will run, uh, you will find uh, not that far away from where she was, uh, Cassidy's body. There's a rascal oh, bear my. dancing on top of her. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you really can't breathe. It's just a little 
As it's just trying to stop as hard as it's oh, it can. <laughs> it's oh god. Oh god. Please go. Oh around. god, it's trying to kill her. Please <laughs> going to fucking jump midair as she's running and just drop kick the rascal bear off of her. It, it's gonna jump and give you like a tongue face as it pirouettes and lands over here. What the fuck? <laughs> he skids to uh, a stop, ow. letting Sierra down and pointing Cassie's head away in case she vomits from the jump. <laughs> uh, as I kill that thing? As it'll start dancing up and down. Like, he's gonna eye it warily as she goes. It will, narrow, it will narrow its eyes at you like it's found its target. Sierra, put her head back on. Please. I need, to, I need to go to the bathroom. All right, all right, fine. Here, there, there. He squares up with him. Hmm. Cassie will disappear, disappear into an image. What is wrong with her? Uh, I, I don't think she was raised very well. She's pretty young. Uh, give her some slack, but now nah, she kind of gets into her own trouble. Uh you, you, you really, you came at a bad time, buddy, he says to the, the rascal bear. The, the rascal bear will move his hands in front of his face, attempting to disappear into an image. Yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> He's gonna run forward and try and grab him by one of his little stubby legs. He'll jump, but he'll grab him by the leg and just hold him upside down. Yeah. As he sticks out his tongue at you. Oh god, you have no survival instincts, do you? <laughs> Well, as finish it off. As he'll punch you in the face very delicately. It won't do anything. It'll just be a little tap from a teddy bear. <sighs> I know. As it will give you puppy dog eyes and look at you. To be fair, the last rascal that broke into this place got added to the cruise here. I think you guys are kind of the same. Wow. I kind of find that offensive. That's fair. But you did behead Cassidy. <laughs> She's fine. It doesn't it doesn't kill people. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, that was funny. I don't care what you say. You and Percy are gonna get along too well. All right. Well. All right. Well. Oh shit. Right. I gotta go find Ivy. What for? Um, Percy's quitting the crew. What? Oh my fucking god. This isn't about what I think it is, is it? I can't say I signed um, a non-disclosure agreement. <sighs> Sorry, what do you find? Oh my god, you fucking found it. This is Ivy's problem. Oh, Ivy, you have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> what? What do yeah. you mean? Were you I've looking for him? What? I've been finding these things all over the place. Which is why we should... And them. I think they stole one of my pots. Oh, stealing things, huh? Well, acquisitions expert, how did these things slip through? I... we don't have locks? I... I'm sorry? I, I, I can't... I a lock. They picked it. Oh. Huh. <laughs> so you look a little bit impressed, really? Yeah, these things are pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, with those hands? Really, buddy? You know, look at Sierra and Link. All right, well, you know, I did learn this from Carrie, eye. is that it's important, and I can see the resemblance pretty well, so... All right, Sierra 2, here you go. She'll put oh, it down. don't name it, please. Too late. If I feel like I... Oh, damn it. Yeah, Carrie it said it had to be a snake, but I think that's a Tauntauna tradition. Yeah. Oh, jump down and get on his hands and knees to prostrate himself. Atta boy! She pets him on the head. Their, their fur is incredibly soft. Oh man, these things are great! Oh. Oh, oh! Wait a second, are we forgetting the fact that he was trying to kill someone? <sighs> Lee sighs and looks over. Like I said, Cassidy basically asked for all of this. Uh, Steve right here is gonna, uh... Shake her head back and forth like no, and then shrug. You feel bad, don't you, Sir Two? It's gonna uh, violently shake, shake her head. Yes. Ah, see, she got it. Did he gain survival instincts in the last thirty seconds? Oh yeah, I mean, when you domesticate animals, they like start to adapt. 
when Lee look, looks back to Sierra, and Sierra 2 is going to, like, grab Lee's leg to uh, hug it and then uh, stick out his tongue at Sierra. I could kill you, and no one would ever find you. You know that, right? Well, look Sierra, at come on, it's already scared. It looks at Lee like it's terrified, but then okay, if buddy. she ever looks away, it looks at Sierra like it's... It's a masterful tactician. Yeah, Lee's like picked it up and is hugging it to her chest now. It's okay. And then looks over at Ivy. Yeah, but Ivy, and you can do the fucking, she can do the look over. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Ivy, uh, Percy's trying to quit the crew. Yeah, oh I, I oh was, God. I was hired to give you these. Yeah, okay. Which one's, which one's the resignation and which one's the admittance? Um, oh my God, her handwriting is awful. Um, here... Oh, no, it, it can be better than that. She's trying to make it look bad. She wants to be, like, fired. Oh, yeah, D don't let her take advantage of you. She's incredibly intelligent. She knows what she's doing at all times. Oh, the I kind of got she that. She's... She gave me free drinks the rest of the day, so, you know. What do you mean? F They're always free. We don't I pay knew it. Drink. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. <sighs> what? She gave you a oh, well. How there's no price on them, so they're really expensive. You didn't yeah, drink okay. the top shelf stuff, did you? Not not. I that shit's drink. all expired. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. Yeah, swing by the medical office if that gets bad later. I'll be fine. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll handle these. I will mm -hmm. give. Is she... She will become so annoying if I don't just give her the position of blast on the crew, and <sighs> I don't think you're pining for that anyway. So I'll indulge her. Are you sure? The more we play into this, the more funny she's going to think this joke is. I, I, I really just don't want to deal with it. I, I think I have enough problems right now. Yeah, that's fair. She can... I'll let her find more interesting ways to have her fun. I'm not yeah. gonna give her, like, an easy one. You want me to turn in the re- You want me to turn in the application sheet for her? I mean, I, I, I can- I can bring it back to her. I, you, you already had to go through this process once. I can do it this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You- you do that. Um, don't tell this to Carrie, because I think this is gonna throw the whole job thing, like, out of whack. Because I know- I know Percy's, like, part of some special- like, oh my god. The, yeah. So, so if she knows that she left the crew, it's going to be really complicated. That's an integrity breach. I don't want to go through the paperwork. I think it's better that we just we just don't tell Carrie, though. That's probably for the best. Yeah, you, you can give it to her. Okay. As Sierra 2 will look at Lee and try to give you a, a really nice hug as you're oh. holding, holding her. And then. Try to gently motion that he wants that she wants to be let down so she can go off to do good in the world. Okay, you you got it. She'll let and, her down, and she'll bow to you uh, before scampering off. We'll start patting her pockets. Why do we? Uh, have you have, you have other things on you. They're not uh, that stupid. Lee sighs and goes, "Hi, I." I now I feel bad for checking. I knew there was a good in her. We don't even know if that thing's a girl. <laughs> Sierra says that she <laughs> starts to walk away. Ah. Uh, they'll get along soon. Okay. Sierra, why don't I introduce you to Zarin? I think Oh my god, it. she hasn't met Zarin yet? Yeah. Okay, just give me the uh, papers. I'll go do it. You go, yeah. you go uh, make the rest uh, of the rounds. I don't want you to find whoever else you haven't met. I, I think, what, like Zarin and Rex, maybe? Where yeah. has uh, Rex been, anyway? Uh, last I saw him, he was playing with Gushers. Makes sense. So... Definitely probably should introduce him to some point. Rex... Yeah, you two may never bump into each other. I don't think your schedules ever line up. Yeah, he's a lot more, you know, like, uh, official. I don't even think he... He doesn't go by the games room, except on, like, Fridays when it's relaxation time. Yeah, board game night and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah he loves sorry, Monopoly. He, he, he's a yeah, shark. He's really... <laughs> that's a good one. Thanks, honey. Oh, I'll see you later. 
<laughs> Rex is the prince of the Laguna Kingdom, she'll say as you're walking off. A prince? Yeah. Many of these fucking okay. people Okay. As uh, Lee, as you're getting by the bar, you'll see uh, Nyla currently just standing next to like the room, like it clo with her eyes closed, with like cupping one ear, like not to the not to the um, not to the wall, just like to the air. Ah, <laughs> yeah. We will uh, <laughs> clear her throat a bit and go, "Hey, shh, shh, shh. shall I shush you? Oh, come over here." Lee's like I'm so I confused, like. What do you need me to shush about? <laughs> Trying to listen to something very closely, and it's on the other side of the island. Okay. What is it? Now Lobo will start relaying this to you. Okay. So, do play a scene. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Remember, the speedrun, do not interact with Nyla on the way to the bar room. It will trigger an unskippable cutscene. <laughs> Many runs have died to this. You have to hit the A button to hit the door, and sometimes people misclick. One moment while I get my notes together. Sure. Um... Can I write this down? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, well, Lee and I will try and relate to you what she's hearing. Alright. Which is... Not the right time. Okay. Uh, still not the right time. Okay. Uh... Third time's the charm. Oh, tried and true. There you go. Uh, I don't know why I, you tried to go out of your comfort zone. I only have so good memories of this. Not only is it from one of my favorite games, it's also from one of the one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, of course. As Beck will be sitting in a tree looking out at the ocean. So we got some time, don't we? I mean... Come on! Is it like he's kind of talking to himself? Ah, come on! It's all gonna work out. Why am I- why are you the one worrying too much? Yeah, yeah, I know, I should talk to him more. Listen, I'd rather not get him involved in this anymore. Sounds like he got a good thing going with Lee's sister. I'd rather not speak to him on this and let him live his happy life as the perfect Marine. If everything goes alright, well, you won't have you won't have nothing to worry about. Oh. Uh, I. I hope he knows what he's doing. If I fuck up... Well... I just hope he's not getting too close to her without really considering the repercussions of it. Not that he knows what I'm doing either. Him and Bastion must have some plan in mind. I don't think I can rely on them for this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Listen, I got it fully under control, alright? Just follow my lead and this will all work. As Beck will kind of like, uh, continue to look off at the ocean, but that will be the brunt of the important parts of that. Got it. As Anil will relay that to you. not one thing it's the other what the hell is he talking about i don't know it seems like he was talking to creed yeah <sighs> he narrows her eyes i want to know what he means about his brother 
Well, I guess he means about both of them, then. He also mentioned Jackie in there. Yeah. And Bastion. So it seems to be a much more complicated situation. But he does that. But it involves does. both of them, either way. I'm not too sure. I am worried about what he means by getting too close to her without consideration. Yeah. Well, he stands there, thinking. Sounds a little morbid. It's not like huh. he's gonna answer if I ask him about it, though. Oh yes, don't worry, I've been keeping an ear open for anything he does. Mostly, it's just staying by the medical room. But after Ryzen was fully up and able, that's less frequent. But I've been keeping an ear open to see if he ever slips up like you just did. I leaned over a bit and put her arm on Nihilus. Oh, her hand on Nihilus. Thank you so much for always being like this, Nihilus. God, you're <laughs> always so reliable. Mm -hmm. I also do agree with Ivy. I think it's... It's almost uncanny how similar, how many similarities there are in the situation with Ira and Zarin. Yeah, enough to make me sick. The connection with Percy also worries me. Maybe that's just the devil fruit. I mean, yeah, uh, I- Her being afraid is, no one should be afraid of Percy. I- I mean, Ira talks really funny about a lot of things, but, I mean, when I thought about it, I was trying to get her to do it because I thought it'd be good for both of them, but the way she said it, I mean, I don't know if Ira knew much about Percy already, but it sounded like she was already afraid of her. She might not have even known what her devil fruit was, and then that definitely wouldn't explain it. Either way, she seems to never want to disobey you or Ivy, so at least we'll see some progression on that front. And I'll make sure that Percy is very clear about, well, however Iris acting. Yeah. We both know she's keen enough to pick up on anything. Yeah. If... And as much as I hate to admit it, she can pick her battles, so... I guess I can safely say she probably won't do anything too uh, mean to Ira. Eh. Oh. She's got a lot of better targets, after all. I don't think they're... She knows when to take things seriously. I don't think yeah, there's any... Yeah, yeah, I memorable. know. I know. Uh, it's easy to forget sometimes, though. <laughs> well, I... We'll make sure to keep you in the know, and I have more interesting things I've heard that I should probably go follow up on. Yeah. Thanks, Nihil. Oh, it's no problem. Seems like every day I'm walking around to no end, uh, trying to solve the troubles of this place. Hmm. Well, let uh, me in on helping with some of those whenever you need of it, okay? Oh, sure, but from the sounds of it, you have more than your own fair share. Hey, we both can't stop ourselves. Just, I hope the operation goes. Me too. Thanks. Lee takes a deep breath and she's like, ah, another thing to the list. And then she looks back at the, <laughs> the, the interview form for <laughs> Percy. Back to this. Get him. Uh, you get him, Bunshin. Hmm. Yeah, so that was accepted, right? What the fuck? And Lee looks up. She's like coming out of the wall. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Why oh, don't man. I uh, actually bring this to your body? She was like, take it in her hand. That's fine. Sure. What? Whatever. No, no. No, it's fine. What? You're busy. I understand. You don't want to see what's going on inside. It's messy. 
Oh, that's what's going on. He's going to move to go into the door immediately. She's trying to keep me out. No, 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 no. She, she jumps back up. She jumps over the bar, like, rushing back to her body. No, 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 no. Running no, no. over. Uh, is he okay? <laughs> bar is collapsed on a couch. Oh, okay, she was um, oh my god. <laughs> with, with Foxy sitting on his face. It's fine. He's going to take... The fox off, pick him up by like the scruff, and go. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Does he have a name That's yet? Is it she? And she is my pet Foxy. Oh, nice to meet you, Foxy. Sorry about that. But... He's falling down the table. He will check that Homer's breathing still. Come on! Oh my God! We had to this up. There it is. <sighs> oh, it's like rubbing alcohol. These pictures are great. They're so funny. Pictures. Look, this one's like a mustache. Oh. Yeah. Percy, how drunk he's is he? Oh, he's out. Oh, yeah. I he's like covering her face because she leaned down to see, make sure he's still breathing and caught a whiff. That is... Ah. Listen, don't worry yourself. I'll take care of him. Percy, that's very worrying to hear. Your definition of taking care of people is not good in either scenario. Lee, Lee, Lee. It's far too late for you to do anything about this. I could pump so his stomach. Worry. I've done it before. Well, no, not that. I mean, I, I can do that. I mean, like, <sighs> That's this, the, the context of the situation in me dealing with Homer in this fashion. Y you are much too late to ever influence this in any significant way that is not to my liking. So, please, don't worry yourself. Just... Go on looking cute and dealing with other problems. You, you really scare me sometimes, Percy. Ah, uh, thanks. It's not a compliment. It is to me. That's makes it worse. I, I I'm gonna take him to the medical room. Listen, listen. No, listen. Percy. <laughs> Foxy, here's what I was... Uh, I, as I was telling you, she is cute as a button, but she does not take no for an answer. Stop, stop. Shut, shut up. It's not gonna work. Lisa, hey. just pick it up over. You... Ah. That's adorable. Yeah, go on. Take him away. Shut up, Lisa. She's, like, dragging him away. You didn't win. <laughs> yes, I did. No, you didn't. I got him! <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay, Lee. Y y you did it. You win. Uh, y you got me! I shall like, grab her chest and then fall over dead. Lee pouts. <laughs> Yo, I don't appreciate this sometimes. <laughs> yeah, stay dead. Fine. <laughs> so she drags Homer out. <laughs> Can walk Homer out and place him in the medical Stupid room. Perfect. Nothing's wrong with him besides just. Oh, there's a lot of things wrong with him, but I know what you mean. Yeah. He doesn't seem to need a stomach pump either. We Maybe just some rice. We leave some water, some tablets, and tucks him in and pats him on the head and goes, I'm so sorry, Homer. Poor guy. See, see Pigma at his new station. The desk. Hey, Pigma. Is he working check in? Thank you. I'll sign you out. Thanks, Pigma. Pigma, you're doing great. Keep it up. I give you a nod. All right. <sighs> okay. Moving on. Mm -hmm. I would say, uh, R Richard, how, how are you feeling? I just want to know. Um, if I should feel, if, if like, you, you want me to be including you uh, ad nauseum or not. Or that often, I don't even know. The yeah, order. Was, <laughs> yeah I, I was just gonna... Listen, it's, it's getting late. I'm I knew what late. you meant, but I wasn't gonna it, be like, you said the word when it did mean that. <laughs> Who cares? It's fine. I know what his name is. Fucking, you're not clever. <laughs> I wonder how Neff and Van are talking to Peyote. I gotta, somebody's gotta stop by here at some point. 
Maybe Richard got picked up by the hurricane, though. But think about it. If you leave it as a mystery, they could have been talking about anything. I uh, know. That's the that's the thing. Oh, good. That's fine. We'll, we'll just go, go along with this. Uh, so, Sarah and Ivy are walking along, uh, talking, and you will, in fact, see Rex with a gushers that will grow slightly in size as he enters your view. And you see him try and slam himself into the glass as Rex will grab him by the tail and stop him from colliding with him. As Gusher I... will look back and try and nip at Rex's hand, and next will, Rex will just pull it away. As Gushers will start getting a running start to do it again. But then he'll look and see Ivy and then stop as he, as he doesn't want to do it in front of the captain. What a soldier. Uh, uh, hey, Sierra, this is Rex, as I was just talking about. As Rex will, uh, like bow a bit and start walking up, uh, like, uh, stand about here. Ah, uh, I take it you're Sierra Dismas, correct? Yeah, and you're like a prince, right? Ah, uh, please do not feel any formalities. I'm m but a normal pirate here. Uh, I am Rex Delta, the, um, member of the crew. I do not, I think, what is my official title again? I, Knight, you are the Knight, Rex. I do not believe a pirate crew requires that. Ours does. Alright, I am the Knight of the Fishman Pirates. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Miss Sierra Dismas. New Dawn Pirates, not Fishman Pirates, Rex. I wasn't New gonna Dawn. call him on, he's an asshole for that. Anyway. Of course he is. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be a bee. Yeah, maybe forever. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, Cyril will be like, uh, yeah, I just, just kind of like look him up and down. He's kind of weirded out by how, like how stiff he is. Like, it, he's yeah. like fairly stiff, but he also seems to be like relaxed enough, or he's like. He doesn't look like he's about to explode or anything. He just looks to be very proper. Right. Uh, yeah, should we like shake hands or something? Oh, if you prefer. I know some people might detest physical contact with the fishman. Though, ah, nah. It's not that gross, right? No, of course not. And, but there are prejudices. Uh, so just reach out uh, and shake your hand. <laughs> Zero shake his hand. Like, ah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's a little bit weird. Hmm. Ah, uh, I apologize then. Hmm. Eh. You know. I mean... I don't think it's that big of a deal. And, well, I thank you for that. And please know that you can rely on me for anything you need here. Um, whether it be assistance in some regard, or if we're in a combat scenario, I'll be sure to guard you as best I can. Uh, Rex is really big about protecting other people. Oh. Well then, I think you're just the guy. Be, uh, at my back. Well, I'm not, a. Uh... Well, I don't really like to Get up there in the front, you know? Oh, then you might leave that to me, then. I'll do my best to assist you as best I can and make sure no harm comes to you. And you can, well, do whatever you wish in combat with little regard to the enemy. Hmm. Oh, uh... Okay. You're serious, huh? <laughs> of course, a knight would never give... Such a promise, uh, lightly. Hmm. When I offer- when a knight offers his full protection, that is something he'd stake his life on. So, you can count on me to always have your back when it comes to any situation. Being a part of the crew means you are a part of the family, in a way. And I would do anything to protect the ones of my family. 
Oh, so it looked kind of uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, Rex, come on, you gotta lighten up. Getting a little poetic about it, but yeah, I get what you mean. Apologies, I've been reading many of the books in the library ever since I became more relaxed. Ah, uh, Rex, you're really into the... You still reading all that poetry? I find it interesting to find the hidden meanings in the words. Especially the Kodai poetry that we picked up. I quite enjoy it. It's them talking about mundane things like flowers and streams. They seem to have some hidden meaning to them. And I wish to find that meaning. Well, I hope you... I wish you the best of luck there. I think Lee is... I mean, she knows some about poetry. I know her, um... I know her master uh, taught her a good bit about that. But I don't know how much she took to it. Hmm. Maybe I will ask her to... Gap with me on the uh, merits of different... Slam poets. I believe I'm saying that right. Oh, you're doing great, doing great. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're like a knight, a prince, scholar, like the whole package, right? I believe I'd have a long way to go to consider myself a scholar. So I will have to do it knight and prince. Though, sadly, I didn't do anything to earn the title prince. I mean, who has? Hmm. I think, well, our friend Clive, I think, kind of earned that title. I mean, he's, like, really good at it, but he's the king now. Right. Uh, let me think. That was an earlier chapter in here. Oh, yeah, probably one of the first ones. We, we met him before we even hit the Grand Line. Oh, yeah, that was the weird one where you got kidnapped. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that was... That was fun. That's a, that's a good memory. Fun. Like, in retrospect, yeah, like... Oh. It was pretty scary at the time. But thinking back on it, oh, it, it was funny. I oh. mean, it, if you've seen June around here, you think it's hilarious to imagine, like, him actually hurting anyone. Cyril, like... like so for a second and look directly quick and then look back at the eye and be like oh, uh, that creeps here yes listen yesterday's enemies are today's friends can I get a I, I know but captain um, can I get like a list of people I'm allowed to hurt or steal from or just generally be a nuisance hmm well, being a nuisance, I don't... I think that's up to individual discretion. You can just pick your battles there. Uh, steal from... Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess just kind of go for it and uh, watch your back. Because, I mean, people will defend their property. And, like, a, 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 good, a good amount of stuff just belongs through. So I don't see much worth in taking that. Oh, I wouldn't steal from you guys. You know, now that I'm part of you guys, right? I that was still, a one-time thing. I still do not have many worldly possessions yet, so I do not think you'll find much merit in stealing from me. I, I would not think of stealing from you, Rex. You're too... Um, nice, you know? In Fishman Island, we chopped the hands off anyone caught stealing. Oh. Yeah. That's, uh... I hate to have to hold you down and decapitate your hands and seem like they might be useful to you. Oh, well, you know, I can take care of that myself. <laughs> He'll take one of her hands off and just show it to him. Oh, I, I was only joking. That is impressive. Ah, thanks. So, you know, we'll skip that part, right? Oh, y yes, please. It was a jest. I would never harm you. Oh, God. 
Right, uh, family or whatever. Right. That was... Wow, that was really dry. Sorry, that went over my head. I kind of feel embarrassed. Uh, apologies, I've been told I need to work on it. I've been getting... Know, it, was, it was good, it's just... Uh, I've been getting copy and relaxation lessons from Carrie, but it still is a work in progress. Right. Well, uh... Maybe we need to have, like, a stand-up night or something. Uh, anyway. That's a fantastic idea. I... Uh, yeah, I think that could be pretty good. I mean, we're, we're always looking to fill, like, spots in the bars. Yeah. I'd like to see some people go up there. I want to see Leona go up. I think it'd be hilarious. I... I'm getting embarrassed. I was thinking the same thing. Uh, She'd probably uh, just freeze up. I know, it'd be... Hilarious! Oh. Like, imagine it. We're just stepping up on stage, the lights hitting her, Lee heckling her from the crowd. Oh, Lee wouldn't do that. Depends on how many drinks you get in her. She can get really belligerent. Oh. She also starts crying. Oh. Um. Okay. I'm not a big fan of sad drunks. Captain, I... I don't think it's, it's appropriate for you to tell someone of Lee's uh, foibles so easily. Ah, uh, Rex, listen, you don't know her as well as I do. She, She's an open book. She loves to share. Captain, I truly... Don't tell her anything, Rex. I... I understand. I... We'll keep my lips sealed. Yeah, Rex, listen to the captain, right? What she says goes. Right. See, you can learn a thing or two from Sierra, Rex. Captain, that is highly inappropriate. Listen, I was telling you, Sierra. Oh. A little stiff. You know, he looks nice, but he's got a mouth on him. Rex is thinking for a moment. And then he will suddenly open up his garbage can mouth. <laughs> Sierra will avert her gaze and be like, what is he doing? And then close it. I wish to frighten you for that comment. You win. I don't ever do that again, please. Good. I do it sometimes at meal times. I think I'll skip that time then. It is a large base. We might eat at different times. You also do not look like an early riser to me. So we might miss each other. I'll have you know I get up pretty early. My apologies, son. I merely had a misjudge of your character. I will correct myself. Ah, don't worry about it too much. You're a good guy underneath all that, but, you know, just... Get a little more respect for the captain. I'm not all perfect, right? Certainly not. I will take I will take your words to heart. Thank you very much, uh, Sira. No problem. Uh, Rex, is Zaren still in the navigation room? Uh, yes, he is. I believe he is still looking over some more documents uh, in regards to the nearby islands and. Uh, how they might affect our current standing in the area. Right, right. Hmm. Well then, if you'll excuse me. I have to go stop Gushers from destroying the tank and unleashing Ace onto everyone. As you can look in the tank and you see a goddamn sea monster poking through it. It's a blue eyes white dragon. I see. As it um, over. no, actually, it's Gamma Meal, the C, uh, fuck, fuck, what are they called? Shit. I do. Yeah. The C guy. That is a different Yu-Gi-Oh card. Please do not disrespect it. Gamma Meal. Guess allele? Fuck, I'm doing it now. I think it's Gam Seal. Whatever. His name's Ace. Ace. The turtle. Yeah, he's Neptune's pet turtle. Yeah. So he's I got see. a show. Yeah, he rides around on him. A little flashy, aren't we? 
As Ivy will start walking more with Sira. Right, okay, so what? It's the only one left is Saren, right? Yep, final introduction. And honestly, they've all gone pretty well up to this point. Uh, sort of. I mean, Percy handed in her resignation, but she was just, like, fucking with you. Oh, I don't really care about that. She did get one over on me, though. I guess she's really... You know, I didn't expect her to go so deep for the joke, you know? Oh. She will go to any depth for her own satisfaction. So... It's sad, as, isn't it? You know, like, a bit. But at one point, as, like, you're walking... You have to really admire the dedication. Also, she puts a lot of work into appearing like she isn't very threatening. But as I was saying, she's like almost as good as Lee is at like, like medical stuff. Like she can pick up almost anything she wants like immediately. Like she is scary smart. So she'll never see. let you. She'll never let you see it. Mostly because she doesn't want you to think that over. She likes people having their guard down. Yeah, I get that. You'll walk to the door? Okay. As Ivy will go up and knock? Yeah, come in. Ivy will just look at you to enter? Ah, fine. <laughs> She'll walk in. I have work to do. As Ivy will just walk off? <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, um... Sira, right? I think I heard something about you. Yeah, I'm... I was the last person to join. Yeah, let me guess, Percy took that title back? Yeah, it's kind of scary that you all know that so fast. Yeah, you pick up on things fast when you hang out with Persephone. She hasn't actually been on the crew that long, but... Well... She really gives you a good taste of how she acts very quickly. Yeah, I think I get that. So... Yeah. You stopping by to say hello? So I yeah. can guess to put some things down? Oh, yeah, I probably should... I don't know. Uh, Just open a zipper and like throw some maps on the ground. I stole these. I... Alright. <laughs> Let's go pick them up and, start and put them on this desk. Because I can arrange these again later. Yeah. Oh, the maps. You know, those aren't, like, the valuable ones. I keep those locked away. Yeah, well, I mean... I wasn't trying to... That didn't matter anyway. Ivy let me in the crew, basically, the minute I walked in that door, so... Yeah, that's not very surprising. Uh, yeah, don't have to worry. I don't think anyone joined, out, joined up in, in, in exactly, um showy way i mean they just beat the shit out of me back at my home island and i ended up going along with them after a complicated situation so and that was i think before really we were even really a crew not i think they only joined up with each other a few days before that so early days and all that um yes yeah, so i guess welcome to the welcome to the crew uh if you've read Ivy's logbook, you'll know you're in for a hell of a ride, because, trust me, it's only going to get m more uh, crazy from th from here on out. Yeah. And what you read about the, um, uh, time desert and giant monster flying around in the sky. Oh yeah, all of that's true, I've read through the book. Uh, none of the big things are lies. Huh. I didn't think there were lies, but maybe a little exaggeration. But... No, it's only the little things that I've exaggerates, like, you know, her effect on things. Like, yes, she didn't actually take down 200 people once on Flora. Oh. Yeah, I guess that doesn't make much sense. Yeah, back then she wasn't nearly as strong as she is now. So, that might have been a bit much. Besides, there are a lot of soldiers of Flora around there to handle most of the grunt work. <sighs> so, uh, need anything besides a basic hello? Ah, uh, well, I am kind of curious about, uh, 
where we're headed off to next. You are the guy who decides that, right? Well, At least how to get that, there. I'm the guy that gets us there, but I... Well, I leave it up to the captain to decide where we're going. But I do have my input. Um, as for next... I'm not exactly sure. Mostly because I know we're headed off to marriage. But that's not yet. We're still waiting for some more signals before we make our way there. Gotta have a lot of ducks in a row. We're gonna take down a warlord that's that entrenched. <sighs> and other than that, I know the general route of most of the items around here now after studying them. And doing my own flybys. But, I couldn't give you an exact say on where we're going. Probably not anywhere too crazy. At least not yet. <sighs> Alright, guess I'll just be bored around here for a couple more days. Or weeks, however long it takes. Trust me, you're gonna have to learn to enjoy the peaceful moments as brief as they'll know end up being. Never know when something crazy will happen. Mm. But given a look at the zoo we have around here, uh, excitement's around every corner. Yeah, I guess. But those things are kind of annoying, right? Yeah. Yeah. They... They have their own charms, depending on the animal. As uh, you'll hear a bump at the door. Yeah, speak of the devil. As he'll go and open the door, ah! as Zarin will pick up Bowser and place him down uh, on a little doggy bed that's on his desk. As Bowser will just like make uh, just spread himself out into a blob. Ah, ah. Really, you'll want to get attached to at least a couple of the things jumping around here. Yeah, I'll see about doing that. But, um, <laughs> just kind of flinched at him, barking, like, uh, I, they've already named one after me, so that's... Ah, yeah, that's a quick way to do it. Uh, no, I hate that thing. Yeah, yeah. Which, what type of animal did they name it? I don't know, it was like a bear... It acted like an asshole. Oh, fuck. One of those goddamn bears. Yeah, it tried to kill someone. Yeah, those things are a menace. They, they've been, like, roaming around just out of my eyesight for, like, days. I've been trying to pin them down, but those things are... We had one pinned down, but Lee wouldn't let me kill it. Well, I'm sure she knows what she's doing at the time. Either I way. don't know. Like you're gonna see me crying and one of those things gets missing. That uh, almost sounds like permission. Yeah, I don't think I'm in, I'm at the authority to say that, but then again, I'm not gonna be the one complaining when if it happens. Well, yeah, if you need to go anywhere, uh, I'm your guy. I can easily probably get you somewhere. Also, uh. I'm also inclined to tell you that if you ever need a bird's eye view on something, I'm I'm a zoan, an eagle to be precise, so I can get a better look at things from the sky if you ever think that's handy to you. Or I guess if you ever want to go soaring off, but maybe you want to go flying, Van would be better for that. He can let you do that without having to hold on to anything. Ah. I... I'm decent with heights, but I ooh, think I ooh, can find ooh. some... Yeah, Bowser, I'll take you flying later. Ooh. I can find some uses for that. Yeah, it's up to you. The offer's always there. Not like it really is, you know, any problem to me. So, other than, you know, the formalities like that, uh, hope you enjoy your time here on the crew. Thank you. I... Hmm. Hope you don't take this personally, but... You're much, um... Hmm. Talking to everyone has been interesting. Yours was a bit... 
I guess anticlimactic for the final one. Yeah, I... Suppose I'm not as colorful as some of the other people walking around. Uh, a lot of them have gotten very strange, especially after the two years we were apart. Uh, but hey, I've been told I have my own quirks that I'm sure you'll become aware of in time. Not that I really buy them. Oh, so you're like a closeted weirdo. Alright. Yeah, I mean, if you ask Lee and Ivy, that's what they say, but I honestly think they just like being mean to me. Oof. Those two? Maybe Lee, but Ivy... Lee... Lee not really on purpose. Unless she's like, trying to, you know, tell me something. Uh, Ivy, purely for fun. And also, maybe she's mad at But... Ivy falls a bit closer to Percy than Nyla, if you catch my drift. Hmm. I don't know if I get it fully just yet, but I think I will eventually. Ah. Oh. It'll come quick. Yeah. yeah. He'll kind of, like, move his, like, robot arm a bit. Ah, oh, man. This thing's also been bugging me. I'm gonna get a new one put in tomorrow. Oh. Like... Uh, if you don't mind, can I touch it? It looks kind of weird. Yeah, sure, go ahead. It's just metal. Alright. Uh, just, like, touch the arm, but, like, so you're getting a new one? Yeah, this one's pretty banged up, if you can see for all the cut marks and everything. Uh, Neff's building a better one for me with Lee. Uh, this one was kind of put on, uh, a couple years back. And, uh, well... The facilities and skills have really progressed since then, so Neff wanted to build me a new, better version. Hmm. Dang, I guess she really can build anything. <sighs> yeah, she'll surprise you. She can... Especially after all her training, she really can throw anything together if you give her enough time. But you might have to give her a bit of an inspiration. You know, really sell her on the idea to get her, uh brain working or but maybe bribery could work too eh, i mean you bring her like a pie or something but she really just works out the love of inventions more so than like what she can get from them so i mean i think you should you can do it without too much bribery and so though she will appreciate you just giving her a gift she has you know, like getting uh, specifically apple pies and uh, she does like things that she can use, like gems and such that might be able to be useful in uh, experiments. Okay. Oh, and, and clothes. She happens to learn to love fashion recently. I hmm, I didn't get that from her when I met her. Yeah, uh, she has a unique taste. Let's see. So I don't know. Give her something gaudy you find. She'll probably like it. Yeah, I mean, I usually keep most of the things for myself, but anything that looks too bad, I'll toss it her way. Oh yeah, it's not really important to mention, but uh. Neff and I are together, as a couple. I thought maybe it might be useful for you to know the exact relationships on the crew that you're joining. Hmm, I see. Uh, Lee and Ivy are also together. And you didn't pick that up by the sexual tension they have going on? That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Percy and Milo are together, Angelina and Forrest are... Oh, Very... I know that one. Um. Yeah. Uh, what did she say to me? Uh, did she she turned her eyes off my man. Yeah, that's not. That, honestly, it sounds like her force has told me she seems to be kind of possessive. Not a attractive trait. Uh, I cut her some slack based on how we found her. 
Trust me, this is way better than how she used to act. I'll take your word for it. Well, I guess good luck on the robot arm. Oh yeah, well I don't have to do anything hard to show up and get knocked out while they put it on. Uh, but I have faith in them. I mean, they got the first one on and it hasn't really given up yet. Yeah, I'm sure everything will turn out fine. Hmm. Oh, but trust me. Uh, you're gonna want to get ready for what's in store. Because he's like looking at you fairly seriously. We're bound to run into something crazy sooner or later. Couldn't tell you what, but we got some demons down the road that I'm sure are going to want to be prepared to tackle. So, make sure you prepare yourself for that, okay? Uh, sure. I'll be ready. I mean, you guys are the heavy lifters, really. But I'll right. keep light on my feet. Yeah, but we've had enough near-death experiences to, well... Make sure that I have to properly warn everyone that passes by. Jeez, a little grim, don't you think? Listen, it's a dangerous it's a dangerous profession. Just want to make sure that you know what you're getting yourself into. Oh. And not just yeah, I mean joining up because you want to be with a famous park or whatever. It It can be fun, but you really could lose your life if anything goes. Ah, you could lose your life doing a lot of things, right? Fair enough. So Besides, I'm going to get something out of this. Well, you don't mind, my, mind me asking, what are you looking for joining up with us? There. Mm, I really oh. feel like it's kind of, uh... Kind of, um... Embarrassing, in a way. Embarrassing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys have some reason for doing all this, but I just kind of... You know, there's a lot of treasure to be had, a lot of money. It's kind of why I'm here. It's really that simple. Uh, monetary. Right, right. Huh. Fair enough. Oh, I hope you can find enough money to make all your troubles worth it. Oh, you don't need to worry about that. As he kind of looks up a bit, like, thinking, like, yeah, I don't know if there's enough money in the world to make this worth it for someone that's not emotionally invested. But he won't say that. He'll just think it. Well... Uh, I think the introductions are done. Uh, so, don't feel like I have to hold you up any longer. It's nice, nice to say hi. Uh, get to know you a bit. If yeah. you feel like you need, you know, you need to talk, you need to chat about anything, you need my help with something, you know, I'm usually around here. Well, if I ever need you for something, I'll, uh, jump here straight away. Though I probably should Start to leave now, you know? Wouldn't want to have a woman, second day in a row, call me a. Well, a, not a nice name for looking at her, man, right? Ah, uh, trust me, Neff. Um, yeah, that's probably for the best. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you could have at least tried to lie to me, but I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, I. I don't know, what can I say? I don't like lying. God damn it! <laughs> Sorry, that that, that I mean—that was a delayed. That was a delayed joke right there for me. Holy fuck! I just here look back at him like, what a weird thing to say, and then just walk out, walk out. As Bowser starts vibrating on the table, yeah, I'll can take you on a. <laughs> As Nephany waits, let's have the baseball bat. <laughs> Is there? Well yes, played, Sir. 
<laughs> You'll see Zarin exit a bit later, like like soon after you, and transform into his bird form as Bowser gets on a harness that Zarin attracts to his back, like a little like baby carrier, to on a fly. Why? He fucking loves that dog. Dude. <laughs> okay. You know, no hate. No hate on that one. Good for him. Okay. Well, Lee, it was a stressful day. Oh, you're, yeah. You're, you're thinking about the medical procedures coming up. You know, basically getting all the ducks in a row to perform on Zarin tomorrow, perform on Raph later, or Raphael later on. Got a laundry um, list, from, yeah. Uh, uh, we, di we didn't talk to them, but I will tell you, um... And Bella is awake. Uh, Nyx and Nana will probably wake up sometime tomorrow. N Nyx has woken up, That's but like is resting still based on yeah. doctor's advice. Yeah. And Ishtar, Ishtar, Bella, and Ryzen are all fit and okay. Yeah. One of these days I'll talk to them. That's good. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Lee. Yes. It is the morning. And you are going to wake up in your room. Okay. You are going to find a note stuck to the door. Okay. We <laughs> have Bex. <laughs> cool. Is that a cliff? At cliff, yes. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Put. Box? Please staring at this half asleep. You know, fuck? you'll start to notice that some of your books are missing from the bookshelf. Box. Lee looks at the note, looks up at the shelf. Box. Books. What the fuck is this? God damn it. <sighs> I'm just gonna take the note and start getting dressed and put it in her pocket. <laughs> Go outside. And walk off in the early morning um, sunlight yeah. to walk off to the cliff. Yeah, she's gotta go to the cliff. It's a serious business. So you will arrive at the cliffs. Not much interrupting you as it's very early on. Yeah. You know so. <laughs> Shit. Who named him? It's his own name. What the fuck do you mean, Chick? Oh my god, he's a cape. I thought he was <laughs> holding something yellow and I zoomed in. Sierra too! I trusted you! <laughs> I mean, I knew what you were doing. Come on. Lee looks ahead as she comes into the cliffside. You see them with their books precariously near the cliff. Lee wakes up. Finally. It just lets out like a little strangled sound from her throat. <laughs> looks over. <laughs> She's the one in the cape and looks at them all and doesn't even know if that's Sierra 2 or not because these things all look the fucking same. <laughs> <laughs> Can you speak? Can you write? <laughs> so, he'll, he'll wag his tongue about uh, and then thro throw a note uh, at you with a rock and we'll hit the ground. Okay, we will carefully take it as she looks over at her books and is like, I'm going to be so fucking mad. And she'll take the cut to it. How do you know how to write things? Uh, uh, okay. What do you say? It's gonna hop up and down a bit. Okay. Okay. Listen. Listen. Be cool, man. I, I, I will. I'll get you the berry. Okay. Please. No. Please it, don't let those look fall. Over, I'll look over, and the rascal bears will take them from the edge a bit. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, just, just give me like five minutes. Okay. I. I 
I won't tell anyone. Or do a motion like he's tapping a watch that is in there. Okay, okay, I won't tell anyone. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back. We'll start walking back pretty fast to the base because, like, I guess these things are intelligent enough for a fucking holdup. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the worst wake up ever. You can make Acquisite. your way back. You make your way back to the base. Yeah. He's gonna go try and get some money from the <laughs> from the storage. Yeah, you have access to that. Yeah, he's gonna go grab some of that. Uh, just gonna look around. How early in the morning is this? Oh, uh, it's like probably like five or six a.m. Okay. <laughs> We'll go to the, do we actually have the storage area here? No, we don't. We'll go right, grab so some of that money. Just gonna look around if she has the time for Sira. Sira gets up early, I already established this. Yeah, exactly, so. He's gonna find her. Hopefully, at some point. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, because of the stupid laws, only laws. heal one HP. <laughs> Per day. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Lee is gonna find Sarah in like one of the hallways. Lee looks like just barely like she woke up, but she's been shocked awake. She's carrying two big bags of berry. She's gonna narrow her eyes and Sarah goes, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Well, I I was serious when I said you need to like get to work on this stuff. We we've, we've been we have been robbed. <sighs> I've been here for. Two days. Yeah, well... What do you Is want? Is there a lock on anything around here? Uh, I fought... No, I, I had a lock on my door. You no, know, I, I was thinking about this last night. I was actually up for like two hours thinking about this. You have a guy who yeah. can transform into uh -huh. anyone he's seen, right? Yeah. I didn't fucking invite him. Don well, I'm with I, you. I know. No, I'm with you. That no, guy's that guy I mean, stole Ivy's clothes and dressed up in them once. I, I want to kill that guy. Yeah, that's. I will kill him. No, if that's he fine. even so much as looks at me. I think. No, but that's fine. I. <laughs> who who are we robbed by? Okay, don't. You're not allowed to be mad. <laughs> But it was the bear's things. I'll ask Ivy if I'm allowed to be mad. It was the bear things. They pick locks. That One is... of them can write things down? I... He shows her the notes. That is impressive. Yeah, I think I... these things are a little more intelligent than we thought. I think they're... Yes, so they need to be exterminated. Okay, they have my stuff right now. I, I, they and Where? I mean, like, we could use this. I mean, oh, I I'm sorry. Are we thinking of giving into their demands? Well, I mean, they just want some berry, whatever. I <laughs> he like huffs the bags and shrugs. But like, these things could be pretty useful if like we could train them. I... You want to train them? Yeah, I mean, bear meat isn't that good, Sierra. Like, there's no point in killing them. They're not gonna taste that good. We have enough coquetta. Uh, okay. I won't... I won't kill them. Right, but cool. I... But training them. Yeah. Come on, I how hard could it be? They can pick locks. That is impressive. And to be fair, they're pretty unassuming at first. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I probably had the warning signs, but that one was Sierra 2 is really cute. Bang, oh, the kettle will fall from the ceiling and hit Oh the god! <laughs> Does he just die? <laughs> or is no, he alive? No, no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like, it looks like he, has a he has a sprained ankle. Oh my god. God damn it. Lee's gonna bend down and quickly, <laughs> in a flash, give him a little brace, some bandages, and a bandana marking. 
He's gonna immediately start trying to walk on him just to wobble and fall to the ground. Okay. Okay. We have more important things to deal with than- Ho Yeah. Okay, Hobbler, you sit here, buddy, okay? He'll, he'll just kind of, like, chirp at you and just plant his ass on the ground. Alright, Hobblers. I'll leave you here. You, Did you stay here. Name it? Again? It just kind of slipped out. <laughs> to be fair, Coquetta are really funny. Okay, hold on, watch this. Uh, um... Uh... At least pause this for a second. Um... Sierra, say something funny. I... I can't just say something funny. Lee looks over at Hobblers. Something funny! Something funny! These things are great. That's horrendous. Great! A poem I only owned his room once. <sighs> it was fucking hilarious. Wait a moment. We're in the middle of a situation. Oh, yeah, we need to get moving. Hey, let's see if we can find Terry on the way there. <laughs> we will start yeah, hustling. Um... No, we shouldn't give in to their demands, even if we aren't going to kill them. <laughs> Just a couple, Barry. A couple I, no, 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 no. Thousand. It's not about. <laughs> um, it's not about that. Have you ever? <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah, they can break Richard, Richard, point there. Richard, can they find Carrie on? I don't even know if he's still here. Yeah, I was gonna ask if Richard's here. Uh, this is yeah. probably the last thing that's happening. Oh, good. I'm fading pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I. It, it's yeah. it's twelve forty at night. I I assume. So, if you're down for for some funny shenanigan bear time, they can find Carrie. They can find Carrie. Okay. Uh, all, all along the way, you guys can run to Carrie. Carrie, it's a code B. No. Nope. Huh. Oh, sorry. B N E. Sorry, you're running to Carrie in the jungle on the way back. Of course. Oh my God, oh. Elliot. Let's see, buddy. Lee, you need to listen to me. We cannot give them any money. They'll think that stealing is all right, no. and that they will get money for it. Ah, <sighs> Carrie's just gonna sigh as she like what? holds up the paper she was reading. Yeah. And like kind of gently steps off the very small lawn chair she had for us make for her. <laughs> <laughs> they take yep. off the very small sunglasses that uh, Darren <laughs> made for her. And it's just gonna go. Ah, all right. A code B. B N E. Oh no, what's missing? Uh, books. The worst option possible. <gasps> yeah, books. I know. It's okay, Harry. I have the berries they want. Which we're not gonna give them. <sighs> what crazy speak is she saying? I know. We need right? to get our books back. I know, right? I'm hoping you can work as intermediary, because they can write, but I want, like, a bit of an edge on them in case they start saying things. You're I'm thinking long-term. It's no one else. <sighs> Listen, that's a lot of those. Some of those are my own medical textbooks, and I really need those back. Write them again. You I don't, don't know if you've ever don't... seen me, but I'm pretty short. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. Oh! Jackie, hey. <laughs> They fo oh god my damn it. I'm gonna fucking was, vomit! God damn it, I was trying to steal it while you didn't before you could stop me. <laughs> fucking saw it, don't fuck you. Okay. As 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 Jing will be tapping his foot like Sonic does. Of course, yeah. Okay, Mr. Cape. I've got your Wah! bear. Carrie runs up and tackles him to the ground. Uh, they they will meet oh! they will immediately on procedure put the books over the edge. No! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on! She's just hugging him! J Jing will, Jing will look down. back. Jing will look back and kind of snap his paws. And they'll, they'll, yeah, they'll stop, but the books away. are still in, in position. Terry, what the fuck? <laughs> ah, I just Rava? saw the books and I snapped. Ra 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 ra. I... <laughs> he's telling you, Carrie, he's Jing, the leader of the Rascal Bears. Oh, I have no idea what a Waskel bear is, but he's the Weedor. Okay. Nice. That makes sense. He does have, like, a cape. Ivy likes capes. That, yeah, that translates. They're working on the same level of hierarchy. Alright, um, 
Why, you don't like capes? Gary will say. No, no, I, I like capes, Gary. Your cape is very cool and somehow pretty. You hit both angles. Oh, what did he say? He's getting impatient. Okay. Uh, Jing, I have the berry. Lee has the sacks. Oh, come on, Lee. Now, now, Jing, I... I want to play cool by this, so why don't I give you one of the bags, and you give me the books, and then I'll give you the rest of the bag. Gary. What did you say, Blake? He, he, he said you, th you think I'm some kind of sucker? We, he's, um... He's too small for that. Look, this gonna is my first hostage situation. <laughs> Carrie's gonna reach you to his cape and pull out a gun. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Holy let's, shit! Let's calm down. Uh, Carol and he, and he gets and he, on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he, does, he does a paw, paw motion for Carrie to come over towards him. Alright. I'm coming over. Sierra, this is getting pretty bad. No one make any sudden moves. He, he puts his arm, his paw around Karen, puts the gun to her temple. Oh, Sierra. This has gotten horrible. Yeah, Sierra, see, you, you want me to offer the bags now, Sierra? You really want Carrie's brain splatter across the ground? <laughs> oh, right, right, right. He, he's, he said he'll, he'll do it. Don't test him. I'm, yeah, he'll do it. Don't test him. I don't want to test you, Mr. Jing. I, I don't want to test he, Okay, here. She froze the bags over. Uh, oh, he he kind of nudges and one of the bears... Uh, Puts the books gently down on the cliff and inspects the bags. Just fall over, I'm good. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Rawr, rawr. Oh. He kinda cocks the gun at Carrie's temple. What the rawr, hell, Jing? Rawr, 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 rawr. Uh, he said he wanted berries. We I don't know what kind of shit you're trying to pull, but he wanted some berries. I Like the fruit? Rawr, rawr. Oh. Jing, you wrote it in singular! That's really easy to confuse! Berries on a fruit. There no. was seed. Jing, when you want multiple berries, you put in... Uh, you change the word. Don't explain language to it. Why not? It'll help. As it sees you talking, it will, like, fire the gun into the air. Oh, God! I was really hoping it actually wasn't loaded. I, that was really loud. Why does it have a gun? I don't know, Cyril. Why do they have my books? A lot of things aren't going great no, today. Don't put locks in your. I had a lock. They broke in. <laughs> oh yeah, they can. Cow with those fake. Uh, How's it pulling the trigger? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're just saying, guys. You guys are really handy. <laughs> yeah. He'll, he'll, he'll ask what she means. Like you guys are like really good at this, like impressively so. And <laughs> he'll he'll start blushing and rubbing the back of his head as his tongue wags out. And look at how fucking cute they are, Sarah. I mean, come on. Oh, uh, I like doing a little wave motion like oh, I you shouldn't have. Look. I, 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 okay. <laughs> They're impressive thieves. And she'll say, like, motioning towards them. Like, and they yeah. want berries, which we're happy about, Sarah, at least, like. Yes, yes. Okay. Whatever. My friends. I'm getting really nervous over here. I, okay, here. We're going to. Oh, sorry, Lily really pauses, shouts gotta, louder. Holy crap, is that a bear witness? It's so Carrie, they also do want to keep the money. God damn it. <laughs> no, I mean, you guys went and played yourself. They want the money too now. I. No, that's not happening. Oh, Sierra! Sierra! He cocks the gun. Sierra, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean. Carrie's life is. And my fucking bucks! We can just get another one. One of them Whoa! throws the book into the water. It what? was a joke! It was a joke! I don't know if you can read the wolf, but it's not the time for jokes. You see, you see one of the books who off the edge. Lily's <laughs> gonna grab Syrup by the neck. <laughs> hey! Syrup? Go it, back it, to it, the base. Jing is telling Carrie that he should get his associates in line. Okay. What, do you want to go pick berries? No, Sierra, go to the kitchen and get me some berries right now. Or you're the next book that's going off the fucking cliff. Um, okay, I, I could run away from you, you know. And could I have a moment? He'll let Karen go. Um, okay, guys, now. this is... This is ridiculous. I know, right? 
Like, Fine. I mean, we've, we've, we've lost the book already. I didn't see which one it was, it was but that is edition. a clavity. Oh, no. It wasn't signed, was it? We look sad. Okay. Well. We need to get some berries down here ASAP. Okay, yeah. Uh, these guys aren't playing around, and I'm really scared over there. Actually, I'm not. They're really cute, and being held by one is really comfortable. Okay. And I don't think the gun could really hurt me, because, like, I mean, look at this. Kira's just gonna shove her face into the ground and, like, crack the rocks as she activates her hockey. <laughs> So yeah. I mean, there's no danger. You don't need to freak out, but we really need to save the books. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll go over. Go get the stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah, Ivy was planning to do a pie baking thing, so there should be, like, plenty of blackberries. <laughs> Is it put the gun back to Terry's head? Oh, you yes. want certain type of berries? You know, before they make any more demands of us? Yeah, Jing, do you want a certain kind? The last quote you got. Jing, we, we just got? we got a bunch of blackberries. They demand strawberries. Want strawberries? Okay, we can get strawberries. Ah, these... oh, hold my tongue for now. Yeah, thank you. Please don't cost me any more fucking he, books. He, he says you better. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll stay here and make sure they don't grow any more over. Okay, thanks, Gary. Come on, come on, sir. He tells us toy He. Yeah, and he also tells Carrie that they would never uh, break down negotiations, and it is only their side that has uh, played dirty. Yes. What the fuck, Jing? You wrote a very vague thing. It's bullshit. Lee says if she leaves. I don't know. I would have gotten what you meant. Rawr, rawr, rawr. You can go it's gather berries. Yeah. They could have just stolen these. As you'll see Sotherby in Apron uh, teaching the new recruit, the Egg Fryer, um, how to properly prepare breakfast. Look, Sierra, they're assuming we keep them, like, stashed somewhere, probably, and they didn't want the risk job. I don't know. I get where they're coming from. Sotherby? Oh, my God. Sotherby hey, will who's walk the up new guy? He'll kind of nod and look at him. Huh. So, like, makes a motion, like, chopping, being like, trying to tell you that he's uh, training him. He's a new Got recruit. It. You Thanks. can see a little apron on him. Thanks, Sotheby. Okay, cool. Good work, man. Um, Yeah, we have but, a hostage situation. Sotheby looks at you concerned as he brings you both a cup of coffee. Thanks. Uh, we got like uh, 30 minutes to get like two bags of strawberries over there. Or like a bunch of books are going off a cliff. And like, okay, I'm pretty sure one of those was one of Ivy's draft of her cooking book she was writing. And I don't know what I could do if that got lost. Sotheby, she will like, fucking kill me, and I'll kill Sotheby, myself. <laughs> Sotheby points to a, oh. uh, a, a cupboard that, that you have Saxon, and then uh, a, a container that has uh, all the berries in it. As Thanks. he jumps up to go back to tending to his stove, it was starting to boil. Thanks, man. I'd, I'd offer to help out sometime to make up for it, but I'm pretty sure no. you don't want me helping in here. Yeah, it, it, it was wave. That's no big deal. You're a good guy, Sotheby. All right, come on. Let's get this shit going, Sierra. <laughs> She's filling the bag with strawberries. You know, we could, like... Never mind. As you see, the I don't want to take any more risks. Uh, as you see, the egg runner trying to mix eggs in a bowl for scrambled eggs. You're doing great, buddy. Nice rest. Right. Do you have animals prepare your food? I mean, okay. To be fair, like Sotherby is really smart, and this guy looks pretty good too. Ivy trained I mean, Sotherby. Yeah, I. I mean, they look. They look like they know what they're doing. Hell yeah, definitely. Um, but Lee, can I like? Okay, what? Yeah, we got Can some I time kill, like, up. one of them? Sarah, I... Listen, like, these things They're... are, like, really, st like... Don't I mean, say stupid. I mean... <laughs> I'm not gonna say I mean, say they stupid, are, but... They... But, like, honestly, like... Look, I, 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 I don't want some of those books going off the cliff really fucking badly, but... Ultimately, I don't mind a little, a little, a little stupid thing we gotta go through if it's gonna be, you know, no one's gonna die. Lee, this is a lot a nicer ring. than our last you'll couple of ventures. Okay, Lee picks it up. <laughs> okay, how did she not take this Denden Mushi away from you? <laughs> that one's mine. What do you mean it's yours, Carrie? 
I think I'm pretty clear about what it means. You motherfucker. Here, I'm gonna kick your ass. You know how many of these you've cost me? I thought you were genuine. Hey, hey, let's keep the temper down. No, no, no. Carrie has broken 12 of my fucking dead dead mooshies because she's. You hear the gun go off? Please, please. Oh, yeah. Fucking try me. Shit, wait, no, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, so you can act like that. Right, I get it. I'm sorry, Sira's being really annoying and pissing me off. It's not you. <laughs> Thank Fuck you. you. You know how she gets. No, no, no. Lee who looks over at Sira and goes like, Shh, He understands. He says he has one of his own. <laughs> Lee mutters, like, play along, play along. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, okay. Uh, listen, Lee, like, shakes the bag. Yeah, see, they're the strawberries. We'll just put them in the bag. We'll be over it. We're almost there. Okay, man? <laughs> you said those sound like blueberries. They're not. Take them again. Okay. Lee shakes it again. <laughs> he, he starts rowing on the other end, asking, like, oh, we, I, I said they were strawberries, but, you know, if you know best. <laughs> Alright. These little idiots have probably never seen a strawberry. <laughs> Let those check out. Okay, cool, cool. Good. We'll we'll be we'll be right there. Okay. Alright, we'll finish bagging them with Sarah and the end of that guy. As after they left, he he let you go, Carrie, to to oh, some yeah. like, relax. Oh yeah, Carrie pulled her chair back out. <laughs> <laughs> Cool uh, uh, he's going on to you about how hard it can be to be to, to be like you know a business manager in today's like economy. Oh yeah, no, I understand. They've had I to don't... resort to petty thievery. They, oh, used to, they used to be high class thieves. Oh, that's terrible. I mean, I mean, we have a lot better stuff that you could like try to steal if you want to be classier. I mean, honestly, berries, we probably would have given you those, but you know, I can respect the hustle. Hmm. As, as they're chatting, he'll, he'll look Maybe over and... We'll go after our books, though. I respect it. He'll, he'll look over and, 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 like, uh, like, kind of, his tongue will once again descend as he'll, uh, tell Carrie that they're coming and she should get back in position. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> okay. What he says as she... Pulls the, of the bag up and opens it to show them. See? Strawberries. Wrong. He says toss them over here. Okay. Toss them over, we. We'll toss them over. And look at Syrah. Toss your bag over, Syrah. I should have a fucking poison in these. Syrah. Say, as he he says he eats one first. <sighs> he shoves a hand and eats one of the strawberries. Ah, oh, delicious. He points at. He, he kind of gestures towards Sierra to eat them. <laughs> okay, fine. I didn't actually poison him. Whatever. Here, just eat one. <laughs> Even huh. though I did, it'd be like slow acting. Probably like three days before you died. Oh, Sierra, so he'll let Carrie go. Oh, finally, Carrie will say she steps away and starts stretching. Then folds up her chair, but she just left there in front of her. So oh, he'll holster his gun in his cape. There's like you know a holster built into the uh, like inside. Duh. Uh, and he'll gesture for the bears to start bringing the books over. Nice. Uh, and scaling the cliff with his rope and equipment, Barrington Barrington the Third, uh, who has the book no. that was thrown off the edge. No fucking way. Oh my god, these guys are so professional. Uh, uh, they have really high standards. This isn't oh. one of Nephany's TV shows, is it? I'm right. waiting. I'm weaving these guys are good with you. Right, right, right. He'll tell Carrie that they hold up their end of the deal, so they have no reason to destroy it. I guess the that's... The best with you. I guess it's all's well that ends well, huh, Sira? No, this is awful. I'll just take these. <laughs> Carrie, just take Get the these. books out of here. Yeah, I need I need to put this back on the shelf. 
This girl will look, look at Jang and just say, hope you choke on him. <laughs> Harry, do we want to... that. Yeah, it's, that's why I fought. Well, Jang... Wait a minute, is that Sira too? Oh. <laughs> She'll freeze up and she, she looks at you. Lee just looks hurt and looks down at her feet. Oh. That Sarah was bear witness? Yeah, yeah I, I told you she was a bitch. Well, I guess, Wait, that, it, ma well, I guess that makes sense, actually. <laughs> we don't know if that's a girl. Yeah, but I mean, like you said, she's a bitch, so... Mm, what's up? I guess. Well, get out of here, unless you guys are going to hang out on a cliff eating strawberries. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but they're the ones against the cliff. Yeah. They kind of I... have to walk past us, and that deal horrible to their wet. Oh, yeah, we'll we, we, we'll we... ask about the business arrangements that were suddenly hinted at earlier. Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Carrie, tell them that, like, if they want to actually, like, um... Like, we could totally find them way better berries to steal from if they, uh, you know, want to work for us sometimes. Like, this is yeah. pretty good. These guys are pretty good. I mean... Yeah, we can, uh, we can draft yeah. up the contract. He'll, he'll tell you, Carrie, that they are prolific raiders and have much history of raiding the nearby islands for treasure. You... You, you guys can... Do you, guys do you stay or do you swim? They have boats. That's incredible. They've... Carrie, Wait, did that one minute. say they have boats? Yes. <laughs> I'm picking up on it. <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. You mean there's been undocumented boats? They're like small boats? I, I mean, he said like, fucking of course they are. Look at us. <laughs> yeah, of course they are. Look at them. Yeah, they probably look like driftwood to us, honestly. And I bet they look like that on purpose. Well, you know what? That's incredible. No, that's really good, guys. He said they even have cannons. Okay. They got cannons. Listen, guys, we already want to hire you. You don't have to talk yourselves that up. Yeah, I mean, honestly. All right. It's a, I'm, I'm kind of pissed at him, but it is, it is pretty cool you guys can, like, pick locks with those disgusting hands. No Thank offense. You, don't worry, guys. Sarah, she's just really embarrassed to say she likes you guys. <laughs> poop, poop, poop. Hey. You think they use their hands to pick locks? That's even more impressive. Th now that is... Alright, guys. Well, you guys know, like, valuables and stuff here. Like, Sarah can tell you some tips on what we're especially looking for, and we can get some arrangements. You find cool stuff on those islands or around here, we'll definitely pay you handsomely for your work. I don't know if you guys know this, but like, berries can taste even better when our captain does something to them. It's called making uh, pies. Uh, they say they say that they're happy to draw up a contract uh, at a at a later date, uh, but by no means do they want to be under that uppity bitch. Mm. Oh no, Carrie that's fair. Don't worry. Uh, huh. They they're willing to draw up a contract, but they don't want to be under the uppity bitch. But, I mean, you know, you'll be under me. I'm the business manager. She's just a consultant. He, sa he says it's acceptable. He likes the idea. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Lee does a fist pump. Hear that, sir? Uh, yeah, that's great. Glad <sighs> I'm... <sighs> oh my god. It's still uh... so early in the day. They're gonna start yeah. doing the traditional dance of hopping back, back and forth on like their feet. Yay! Yeah. Oh, hey, can I have my snail back? Rawr, he'll just hand it to you. He'll take it. My eyes carry. Look over at Lee for a second. And just put it away. <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> Should have let him blow your head off. As. The three of you can start to walk back to the base and start your day. Welcome to the crew, Sierra. I warned you, didn't I? I... Let's just go get food. Yeah. God, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that falls out of the <laughs> falls out of the tree and vomits. <laughs> <laughs> they almost saw me, bro. <laughs> saw me. They almost saw me. Uh. Beck is executed by the bear. <laughs> Beck is a rascal bear, it's just growing up. That makes Next so time you go sick. to that map, he's crucified. <laughs> <laughs> There's an option to talk to him, but it just says he can't talk anymore. So like, <laughs> his wounds are fatal to remove him from his cross and kill him. 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 <laughs> Alright, alright. One of the bears runs up. Bah, 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 bah. He says he's won the lottery? <laughs> Let's, 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 let's fucking, let's fucking do this. This is a good place to end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun. I like the rascal things. They're pretty good. That was a, that was a nice quest at the end. Add a little tension to the episode, you know? Yeah. What slice of life without the dangers in between? Am I right, folks? <sighs> yeah. Any, any final thoughts before we do this spiel and get out of here? Those were my final thoughts. I'm guessing the guy at the start was the con of the old world, and uh, you know, not 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 Jing. Not yes, <laughs> that that is probably sa safely soon. I don't know. That's like a game theory, though. Good. Uh, pretty fun. Lots of an lots of animals. Uh, yeah. Sarah got to see Sarah finally introduced to everyone. Yes. Uh, yeah, like the ominous cutaway scene of the beginning with the admiral and the most wanted man in the world. Yeah. Can't wait to see what that means. Years from now. <laughs> I can't wait. Khan was doing the O face the whole time. Oh fuck, is that why you called him a Khan? <laughs> no, no. That <laughs> is that not just a happy a coincidence? Con. Okay. No, no, I recognize that, but like, like <laughs> that's okay, just a, that's yeah. just a happy coincidence I, that the I mean, that Con, the Con that is... the exciting cutaway character is yeah. a Khan. <laughs> Yeah, Khan is just, the, like, a title. <laughs> I know, that's just funny. <laughs> it's mostly because I, I very like Mongol step culture. Yeah, same. It's very interesting. Uh, yeah. Ben, any final thoughts? Liam hates Mongol step culture because it reminds him of Walk Upstairs. Uh... Fuck up. <laughs> Stop naming the animals. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I had to keep myself in so hard at one point during the scene when Sarah was saying this is stupid. I'm just like, oh, I miss Jesse. <laughs> I had to stop myself. Oh my God. We had a lot of shit posted in that scene, but I couldn't go that far. Ah, uh, that would have uh, that would have derailed it. I know. So I that would have been a kidney ear. shot if it were. <laughs> a kidney <laughs> shot. Let me, let me, let me get that final message. Hey, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I presume if you've watched this much, you were just here for the Funny Bear episode and are laughed as much as we did. If you want more New Dawn Pirates content, well, assuming this isn't the last episode, we got more. But if it is, unfortunately... You're just gonna have to settle for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I know, pretty harsh, but you know. Give it's comment. Cool. <laughs> comment. <laughs> uh, if you really like us and you enjoy us, um, we we and this is the last episode. Well, you can get more content, not of the new Dawn pirate variety, but of a different breed at the channel in the description below. Records of Remnant, Team Supernova, Ruby Adventure. Uh, I run by me with everyone who's here. Uh, it, it's good. It's a good time. It's pretty good. But uh, thanks Fine. for watching, everyone. You like it. See you next time. Play us out, Blake. Goodbye, guys.
Well, everyone, thanks again for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time, everyone. Why don't you stay safe? Later.